Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Fun Day! Come on in, come on! Welcome to a very happy day today in this beautiful empire where it is going to be the final three B three Brand! Arena <laughs> The nightmares are going to be over. 3v3 Grand Arena will go back to the dark, scary cave once it came. And we'll go back to some minor degree of normalcy. Everyone, get your seats. Plenty to go around in the Coliseum, y'all. Hope you guys are ready to get strapped in. Hope you guys are ready to do one damage on our opponent's team today. Because that's just a way. The Grand Arena cookie crumbles, y'all. Come back on over, y'all. Let's go ahead. Give some shout outs to the chat. What do we got here? We have Bruce Lee coming from Indonesia. It's evening. We'll sit back, relax. Enjoy the show, my friend. We'll make sure we're loud. We're proud. We blow out your eardrums before you want to call it a night. That's just the way we do it around here. Who else do we got in here? We got uh, Speeder Light in the chat. Well, we got Mustafa on the chat. Jay Bro. Jay. Go on. FM Pro Gamer. Current Echo Chan. Oh, Geezer Gamer. What else we got in here? We got Ziggy. And what else we got? We have K Tribe. Oh my gosh, Dark Tribe and K95. Oh, Yonder coming in with a $2 foot long. If you lose the main GAC, you have to play Marvel. Snap, 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 snap. I have no idea where the meta is for Marvel Snap right now. It's like, so, it feels weird being out of the loop with where the meta development is for Marvel Snap. So if you want me to, I wonder where my, my rank is. Since, they, since every season, if you don't play, they, they keep dropping you down. So I'm probably like, at level one in the bot territory. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, Yada. We have a lot to do Galaxy Heroes World. We got to do uh, our lovely chore quest, scam quest, whatever you want to call it. We have Michael Pruitt, $5 foot long power. Great as always to see you. Look at the clip right Can I get a yeah? Yeah! And maybe a yeah. yeah. I'm from the South. Well, hats off to you, my friend. Hope you're doing all right down in the South. We got Mecha Crash in the 12 months. Hey, Arnold! When you're in this prestigious Kyrimbrun celebration, that 33 is going away. You know, I I really want to know. I really, I, like, gosh, I just want to know. I mean, right now, we're, we're too far deep into 3v3s. Now they have 3v3 Omicrons. I mean, they could easily change it to, like, just Grand Arena Omicrons again, like Dr. F just take away the 3v3 claws. I just want to know. I just want to know. Because, you know, I mean, I know sometimes they do things idiotically, but I want to believe they have some minor degree of data that shows 3v3 is a good thing to have. And we are just the loud bunch that just whines and cries about the 3v3 trash. I don't know. Or else they could just be torturing us. I mean, you know, that is definitely the case. I, you know, I don't know. I miss the days when 3v3 is a very rare occurrence and not every other month. Anyways, we have RJJ, RA2, $2, rip, rip Matthew Perry. Yeah, that was holy cow how that like boom it came out of nowhere like he i, I don't i last i read it, he died in a drowning incident like holy cow man and i, I know my uh, i guess what technically she's my cousin in law she's like a massive you know friends fan and like, she was devastated like literally this, this girl like she can like you give her a line she knows exactly what season episode is from so so uh yeah that was uh, came out of nowhere that was i was like i had to do a double take like what it wasn't even that it was like 54 or 5 like 
That's why, I, you know, I don't want to get all sentimental here, but this is why I always thank you for your time, because who knows when that next day might be. Maybe a giant asteroid just rips a tear in the fabric of reality and sucks us into this black hole, and who knows what's going to happen. Maybe I'll drop dead from the insanity Gary gave me, or, you know, maybe one day you guys are just sick of me and no one shows up anymore. That's why I always thank you guys for the time you spend here, because you never know. You never know what the next day will bring. So the moments that we have together, I always want to make sure I thank you for the time we spend here because life is weird sometimes like that. Just suddenly the rug gets pulled out under you. Man, Proto Gamer, hit me with something special here. We got five dollars. Today's a good day. Perfect. That's what I want to hear. Arnold, well, it's a great day, but good is, you know, okay, it's acceptable. I went and saw Five Nights at Freddy's. How was that? I don't know anything about Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know anything about the lore except the scary bears jump out at you. Uh, I moved up in Grand Arena and I feel great. Also, side note, started learning German again this week. Long of the Kyber Empire. Listen, I learned a few German. Nine, 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 eins, fine, drein. I, I don't know. That's all. I, it sounds like it's I never at the end of every single one of them. I don't know. My buddy speaks German. That's all I got from him. Uh, we have uh, Tom Haspers. Two months. Always happy to catch the streams. Great seeing you, bud. Hope you're doing well. Kick back, relax. I want to talk about this up here. We're in the final stretch. We're like literally, guys, we are three hours away. From the travesty known as Grand Arena. Oh, actually, two and a half hours away. Look at even better. 3v3 Grand Arena. Going back whence it came. But we got some work ahead of us here, y'all. We need to get in front of the Kyber board. We need to break down this Grand Arena plan. Because if you have no plan, like I famously said once upon a time, if you don't have a plan, you are planning like a new yeah that's copyrighted trademark do you even dare even think of the word plan i'm coming at you bro nonetheless let's get zoned in dialed in calibrated on today's grand arena wrapping us up here in the 3v3 grand arena fiasco we have the one and only marcel david It's going to be an interesting way of rounding up our Grand Arena season. Either we're going 7-2 and two or 6-3. and three. And I don't know about you. 7-2 and two sounds all right. Technically, in a weird world, it's technically it would be 8-1. and Because we only lost one real Grand Arena. The other one, I don't remember what they have. My family's always like, we need you. We need you, Arnold. You're our only hope. I digress. Marcel Dave here. This is an interesting one. Generally, all my opponents inside of Grand Arena... We are more or less in the same spot from a roster's perspective, ignoring Datacrons for one. Either I'm always out GP'd, out Datacron, all the other fun stuff, but today's one of those very one in a blue moon situations in our top 100 survival. We were, I think actually like 30 earlier on in the season. I digress, we're not gonna, we're not gonna remember all those fun Datacron days we had. But this is an interesting one with Marcel Davis. This is one of those few weird instances where from at least a roster GP perspective, we have that upper hand over our opponent. 10.5, now I have 12.5, so I have 2 million more GP. What does that mean? That means we have Leia, uh, they don't got still Leia. We have, I believe, I, when I looked a couple days ago, we have Jedi Knight Cal Castus, which is a very important cornerstone tool to navigate the top of Kyber to make Malgus a non-issue. And all of a sudden people are like, what the hell do I do with this guy? Our opponent does not NOT have Jedi Knight Cal Castus. But what they do have is they have they uh, they spent a lot of decent time. They don't have a lot of data crons, which is good. Not like you know the full data cron level nines that we've been seeing. We have roughly equal data crons, but they have lots of high defense. And what do we say the other day? High defense is basically dodge evasion data crowns in disguise. Yeah, you're hitting them, but you're doing almost no damage. And as we've been seeing, the past couple of Grand Arena is high defense. It's just, let's just say a character that hits 100,000 hitting for 1,000 doesn't really feel good. So we have a lot of those. So I suspect they had those data crown roids juicing through their veins. That's how they got to where they are now. But what that means. I'm going to find whatever fiber of sanity I could find. 
Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. I was I actually looked at data just before because I just wanted to know. The the defense data cron basically killed the star killer counter. It just did. 300% defense, all the stacking defense, so 500% defense. When all is said and done, Star Killer's not looking good this season. And that I'm sure that's that was something they leaned into. You know, when you got the Data Crown Roids ban, you you gotta use it to your advantage, right? And that's not, that's not where it ends. We have a variety of other defensive crowns here. 238% defense. Basically. If your opponent can't do damage, you're gonna get some more wins clocked under your belt. And I think there were uh, a couple more of those defense crons over on the top yonder somewhere. I don't know. You can look it up yourself if you want to. Uh, let's see. What does this one have? All right, this is the, the more reasonable one. The more reasonable, 160%. And <laughs> I say that's reasonable, but yeah, that, that, in today's world, that's pretty reasonable. So. I'm gonna be straight up honest with y'all. I'm gonna show you some data here in a moment. The Star Killer counter, unless you have low defense on the rate, it just doesn't seem to work nearly as much. I'm actually thinking, you know, why don't we just Supreme Leader Kylo Ren this, get the hell out of Dodge, and move on with our lives. Uh, only thing I worry about is I worry about this Jabba. Some, but you know, if even if the Jabba thing doesn't go right, Night Sisters. We have other ways of trying to piece this up. So we'll have to wait and see. But I'm thinking, you know what? I just, the Star Killer thing just, it's not working the past couple grand rates. I think a 20% success rate up against this data crown. That ain't great. That ain't great, y'all. So we're probably gonna do Supreme Leader Kyle Ren there. We got hopefully Night Sisters, you know, two shot there. And then we have a Reva here. So maybe we'll pull out some Sith Trio if we can. But again, these two kind of depend. This kind of depends on um kind of depends on whether we're gonna be able to get the night sisters to work and then we have a gas up here which i want to wampa this i'll be honest i want to wampa this i do have some concerns <sighs> reduce damage lots of damage there's no captain rex there's a chance wampa could win but this could definitely slow us down and that could definitely hurt so we'll, we'll, we'll see when we cross that bridge what are we feeling over there and let's see how our opponent's doing as we said, we do have a uh, one Galactic Legend advantage and we have a Cal Kestis advantage. That's the advantage we have to lean into, and I did. So what I did, kind of loaded up a lot of stuff here. We got kind of, they're doing all right. I, I suspect they're going heavy GL offense. They have to, they have to. So far, they're doing very well. One shot into Leia, one shot into Eternal. This right here, this right here tells me they're going heavy offense. Rarely do people one shot to the Eternal unless they're bringing a ton of GLs on the offense. I'm hoping Rain Jabba are the full extent of what we're seeing. One shot into Lord Vader, maybe Fennec pulled off, maybe the Fennec trick worked for them, and then we got a two shot on Jabba. Not sure if they used the Galactic Legend on that, it failed. Maybe they did the Night Sisters. Actually, let me see. I can actually answer this question really quickly. This will tell me right away if they use the Night Sister cheese. They don't have Cal. Cal's event just came back right now. So if they, let me see here. Let's look for Night Sisters, Night Sisters, Night Sisters. All right, they do have Marin, so they could have definitely pulled this off. They got that's honestly one like the first you should be investing in if you're going for Cal. That's the one you need to be looking into right away. All right, the top side, I see Master Luke hunching over here. It looks like they're kind of bouncing back and forth between the tops. Let's see what the damage is up here. All right, so it looks like Master Luke took a hit. Barris is still standing. It looks like uh, my Ray fell. Again, I don't have the good Ray data crump, the heavy defense. So my Ray is very susceptible to Star Killer counters. You know, hopefully with Conquest, I'll get the right one and then I can kind of be at some degree of parity. But right now it sucks that my Ray sucks on defense, but everyone else is good. That's trash! Yeah. Uh, but so we got to see. You know, we have Malgus here. That could be a big problem for them if they don't uh, have a Jedi Knight Calcast. That might need a Galactic Legend. We put Malakos on defense because we don't we know they don't have Leia, so we're putting pressure on them. They got great data crowns, but now they're gonna have to work through all of this. What is that? Seven GL defense plus two mini GLs. And there's a lot more tricks in the toy box, y'all. So let's get down to it. Uh, I think, yeah. I don't know what you guys are saying. You guys are too far away from me. Hey, you guys are too far away, but we'll see. We'll see if the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren thing, I think it's, I think it's, you know, let's just come here. Let me just show you the data real quick. Let me just show you that I don't, like there's a reason why this feels bad. Just come here real quick. Just come here. Just come here. 
Ooh, you know what? I'm curious. Uh, this is really gonna be telling. They don't have Grand Inquisitor on offense or Reva Inquisitors. That means they need something big to get through Kenobi. <laughs> or they're gonna do a lot of fancy multi shots. Putting Reva on defense mm, might explain why they're struggling with the Jedi Master Luke, because that would have been an easy dunk right there. So uh yeah, not having Reva on defense. I think again. I think it's pretty evident my opponent's pretty, going pretty heavy GL offense. They're just hoping that these defense crons really hold us back. And it's a lot. But here, check this out real quick. All right. What do we got? Where we got? Oh, Alex Attila, 499. GE lost the championship round because of Rage Shadow Legends. <laughs> wow. It's like I, I probably know why. In the gym lifting big to let off the steam. Need big wins from you and a big yeet, yeet, yeet. Let off some steam, Bennett! What a classic line that was. So here, come over here. So you might be like, I don't know, what are you what are you talking about? That's a 54% win rate. Oh, my senores. My senores, my beloved senores. You'd even see the full power of the data con getting locked in here. The second I throw on the orange arcane visions. We throw on the stacking defense right here. Boom. Absolutely nukefied. 20% win rate. And that's only if me putting in, you know, one Omicron. I'm not sure if it gets any worse and I, you know, put in more. And then uh, let's see what does that look like now. So it's still about the same. And there's, I feel, oh, let's just make sure there's at least a relic. Let's do like five minimum. Let's see how much more we can. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so it's kind of settling around 20%. 20% win rate. It ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. So, yeah, I, I you know, I, I, and I felt this. The past two Grand Arenas, I just, I'm throwing moist, soggy Skittles at these rays. I don't want to do it again. I think that's probably what my opponent's banking on. So, my hope and prayer is what I will do is we'll just throw some perimeter collar right at it. You know, um, maybe I'm just, you know, right here. Just Watt Tambor armor. Hope it gets the job done. Uh, I'll be honest, though. I haven't done SL Care versus Ray kind of in a while. It's not my favorite matchup. Those are always, you know, a bit iffy. So I'm hoping, you know, it goes okay. Actually, let's take off uh, here. Let me just make this a little bit easier on me. Just so I have like, all right, let's see what we got. So, you know, it's about 100%, but it's only seven battles. Again, these aren't like the go-to battles. People generally opt for star killers. But overall, it seems like it should be okay. It's just when you have all these crazy defense crons, we need damage. We need damage. Ah, all right. Did my opponent do something? I could have sworn I saw like a flicker on the screen. When there's like a flicker on the screen, that usually means they're up to no good. Let's let's say they're going after the Kenobi. Are they going? They're going after the Kenobi again. They don't have Reva, so uh, pretty much you have to use a Galactic Legend of some sort. So again, I, I, I just want to make sure I get through the raid, the Jabba, as easily as possible, and then we can move on from there. Okay. All right. What do we got here? Steven Eagles, $10. Well, thank you so much. Can you shout out my friend, 4th Division Infantry, Crotus, making top three in GAC? Top three? Oh, fourth. Well, no, 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 no. I was reading 4th Division. Like, oh, the 4th Division? And Kenobi's down. So that tells you right there, we really, really need to, like, not undershoot this overkill it um yeah actually i'm really worried about the this data crown 230 percent we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see when we get the rogue one got us through but i feel like i got really lucky on that particular battle top three gac let me see this real quick steven let me see this steven from the eagles welcome to the hotel california i love the eagles let's see top three gac that's that's not you're confusing me what do you mean top three in g like is it a specific division specific division so i don't think this is the guy that's and i learned that's the that's not even the real fatal that's someone clowning on the real fatal right there anyways that was perfect singing thank you <laughs> my grandma always says I, I have a beautiful voice what can i say <laughs> all right let's get down to work <laughs> just we gotta do the ray first we just we gotta get in there knock out this ray hopefully it goes all right well nonetheless steve eagle shout out to your buddy there i don't, I don't know if you're, maybe you're top three in a different bracket but nonetheless awesome to hear my friend now let's see if i can try to get those awesome vibes my direction so we're gonna bring out kylo 
Yeah. Hook on. Oh, God, I hate this battle. I hate this battle. But we got what? You know, that's what we keep Supreme Kyle around for. He's usually the only GL I don't put on defense. He's kind of my emergency, breaking case emergency, my Swiss Army knife, and what I need to accomplish. So we're going to get in there. I have this Malakos Kron that we can throw down with extra buffs. Uh, I don't know. The, you know, the stacking. You know, the, I think that'll help. You know, that'll stack up our defense. Yeah, this is not my highest, and this sucks. This is my highest defense run, 190%, man. I need to get one of those 300 percenters, man. Uh, no layup. Nope. We already, I already did the full breakdown. I don't, I don't know. Do people want we, I can do another 30 minute breakdown if you want. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you guys ready for this? Because I don't know. I, I spent uh, how long? 20 minutes kind of delaying the inevitable. All right. Let me, I need to like mentally get prepared. All right, that's as mentally prepared as I could possibly get for this battle. So let's... Gosh, I wish my Star Killer could work here. All right, let's just do it. Let's just get it over. Let's just, let's just do this. Let's just do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, just, just click the button. Let him go in. Let's see how this is going to roll. I, again, I don't know when the last time I did this battle. All right, pass it over to the big man. All right, let's go ahead. You know, what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Kind of want to just stab. Kind of just want to stab her, honestly. Okay. All right. Again, not gonna do a lot of damage. That's fine. All right, we're gonna just give this on over to armor. Try to keep her alive as long as we can. And of course, oh god, dang boy. All right. That sucks. But all right, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, we're just gonna start working over here. Not doing a lot of damage at the moment. That's fine. Just get that off. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, let's just see how it goes. It's, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, right? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's 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 totally gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I need to, I, I gotta keep working Ray down. I'm only doing 38,000 damage right now. Only 38,000 damage. All right, we got an ultimate charge. So we're gonna have to save it for the next ultimate. That's fine. We're, we're, we're tanking it up. Just keep building ultimate charge. <sighs> just, just, I can't do any damage, man. I can't get the damage in there. Just come up. It's all right. We're gonna be fine. We're, get, we're getting there. Keep ramping him down. Okay, that's fine. We're almost the ultimate. Okay, we're almost there. All right, there goes the ultimate. Uh, just, you know what? Just do basic for right now. All right, for ultimate status. Okay, uh, I'm not even going to screw around. We're just going to dive into it. I'm not taking any risks. Just do it. Likely, I'm going to... Okay, this works out perfectly. This works out perfectly. All right, just keep moving. Just keep moving. All right, just, you know what? Just keep siphoning. Keep trying to build our ultimate up as much as we can. Uh, we got the foresight on, unfortunately. Come on, just keep doing your thing. Just, you know, uh, you know what they have? Um, they have foresight. Let's just do a buff the spell here. All right, she's deep in yellow. Let's start working on Ben here. Here we go. All right, we're, we're slowly ramping up that damage we need. But we really got to get back to our ultimate again. There we go. We're back in ultimate. Okay. Raise deep in yellow. I can maybe try to just pop a hit, knock him dead. There we go. He's not coming back. Okay. We're getting there. We have an ultimate. We just got to somehow time this out appropriately. <sighs> and you can breathe. L just loosen the belt now. <gasps> okay. We got it. All right. <laughs> Give it up. There we go. We got it. All right. All right. All right. Just do this. We're fine. A little scary there. It's all right. We pushed through armor, you know, and I was thinking maybe in high... I, I, again, I... My vision for how that battle's going was going to be a lot different. Probably should just gave her the Blast Tech weapon mod. But again, usually she gets at least a turn, but all right. Cool. All right. So, you know, I don't feel... I mean, yes, I beat her. I one-shotted her. It just doesn't feel great that I'm kind of locked out of using Starkiller as a counter lately. All right. We got it. We locked it in. Kylo's did his thing. Let's keep on moving, baby. Let's keep on moving. Keep those big plays. 
coming along let's see if my opponents make any progress i don't suspect they're gonna have too much of a hard time on the back wall let's uh, take a little peeky poodle doodle if they're gonna work back here they're gonna go on the top i'm just you know i'm gonna say i'm taking satisfaction i'm not letting the 300 defense crime get any more happiness than it should all right so all right Whoa, okay now don't get too cocky it, look they dropped the battle they could have easily just thrown in a burner team get the fear out but we know they can't use gas that's it that is a strategy for three three you, you weed out the fear you bring in gas for the second round so we got we're, we're putting pressure on they're, they're they're dropping battles they're dropping battles. let them keep dropping those battles we still got work to do on our side let's get through this south wall and then we can assess where we're going from here right okay next up on our agenda this now you know how this goes you know last grand arena it went very poorly it's a lot of damage it's a lot of damage and i keep getting this question why do i use the assage variant when you're doing this the assage variant just has the i say this lightly the highest success rate <laughs> it's not by a lot and it most of the time works you just you're the only downside is you're left to what happened what was it one two grand arenas ago where Bausch Leia just they all just went straight for my Marin and she was dead in seconds that's the big risk that you're running so let me show you in case you're curious, I get this question all the time. I, you know, I, I'm not even like, I'm not even like set in stone on this. I just, it usually feels the best. You know, I, same thing if I bring in DACA, you know, that, that things can go terribly wrong. I, I might, I might, I might pivot. I might do a DACA. I might bring in a Night Sister zombie. Just because every time that it happens, I get like, I get a little twitchy. All of a sudden, I'm on my Aaron situation. Let's go show you guys what the mathematics are looking like here, huh? So, nah, Mother Talzin. Mother Talzin. We need Marin, obviously. So, this is what I'm saying. It, well, ignoring this down here. When you look up here, what are, what, are, what are all these, like, weird battles here? What are the... What the hell? How is it they're getting... What is that? All right. I, this is supposed to be pure luck. Like, what the hell? What the hell? This, this, this is... I don't understand that. I don't even know if I should even pay attention to that. that that's weird. What the hell? I think there's like extra layer of cheese. I don't know. But like, see, normally people are going for these two. This has between the popular three variants right here. The Marin, Daka, Marin, Sasage, Marin, Zombie. That's kind of the best in terms of success rate. Again, that's not saying a lot. That's why I opt for it. But I, you know, I, I, gosh, I might give Daka a chance. Uh, you know, that's, that's a tough part. It's a tough part. Yeah. They replaced the cheddar with Gouda. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I might... I feel like I might go... Um, I don't know. Again, it, the, the, my Marin counter usually works. Usually is the key word. There we go. As I said, don't get too cocky. They probably just wanted to weed out the fear. But again, those are banners they're leaving on the table for us. Once I get through this Jabba and the Aiden, I'm going to feel pretty good about the rest of the Grand Arena. It's just like, ugh. I always let one off battle in a whole season throw me off. It's like, oh gosh, I can't do this anymore. But again, when I look at the rest of the Grand Arenas, it's been getting the job done. It just has. Uh, we need, and again, I wish I had defense to kind of help me out. I only have an 89% defense. Yeah, 27% on this guy. Let's see, where's uh, my best protection crime? We have a 17% protection. I don't know if that's really going to help a little bit much. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't really need damage. Again, I just need survivability here. If you auto base with Mirren, you will win. And Listen, I I've done this battle many times. Again, the data is there. I've done this battle so many times. I see many people that do this at the time. We have thousands of reports, thousands upon thousands. It's not really a thing to one shot. Again, we're not looking to one shot. It's very impractical. I think if people did it, maybe they had a weak data cron, they had a great data cron, something like that. It's just not a feasible expectation or else we'd see that in the data, at least like consistent 30, 40% or something. Most of them are low single digits with a couple of oddball outliers. Again, all I want, I'm not asking for a one shot because I don't think that's a reasonable expectation to go in. All I want is Leia to be dead. I'll clean up what I got to clean up afterwards. That's all I'm looking for. But I just need to like feel the confidence to, to get to that point. I just I feel like too often I'm 
I'm getting bamboozled out of what I want. Yeah, let's use the nice as initiated crown. Yeah, I don't think that's it. I don't think that's the data because this is the current season, right? Yes, this is the latest season. So it's not including the, the old data crown set. Yeah, last year when they had that was yeah, that was a different ball game. <laughs> What's the highest defense you've seen? Uh, like right around 400%. 400 was the highest I saw in a territories not too long ago. I managed to beat it, but I was like, man, I'm not doing any damage here. So yeah, I, I'm just sitting here debating 89% defense. I mean, I, I usually save that for Revo if we need it. Oh, I guess we'll just do that. Let me check the mods real quick. Cause sometimes they have these cheeky tenacity mods. All right, no tenacity on Bausch. Okay, we're fine. Okay, 3d9, your last territory. Yeah, it's it can get pretty nasty. It can get pretty disgusting. All right, I don't know. It's like, I don't like, it's just, I don't feel confidence in this spot. You know, if Baron dies, okay, Daka can have a chance, but if, if gosh forbid her cooldowns get wrecked, we're really boned at that point. Zombie, you know, the, things can still go wrong. All right. You just want your Ventress better than Daka again. It could be, but as we saw, you want to remind her, you want me to gently remind you that you run a massive risk running the Asajj variant. And you know, you know, I, again, most times I get through, most times are fine. But then there's that one off day. What is it? Um, is this the one? Let me see here. Yep, right here. Yeah, so this can happen literally in the first five seconds, you lost. So here, just a reminder, in case uh, we got to jumpstart your memory. This is why, yes, I, I the Saj worked for most of my season, but with they had high offense on this Datacron, and look what happened. They, they went all in. Look at that. Like, that could happen. Now, that was God-tier RNG from my opponent. <laughs> it's like, that's as bad as it gets. We're all three of them, and Jabba opens up with the basic not even his or whatever it was he didn't even do the the the, the thermal detonator special like that could happen and you're done there is no coming back from that there just isn't there just isn't yeah so I, that's why i'm that's why i'm just remind that's why i'm a bit angsty about the matter here yeah yeah daka is gonna be guaranteed it could be could might not be i've run the daka variant and if her cooldowns get wrecked for screwed you know i'm just gonna pull just rip out the band-aid just let's rip out the band-aid let's just do it <laughs> <laughs> wow that was a lot of phlegm i just shot out there sorry guys oh, all right let's just <laughs> i think i'm gonna take that as my sign that i'm internally dying <laughs> okay three two one let's go all right guys you ready for this we'll see how this rolls <sighs> bless me r and jesus for i am about the freaking rage here we go Again, just get me Bausch. I'm not asking for a full one shot. I'm asking for a two shot Bausch Leia. That's all I'm asking. Okay, that's that's good. That's fine. That's fine. And I don't like that. Hopefully, we resist the cooldown increase. All right. Under stealth. Okay. All right, we got her back. Get the plagues cooking. We got to get as many plagues as we can. All right. Basic. All right, just. um. I'll do uh yeah, we'll just do a buff the spell for right now. Just do a buff the spell. Okay. Alright, so far so good. Don't like that. Oh damn, bro. Alright, just do basics. Basics. Man, this is just so much damage coming on. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. This like oh my gosh, that is too much damage coming my way. That is way too much damage. That is so much damage. All right, hold on. We're just going to do basic here in a second. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Do another basic. Okay. Don't don't die. Don't die. Okay. Under stealth. All right. I think we're going to get Bausch Leia down. But you see, Daka did basically nothing. Daka did basically nothing in this lineup. All right. All right. Just, there we go. We got what we needed. We got what we needed. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through uh Kersanthan here, but that's fine. That we bring in that we bring in the second round for that. Okay, just do just you know we're gonna just 
yeah just just keep doing just do auto basic let's see what we can do to get out of it yeah it's gonna be tough the protect shot basically makes this kind of impractical it's fine we got what we needed we got what we needed but, but here's the downside here's the downside i don't know if mon mothma can clean this up i don't think it's gonna happen i think we're gonna have to bring in um dr afra that's the thing there's a lot of ways to kind of like try to defend yourself high damage is one way of trying to slow down night sisters wookie cron with the grit or the reduced damage can slow down night sisters so it requires a slightly more expensive cleanup all right yeah mom's gonna fail yeah we already we already saw that we already saw that not too long ago so uh yeah we're probably gonna opt for um yeah we're just gonna opt out for i guess yeah dr afra that's fine star character too valuable um you know what we can consider it let me look at the rest of the board see where we might end up using Okay, it's fine. Yeah, that's auto basic. Like, there's no, you know, no, no reason to actually try this battle. We'll see if that. We'll see if the Star Killer is valuable. Now that we took care of Ray, he's usually earmarked for Ray, and as we said, for a variety of reasons. I'm just not seeing my Star Killer work against Ray for the foreseeable future. This could maybe be fine. You know, keyword maybe Bausch is gone, so we can do all the assists. You know, um, I guess it's, I think it's a debate. What's more important, Doctor Afra or Star Killer? I think that's the important question to have. We're on April. That's fine. We can always turn it off at the end of the battle. It's all right. I know if you guys freak out that they If the battle ends, it just they'll say no connection. You just turn off airplane mode. You try again. We'll be fine. Man, look at all that juicy plague, man. Juicy, juicy plague. Okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um. Oh, well, you're saying Docky Afra is more valuable, or we should use Docky Afra? Man, it's. I think we're, we're kind of rolling a thing here, but man. It sucks that he has that protection up on him. Look at all that lovely plague that we're just not taking advantage of. Man, that's some hardcore cheese right there. And again, this is what I said. One shot is not a very practical thing. Sometimes you can. It really just depends what your data current, what's the opposing data current. There's no way to one shot a grit Wookiee with Night Sisters. Um, but this is, again, this is all we look for. It's all we look for. We don't want to. Well, I have no Galactic Legend to get through this. Yeah, plague stacks are high. Yeah, but unfortunately, a yeah, grit doesn't care about plague. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm wondering if, you know, uh, man. Yeah, there's just too much protection. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's slowly going down, but not enough for one minute the the fix here. If we had a Saj, this X would have been banger if we had a Saj. A Saj would have probably ramped up a ton with her Omicron. Anyways, what do we got here? Uh, Proto Gamer, did I get you? I already got you. Tom Hosper's two months. Always happy to catch the stream. Always happy to catch you, my friend. Hope you're doing fantastic. LLTKE, baby, you know how it goes. Out of Canada, Discord has been notified. Hashtag Fire Gary. Yeah. Oh man. There's got to be a way to like at least get like a bot that like just when I stream, it somehow is like, oh, Arnold streaming. Gary sucks. I'm just gonna be like a bot that just called Gary Bot 5.0 or something. Have him do it. Nonetheless, dude, I thank you for notifying the gang out there. Uh, what else we have? Embo enthusiast two euros. Well, luckily having sanity is overrated. Anyways, exactly, exactly. <sighs> Although I am a bit sad, this, uh, that grip, that protection up kind of ruined it. All right, well, that's all right. Okay, we got him. Let him take a turn. Nah, it doesn't matter. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a little breather. Let's assess how my opponent's handling uh, the sish over here. They might be just taking a little breather. You know, let's see how things are going up here. All right, they're going in on the seer Malikos. You know, um. Well, you know, I, I don't think you need a Galactic Legend to get through that. Yeah, I don't think you need a Galactic Legend. Maybe they used one. I think you're going to get fine through that. Let's keep focusing down the south here. <sighs> Dr. F or Starkiller, Mon Moth. I'm not even going to consider Mon Moth right here. Good thing is, this isn't a defense cron, so we don't have to worry about defense. It's just damage, and again, with ba Bausch layout, we don't have to worry about that. So the question is, it's really, Dr. F or Starkiller should be able to handle it. The question is, who's the more important member? Like, I could if I wanted to. We could use Starkiller up there, you know? But again, I... I you know, it's one of those things where I want to give Wampa a shot, but I know my opponents, they're, they're playing pedal to the metal here. And I don't I just don't have the, the courage going into this with all this damage that my Wampa's going to be able to make a dent, especially with this reduced damage right here. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dr. Aphra Starkiller. Dr. Aphra Starkiller. Starkiller is more important, but like for what battle? I mean, there's no more Ray. Like, what else am I going to use him for? Like, let me just 
put this in perspective. What if, let's say, there's a Lord Vader in the back, and I'm screwed. I have, like, nothing. I'm out of ammo. I'm looking. There's nothing. Dr. F would be my preferred go-to to try to at least break apart the Lord Vader team. Starkiller, not so much. Not that you can't do it, but I just I'd rather have Dr. F in that regard. Yes, once 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 Ray's gone, Star Killer, I just like I don't know what I want to use him for, is really all it is. Wanna just use the Afro? Okay. Alright. Did you know ISC and Garth Sex do could be gassy? I, you know, I probably should just make a video on that. I, we talked about that several days ago and people keep asking me like, oh, it's like, yeah, it's like I, 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 you know. I wasn't even surprised by it. I wasn't even surprised by it. But I, as I said, even before watching it, you need high tenacity. And throughout the video that we saw with Fatal, yeah, he's recommending high tenacity. So I wasn't even like blown away. They're doing amazing right now. So, um, but yeah, I don't have high tenacity on my uh, Super Commander, so, uh, or Gar either. So it'd be kind of a wasted effort. You know, they'll just get dazed and you don't get counterattacks. And you're done okay all right let's just throw an f for everyone seems to think star killer is more available i'm not quite seeing it you know um like if there's tuscans i'd rather use dr raffa to beat tuscans than star killer to beat tuscans you know that's what, that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking of the other teams like i know we have a high regard because star killer star killer but i i i, I separate the lore and the fanness of the character and like i look at the straight facts i don't know if star killer is more valuable than after for post race stuff i got a, a handle all right all right let's do it uh dr raffo give me some armor pen hope it doesn't take too long um do i even want to use you know let's just not screw around just give them what they want let's move on baby all right let's do it the chat has semi unanimously not quite unanimously voted all right you know just let's play the song let's just go big shot gangster cruise let's just make it happen all right let's see what we can do is start even clean job uh, you know what why even take the risk right let's just send in dr Affer, right let's we know this usually works all right they're gonna get a few plays going that's fine let's rock and roll honey all right here we go off to the races we go all right a little bit of blind that's actually rough that's actually pretty rough man they're, they're they got a pretty good opening play happening here let's go ahead get that out there man blind that really blows all right well let's get a shock on here we go shock is on i don't believe any of these abilities can be avoided yes just just do basic just take the l for the moment that's fine hopefully it doesn't cause too many problems for the long run oh man this is getting kind of rough guys this is actually really annoying this is actually extremely annoying um give me an armor shred all right give me a shock man yeah bt is having a hard time getting a play going here all right we got to get the protection up off him all right now we again we just missed out on opportunities here all right let's go let's no more screwing around yeah let's go all right okay we, we gotta just we gotta work through all that protection up all right thermal's coming out come on bt assist nope no nope, bt assist more protection up all right let's just keep uh we gotta just get some shocks out here come on give me some shocks here we go shot coming in all right we just gotta get this protection up off us for the moment please and thank you oh shoot i messed up didn't i wait no it's unavoidable right damn it i screwed up that blind, I, I, you get so trigger happy of clicking a button. I actually, I don't think this is going well right now. I don't think it's going well. They had a fantastic opening play. All right, come on. All right, and Jabba's moving. He's at what, 70% give or take on that ultimate? All right, we're getting damage out there. We got to work a little bit faster. Okay, come on, keep that shot coming. All right, no, oh, we had blind on us again. Shooting from the hip. All right, just uh, give me some more armor shreds. Okay. We need like another round of that cooldown increase that I messed up so horribly. All right, come on. All right. Yeah, it's like we're not having the shotgun at the right time. I actually don't, I'm not feeling good unless they go for the the commando droid. This is looking pretty bad. There we go. All right, okay. Give me some burning. All right. Try to get me another turn in here. Jabba's what, 90% there? He's almost there. And unfortunately, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the cooldown increase. I, I don't even know, the cooldown increase might even be a bad idea. All right, here, let's just do a basic, come on. There we go, oof. Chrysanthemum's gonna come back here. Uh, this is gonna get rough, man. Uh, this is what I, I, so I'm pausing for the moment. I'm looking ahead. Chrysanthemum might get revived. Jabba might insta-kill Aphra. We might be dead. Crap, that was a rough run. They had a, I, yeah, they got a good opening play up. They got the protection up and all that other crap unfortunately i think i gotta keep it where it is i, I can't risk i can't risk after being insta killed and then i then i'm then i might be in a bigger problem 
This is a win, you think? All right. Mon Mothma cleanup at least, right? Now we're at least at a Mon Mothma cleanup territory. And that could even be a heart, heart attack. Yeah, we'll time out. We'll time out. Yeah. We'll bring in Rebel Fighters. Again, I, it's, uh, you know, bringing in Rebel Fighters, assuming they get through. It's not the end of the world. I kind of want to be done with this right now. We'll just leave it. We'll leave it. Mon Mothma failed us. No, no, no. no. We, we did win, but we won with like... <laughs> we won by the hairs of our chitty chin chin. <laughs> Uh, but the good news is, again, there's no defense on this data crumb. Absolutely no defense. Absolutely none. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to keep it. Because especially now, I'm at a minute and a half. We're just going to keep it. I'm not going to take the risk. Oh, this doesn't even matter. Just hold it. Just hold it for right now. It's probably a good thing BT got that bonus turn. Because we're able to kind of, like, stop Java from taking that turn doing the revive. Yeah, there's no defense. So we should be fine. But the problem we had was that we almost lost. Because we weren't landing any debuffs on the guy. All right. What else we got here? Embo Enthuse, I got you. Steve Eagles, represent the Eagles. We have Don Heim, 39 months. Do you think a deal with Conjure Club would help? I'll roll a few next time. How does that sound? Lock of the Empire. Thank you so much. We have Patrick Roops with a 50 SEK Blue Roos. I don't play GA Seymour when facing Data Crust. <laughs> you know, you're saving yourself a lot of headache. I can promise you that. I refuse to be part of the problem. Even if it makes me lose crystals. 325% defense Vader. Jeez. Is what you what, did you fought one or you have one? Oh, I assume you don't have one because you don't want to be a part of the vicious cycle. <laughs> you know, that's funny. I mean, that's that's a that's an amazing data crown, but I've just seen more go a little bit beyond that. It's pretty crazy. It's crazy, 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 crazy. Could you sign up? No, we'll just we'll stick to our Mon Mothma. We'll stick to Mon Mothma. Hopefully, we get through. Uh, but right now, my mind's thinking ahead. I'm, that that, that Iden team is really worrying. What was it? 250 defense, and it has the Imperial Trooper Datacron. Here, we'll... You know, I'm not even going to bother risking this, because knowing my luck, Java's going to take a turn, so I'll just let it time out. doesn't even matter anyways. Okay. All right. Let's take a little breather. Let's see what my opponent's up to. So what do they have left? I think they just have uh, Master Luke and my Rebel team up here. Okay. Let's take a little breather. A little breather going on. I just want to get to this back wall. I really do. Seeing how they're doing fairly well makes me want to believe the back wall shouldn't be too bad. Okay. All right. Mon Moth, let's get this cleanup going. Let's make a deal, Conja Club. Make it happen. Where you at? Where you at, Jabba? You're not, you're not getting away from me, Mr. J. Okay. Let's get down to work. Where you at? Rebel Fighters. Bring them on out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Well, we got to do this first because Mon Moth is not a Rebel Fighter, even though she's leading to Rebel Fighters. So, which is it, my friend? Bring in Cassian. We need something of speed up. Man, I brought a good armor penetration for that last battle too, didn't I? Dang. Ooh, that is good. I kind of want to save that for maybe Star Killer. Let's go maybe down a little bit more. There we go. I think that's more acceptable. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make that deal. Three, two, one. All right. Send them on in. Give me the buff immunity. Give me the healing immunity. And run, baby. Run to the finish line. All right. Jabba starting off with two turns. Back to the back. All right. Let's go. Combat Carl onto the battlefield. Let me get set up and I'll throw it on auto. You guys know the drill. Uh, you know, I'm going to hold off on the potency up until Cassie loses the buff immunity. That's what I'm saying. We got to get those debuffs. See, I noticed blind. I double checked. All right. Do some of this. We got to get some. We got to get that potency up. We got to wait. We got to wait. got to wait. All right. We're doing damage at least. That's good. Not yet. Hold it, buddy. Just hold it for a second. Just hold. Hold. All right. Come on, Cass. Take a turn, bud. We got to give him that speed up. We got to give him all that good jazz. Okay. Come on. All right, Cassie, let's do it. Ready? All right. And I'm not going to risk the healing immunity right now. I'm probably not going to land it. And it's... All right. That's fine. That's okay. Okay. Got uh, what we needed. Let's get some potency up on the table. Okay. Let's go for it. Potency up for Cassian. There it is. Drop it. Nah, I didn't get it. That's fine. Uh, we got one of the problems taken care of. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Come on. We got time. We got time. Keep that buff unit coming. Let's do another basic. There we go. Into the green. Let's go for it. Pop it. All right. Get a combat crawl promotion. Dental coverage included. Okay. Throwing it on over. I hate when they do that. Boy, they're playing this so well, man. Buff unit and cast is literally the worst that could possibly happen. Because look, I, now all of a sudden my roll just stopped. Yeah, we're not landing any debuffs right now. He's in the yellow at least, but he's going to bounce back like so. All right, combat crawl comes those nice buffs to spell. Save the potency up when we need it. Come on, keep coming, Cassian. Come on, baby. 
All right, uh, not gonna do it. We're in the yellow. We're making progress. We're making progress. They're making this tough on me, man. They really are. All right, there. Hey, yo, we got it. We got a buff unit. If I can get a healing, that'd be fantastic. So I can stop that. Oh crap, I messed up. Misplayed that big time. So many different ways. All right, we're almost there. In the red, we're getting there. We're getting there. Got a daze. Oh, that's great. That's great. All right, casting. Just give me a buff, Penny. Keep it nice, simple. Give, give me those days. There we go. All right. Oh, whoa, that's a rare ability block. There we go. Full on promotion. Holy cow. Included paid time off for the rebellion. All right. There we go. And I think we got it. I think we're gonna be fine. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right. That wasn't too bad. Even though Casting didn't do what he was supposed to do, the rest kind of carried there. All right. Okay. I wish I could say my 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 uh, concerns have been dissipated, but again, kind of reminding us gently, we have a very um, this is a tough team, 238% defense, um, tons of offense that they're gonna get. The buffs on the basic. I did beat this with the mon uh, rogue one, but I think I got really lucky. I really think I did. I don't want to like pretend I think I could do that again. Also. High at damage, General Skywalker with reduced damage here. Has me a bit concerned as well. Uh, maybe I should just take care of this first. Ooh, 133% critical damage. Okay. Um, all right. I think I'm just going to throw Trey down here. Let's just get this done. Just throw Trey in. I could also try to rogue one cheese this, but you know, my, my, I feel like my, my luck for cheese doesn't always pan out the way I want it to be. Ah, oh, yeah, Gary's gonna hit. Oh, yeah, we saw him. He was hitting for like 80,000 damage on his basic the last time he fought that data crime. Oh, no, no, what am I doing? No, 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 we're not doing a mirror match. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. All right. Uh, I think I do. I have, I have Savage, so I think this. I would like not to use him, but I think I kind of gotta. I mean, I could use Talon. Cyan does a whole lot of nothing. We could use Sith Empire Trooper as well, potentially. Cal Castus versus Aiden. Um, I, I would hate to commit a Cal. I'm sure they have Malagas. I'd be surprised they don't. I would hate to commit Cal before seeing the back wall. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see, baby. I just want to say, I'm just curious if there's any statistical difference between the two. I want to believe Savage. Just, it just feels better, right? Like... <laughs> Savage should make you feel confident. I would, you know, rather just save the guy. You know, we don't know what you might want to use him for. Might want to pull off some funky little combo. Uh, let me see. What do we got here? So give me the Reva. Reva, Reva, Reva. Reva, 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 Reva. All right. And let's here. Bring you guys in over so you're not just staring at my beautiful face. All right. We're bringing in Reva. Is there a statistical difference? between savage and new savage let's just get the defense homies in there uh they only have one which i'm guessing is probably that and kidooki let's um oh yeah okay yeah kind of a massive statistical difference <laughs> i i figured so but you know you know you kind of have a suspicion we don't uh, we don't have malik yeah a pretty big statistical difference Pretty, yeah, Savage makes a massive statistical difference here. Not even freaking Malgus is as good as Savage. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm glad I double checked. You know, you, you have you have a you think one way, but sometimes it's nice to just do a gut check and make or you know a fact check on the gut check. And indeed, Savage makes a big big difference. All right, what do I want to throw down here? Do, 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 do. What do we got in the DC department? Well. We can opt for something like protection. Uh, defense, we know we don't really have anything. I don't want to use that. That's probably going to be for someone else later on. Um, da, 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 da. It seems like protection. I mean, what do we have for health? Same drill. We don't have a lot. All right. I think we're just going to go with this one. Should be pretty straightforward. Okay. Let's do Fennec counter. I, I don't think that's really it. I think it gets there again. Here, if you want a little rehash on like what you can do. Here. Here, let's do no attacking GLs. None of that. All right, so your go-to is generally Treya. So Malik, Malgus of Darth Revan's good. If you do that, we don't have it. We throw it on defense. Uh, Jedi and Skywalker, not great. Fennec, not amazing. 40%. And again, I have a use for Fennec. If there's a Lord Vader that shows up, we got to bring in Fennec for that. Yeah, I mean, you could try to Rogue One cheese it. You know, it, it, you know hit or miss. It's, if you can make it work, it's great. 
You know, I just, I figured, you know, there's a, there's a curse of RNGs sometimes on me. I don't know if I could trust myself. It's not, it's not like, you know, if you needed a Hail Mary, it's not a bad option. It's not a bad option. 54%, maybe could pull it off. Base pre-taunts, which helps out. Star Killer's no-go. Um, oh, wow. That's actually mildly impressive. 86% with Malikos. Okay. Nice to see he's doing some stuff there. Amphra's not looking hot. So you don't really have a ton of options on the table. Or, you know, what we could do... Uh, what's the date? You know what? Hold on. What is the data cron here? Because there, I, I could maybe get Captain Rex to pop this, y'all. Where is... Um, let's say... Because they don't have the, 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 the good unaligned force user cron. What? Only four attempts, zero wins? That doesn't say... I, I, I've made this work before. I've made this work, but I guess to be fair, it wasn't... Huh. I've made this work, and the last 3v3 I made this work that's us so I'm gonna ignore that but these these look pretty good hmm yeah I don't know maybe it's just the damage is too much and they just I mean that is a lot of damage maybe just opening play someone gets nuked and it kind of falls to the wayside I have made it work though I have made it work I think it's just, it might just be too much damage is the problem. All right, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just going with this. That's what we're going to do. It's the most, it's the best one. Oh, <laughs> now that I said that, it's going to it's gonna get smashed. How much you want to bet? All right, let's do it. Let's make it rock and roll. Phoenix has a 40 percenter. Uh, let me see. Again, I, I don't really want to, you know. You you. I don't really want to drop body. battles you just to drop battles. And I hate you as I hate her. Two out of five, I don't know. Let's just let's just roll with it. This is what we're gonna do. Ready? Rock and roll. Three, two, one, send it on him. You got it, baby. Alright. This can get a little wild sometime. Let's do it. Alright. Savage doing work. Cooldown increase coming. How many did I get? Uh I got two. Ooh, I don't like when that happens. That's a rough. Ooh. That scares the hell out of me, man. That scares the What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Well, that was rough. What did I say? What did I freaking say? Uh, I, I, did, I, I, I know my life. There's just, I didn't do it. I literally walked in the battle, I died. All right, we're gonna see if maybe we get a lucky uh, insta kill. God dang, I just knew something was gonna happen here. All right, can I get my turn? No, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get the turn. I just knew something's gonna happen. I just knew it. I just freaking knew it. God damn, boy. All right, well, uh, I'm glad I can play that battle. Turn off the song. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, that that was uh, thanks a lot, Savage. You did a whole lot of nothing. You died in like two turns. Uh, okay, well, now we got to find a Hail Mary play. Now, this is when we got to do a Hail Mary. Damn, that was talk about a waste of a tray and Savage right there. Yeah, just you know, I understand my life, I just know something's gonna happen. I just the second I said we should be fine. We weren't going fine. All right, they're going on the back wall, which is a smart play. Oh, I mean, I guess again, it could just be that there's just, this a lot of damage being thrown my way. It's that could very well just be why they just, you know, they, they couldn't survive the hits as long as they normally could. So we have a few options if we're going to Hail Mary territory here. Not the, not the way I want to play this. <laughs> we could hope that Rogue One. <laughs> we can hope that I can make the Rogue One cheese work. Um, I don't even got base, so actually no, we don't even have base on us. I, you want to see what I did if my base regretfully? I, 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 where's my boy? Where's my boy Stonewall saw? Yeah, I bet he got a whole lot of defensive holds back there. Yeah, they, wow, what a! I was like, I have this saw data crown against my will. I probably should use it. Yeah, it does a whole lot of nothing. So, uh, okay. Damn, at least at the minimum, give me the kill on Reva. Didn't even get a chance to really play that battle. 
Yeah, so I guess really um, best I could do is well, I, I could still try this out. It's just it's not as good without Baze in there. He gets a lot of Terminator, you know, buff the spells and all that other fun stuff. I like I don't think this is as we looked. It's not as it's not as not as juicy without Baze. All right, where's that beautiful Rogue One cheese that I desire in my heart? Mm, there you are. Yeah, I mean, um, we don't have Cassian. I mean, that's what I was about to do. I mean, um, yeah, again, you know, maybe you get through, maybe you won't. Or maybe you end up like 6447443999. It can go either way. Which way is it going to go? <laughs> Ooh, uh, yeah. Oh, man, look at that. Sit the turtle, tree. I'm guessing that's Star Killer, Afra. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it can go pretty, you know, you might get lucky. It might be one of the two. Knowing me, though, I probably won't be. <laughs> Seeing how that goes. K2 says hi, Rainer. Not as much as base. I don't know. I, I want to, I, again, I beat this freaking Reva. But again, you know, I don't remember what the data crowns were on both sides. All right. <laughs> Let me see here. What, what do we uh, Okay. All right. We don't have a lot is the problem. We don't have a lot, which is my problem. We don't have a lot. We don't have any more rebel data crons. Um, do something like that. 16% protection. With all that stuff, crit avoidance. I don't. I think I don't have a ton of those either. Let's see. I, I know I like Cal. We don't want to use Cal here, obviously. And you got this. Forty-three percent. Boy, this is gonna be some massive cheese. If this fails in Phoenix, that's kind of the game plan. You know, it went from we were we, we went in kind of quote unquote overkilling, which wasn't even overkill. It was just like the safer option that we had. So now you know we're gonna see what happens here. Okay, I can use Qui-Gon, good luck with an opening ability block. Anakin might not be able to ever get his AoE off. Again, it, if you win of Qui-Gon, count your blessings because you got crazy lucky on that one. All right, walking into a trap here. This is going to be uh, interesting. And this takes away our Aiden possible counter. Again, qu quotation marks possible. Not even guaranteed Aiden counter. All right, let's just see what happens here. Again, if they waste all their time on... <laughs> Uh, what's her name? Jin? We might be okay here. Uh, like, that's not the way I want to go down here. Like, all right. Okay, like, we want them to go here. Yeah. We aren't going anywhere. We aren't going anywhere. They're hitting way too damn hard. So much for that crit avoidance, am I right? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll keep it going. Maybe there's some chance she'll eventually drop the ability block and... Get a turn for it to revive, but it's not looking good right now. As I said, that's a lot of damage coming our way. Ugh. This just goes to show, if you're investing in Datacrons, you're going to be able to punch up, man. You're going to be able to punch up against the people who don't have Datacrons. What's Datacron? Just crap ton of offense or critical damage, armor penetration, whatever the hell it was. Ugh. Yeah, that didn't even get a chance. They went straight for Radis ability block, Jin. Like, I swear. <laughs> I swear. I swear I'm playing against myself as if I was controlling the other team. Man, just you start killer. Nope. No chance in hell. Again, uh, we just literally looked through all the data. I don't want to keep looking at this. I keep looking at it. Star killer is not a great counter up against us. You're looking at a few battles we do have. 0% win rate. Again. I, I want to put it out there one more time. Yes, you're probably not wrong that it could counter, but you got to remember a lot of you guys, you're not playing in top 100. You're not playing with all these nasty data crowns. The world that I have to play in here, it's, it sucks. It doesn't mirror what you guys go for. And the, the, and the problem is, you know, counters that work for you don't work for me and counters that work for me sometimes might not work for you. It's, it's a mess. It's a nightmare. All that fun jazz in between. Yeah, right, guys, we're in panic mode right now. I just, yeah, they're just hitting me too dang hard. I can't get a turn in there. Uh, only thing I can think of right now, we weed out the opening play. You know what? I should have maybe paused at that rat spell. What I'm thinking right now, we weed out the opening ability blocks, weed out all the opening healing immunities and stuff like that. 
let it time out or maybe i'll just get smashed by them. i mean these battles are lasting 30 seconds i don't think i gotta wait long and then maybe i can get rex to do something maybe is the keyword maybe is the keyword so let's just send something in to weed out those cooldowns nothing special that we really need here hey you know what? We'll, we'll treat it like it's <laughs> we'll treat it like they're doing a reva special mission all right let's do that all right okay just don't even throw a data crown on weed it out let's get in there see if then maybe after we weed out the big opening play then maybe we can get like captain rex or whomever to clean this up all right send it on in let's do it go on in. let's who knows maybe it's gonna be like the reva mission they're gonna completely fall flat on their face all right hold on oh they have tenacity up that's not gonna help me out all right hold on hold on hold on all right let's get all those plays out let's get them all out okay and you know what that's that's kind of exactly what i wanted perfect they didn't need to wait to time it out okay so now that we got that out let me see man i'm really soft about losing trey as savage man oh, that was a, that was gosh I, I just flushed him down the toilet now that we got the first few plays taken care of maybe again i'm not i'm not gonna sell that this is gonna for sure work maybe we'll be able to do our thing here that was a very good burner hell yeah that was a that was a very good burn. that's as good as i could have asked for okay 60 we have 69 percent critical damage come on it doesn't get much better than that all right <laughs> Uh -ha! yeah i don't know I'm, I'm thinking if there's any other alternative around here i uh this is, is i hope this works that's uh, that's all i could really say that was my final words before hopping in this battle i uh hope it works you ready for it no phoenix i'm gonna go with this i'm gonna go with this i don't know i don't trust my phoenix again now that i got the opening play taken care of i'm hoping i can just get my train rolling Ooh, so much damage so much damage all right here we go okay let's get to work yeah i need to get a daze back on him i don't like that let's just pull back terminator all right form up okay you can't stun him that's fine keep pulling terminator back Ooh, that death mark could be brutal all right we're still alive we're still alive just keep pulling back uh turn meter all right that's not gonna do much here i'm gonna uh, you know what just pop it whatever just just do it all right more we gotta get there we go we got the days all right we're rolling it's kind of the, the plan's kind of working hold on doesn't this hold on let me I, I gotta double check something real quick let me check double check something that's what i thought crap <laughs> all right almost down on one reva all right okay oh that's great drop it nicely done it's working we're getting somewhere I'm just gonna basic right now um we're fine we're okay we're fine Ooh, don't die me yet don't die me yet don't you dare die me yet there we go let's keep moving along come on all right it's working come on baby captain rex there we go almost another aerial advantage just pop that hit i probably should try to save that hit ah that was a good that was a good cleanse right there that was a brilliant cleanse all right you know what just keep just keep popping it all right come on we're getting somewhere come on baby let's go captain rex uh just yeah just too basic come on all right come on lots of armor shreds Ooh, i think we lost fives Ooh, that could be rough i don't know we'll see how this goes all right come on just too basic man these heals are great those are great heals come on come on baby just keep popping it we're doing damage but we're just not as much damage oh that could kill us that could kill us i mean we got something out of it we got something this is better than before yeah they're just hitting so damn hard right now i'll take it grand inquisitor's down but we have, we have nothing up boy 158,000 damage right there it was pretty good see now i wish i had the rogue one now i wish we had rogue one here okay all right all right okay 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 it went all right again 
If they just didn't have that much damage, I think I could have made it. But every time they do get those few turns and the heals are fan. Seven Sister was getting brilliant heals. Like perfect time to have all that. Um, okay. Now, how do I get through this? No more Grand Inquisitors, no more torture, ability block, cleanses, all that fun stuff. This should be, you know, this maybe this is where we bring <laughs> trench at this point. <laughs> Dash Qui-Gon, uh, that could maybe work. You know, I'm, um, I don't know how great trench is for this. Again, it's just the, pro man, I just, when Reva's hitting for 158,000 damage on a basic, I don't know who's going to eat that up. Yeah. Trench for the giggles. I mean, again, I wouldn't be mad if this lost. I feel like this would take a while. All right, let me let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. This is always a problem. Like Trench needs all hands on deck, and he only can get two hands on deck here. The cities can literally solo this, bro. Right? No way, Trench. Could, but keep in mind, you know, again, we have we have ourselves a situation here. We can maybe try to clean this up here. Here's your options here. Um, well, we have no more Afra. Dash is only, I mean, so it's like, you know, we still got work ahead of us. Like, see, this is when I wish we had Rogue One now. We know, we don't got it. We don't, I don't know if I really want to throw gas, especially, I mean, actually, let's be real about this here. We don't have Captain Rex. This wouldn't be a horrible use of General Skywalker. Wouldn't it be bad? Ask LaShawn. Mm, okay. I mean, that sounds, I mean, that sounds not trash at all there. Let me just, just tell me the truth. What, what What's Trench looking like? Do you even have a Trench situation? And this is such a specific situation to be in. Let me see. All right. We have six folks. Hey, yo, there we go. All right. So we have, uh, pick your poison. Uh, Django seems to be the common denominator. Um, Newt or Dooku? Now, I, I want to believe uh, Dooku would be better just for the shocks. All right. We're doing trench off the bench, baby. Let's do it. You get... Uh, da, 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 da. Where's Django? There he is. Okay. And let's go throw down... I don't know again. I don't know what we're really doing here. Um, sure. Looks great. Looks great. Django for revive for the yeah, you know, maybe we can line it up the shot, you know. Well, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, RNG just can't get any worse as it has been today, right, guys? Right? Let's do it, baby. Let's rock and roll in three to the mother flipping one. Trench, baby. You smell that fear? I'm smelling it. I'm freaking smelling it. Trench off the friggin' bench. Defense crown, bro. I don't got any. Ask me for a specific card. Chances are nine out of ten times I don't have it. All right. Okay. Nice. Let me see if I can try to open up with the. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do I want to do here, man? What do I want to do? Do I just want to do basic here? Get that shock on him. Oh man, we got options. She's shaking her boots. I know. I could also just go for the swarm and hope it kills off the seventh sister. You know what? I'm just gonna go for. It. Mike, there we go. Keep it simple. All right. All right. Oh, all right. It looks like we're having a hard time landing debuffs. Okay. There we go. Probably should be more cautious using Django. Okay. There we go. All right. Can't stun her. That's fine. Give me some ability blocks if we can. There we go. Um, basic. Oh, come on. Come on. All right. Just do basic for right now. All right, Django, the kills yours. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you. Dude, idiot. You idiot. All right, give me some burning. You, Django, or Dooku, you deserve to die. You deserve to die there. Oh, that sucks. All right, at least Seven Sisters gone again, but really trying to. My eyes are rolling really deep into the back of my head there. Extremely deep into the back of my head. I'm glad I could do 10,000 damage when she's hitting for hundreds of thousands. 
Oh, deep breath. It's okay. We're almost done. This, it's, we're almost done. This is a deep, deep breath. This... All right, dude, you're on your own. Okay, you, you got. <laughs> Guys, we still haven't got an item yet. Okay, well, uh. Boy, that's a, that's a lot of damage, man. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. <gasps> hey, man, if this is where we're dumping all of our teams, that's awesome. All right, what's going on down here? Anything, any good news? I'm guessing probably not. Nothing special down here. <sighs> deep breaths. Deep breaths. Well, once we're down at this wall, we'll see how the rest of this goes. We just got to get there. Just have to get there. Baby steps. Baby steps. We've been doing this for an hour. Only down two teams. Okay, Riva. Again, I gotta be cautious, man. They're hitting for 300, 100, 200,000 damage. If I'm bringing something, they gotta survive the, the play going. My heart wants me to bring in this team. Like, I wanna use this, but just, man, I'm, I'm skeptical. I really am. I just, she's gonna do an AOE and what, wipe me out in one hit? Paz. <laughs> Paz. That. Wouldn't I get death marked though if we pull out? Well, we don't have Watt Timbor. We already used him, right? Oh, we're going to listen to Bad Badge Gary. No, no. Use Dredge again. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe. You know. No, we can't use the. Oh, we don't have the. We don't have armor. We don't have armor. To make it work, I think we need armor for the, 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 the best guard, the counterattacks. We don't have that. So I don't think we can make that work. I like, I like the. I like the thought, but I don't, don't don't think we have it. So at least this, you know, assuming we could survive, we get a fast contract because it's only one target. Maybe Boba Fett lands a kill. Mando gets the kill. We can move on. All right. Do the other battle stars. No, we have to get through. There's the, if we're doing the other battles, we're, we're literally wasting time. If I can't get through this wall, it's done. I have to work through these data crons piece by piece. We still have an Iden. We still got a gas. Once we get that, I think I'm going to go to north. You know, I get I don't think that mass looks going to hold my opponent down. I don't think so. But we have to get through this. There's no sense. I I like your mind that only Kirito. We gotta do we gotta do this. This wall determines where this Grand Arena is going. I can go north, but my opponent's got the south wall. I need to get the south wall. It doesn't matter. All right. Gar Saxon. I don't think they're again, I don't think they're gonna survive long enough to do what they gotta do. We gotta do it. All right. Bounty hunters, uh, give them something. I don't know. Make them feel special about themselves. At that. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh I just want to not die. That's, I'm, that's all I'm asking for. Just don't die. 16% protection. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. That, that sounds amazing, right? Why not Wampa? Not here. Uh, again, I'm not. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I just, just, just send it. Just, 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 just send it on in. Let's go. Bring him on in. Let's just do it. There we go. 16% more protect. For, see, that's the optimism I like seeing. 16% more than before. All right. So far. Okay. We got to just start up with him. That's fine. Give me some um, ability blocks. I don't know. Oh, shoot. I forgot about the death mark. Ah, crap. All right. Almost there. Keep me moving. Oh, don't die, boss. Don't die. All right. You know what? I, I just do basic for right now. All right. Almost there. Almost there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. All right. So far, we're good. So far, I think we're going to be fine. This looks okay. This looks good. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, come on. You got to be kidding me. Don't die. Just don't die. And just Mando, please. Do the honors. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll be, we got it. All right. There we go. Three, two, one. Nukify. Yeah, don't miss. All right. What's the banners, Mando? 22. All right. Bring them back on over. Whew. All right. Well, now we got to. <laughs> now I got to figure this out. She, yeah, that's um, yeah, it's a hey, yeah, on the bright side, it's not 300%, but it's still it's gonna put a dent on us. All right, the good news is a lot of our losses are contained in like one battle, so that's the good thing, right? We're not like. Well, let's, well, maybe I should shut up before we do the, until after we do all these battles. Um, boy, yeah, this is one of those battles where 
God dang, I keep forgetting to put Zori back on defense. God dang it. Ah, keep forgetting about that. It's just like, I know gas isn't going to beat this. I know Wampa. We already tried out Wampa. Wampa's not going to beat this. Reba, you know, for some reason, I just know my luck. My Reba's going to flop. I don't know if we need Reba for the back wall. I mean, this might be a good use of Reba for all I know. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's crazy to think, but I think Reba might be the safest option here. Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, I think it's honestly the best that I have. So Gas is not going to win this. Qui Gon, yeah, Qui Gon's dicey again. You're you're playing uh, a one. You're assuming we could even land the hit at the right time. Very, they could very much have the adapter dying. They just revive and Wampa's not going to work again here. Yeah. You may have missed the memo on that one. Yeah, here just in case y'all don't believe me. Yeah, we literally played Wampa against this out of curiosity and Wampa lost in like mere seconds again. Massive damage coming our way. Crazy amount of defense as well on top of it. So uh, what you're looking at. And, and I'm hoping I can snap this Datacron this next cycle. Whether well, RNG blesses me or not, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but here's the problem that we got, my friends. We got this a puppy right here. Wampa's clocking in some very low winds at the moment. And sucks my Rogue One got burnt for nothing. Um... Yeah, Wampa's not looking good at all. Yeah, hey, again, you're not wrong. Aiden can be beat by Wampa in normal circumstances. Now, this ain't a normal circumstance here. Unfortunately, we don't have that. Gas, 62%, but I don't even have that. Yeah, I mean, it seems like Reva just... Oh, crap. I think Reva's got to be it. Yeah, uh, we don't have... Tree. Yeah, freaking hell, man. That team got nuked. Nuked! Yeah, you don't got a lot of options here. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, what the hell is going on here? What the hell? That's, um... All right, that's pretty wild, man. Oh, it was a multi-shot. Okay, this is the cleanup. I was like, what the... Yeah, I don't want any cleanups here. That's... Nope, no, 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 no. Turn off the cleanups. That's skewing some of my stuff here. There we go. Um, yeah... I think it's gotta be Reva. Yeah, nothing else is really... Confident inspiring Jedi Knight Luke. I think that's kind of a dicey play. Yeah, Rogue One. Wish we had it. But unfortunately, they died for no reason as well. Alongside Tria. Afro, we don't got sir. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there's really not a lot of options here. So I guess I guess I'm kind of forced with this data card right now. All right. Use my best guard, Gideon, if only. Um, all right, so I don't if there's a master Luke on the back, he might be screwed. If there's a Kidobi in the back, he might be screwed. Let's go ahead and get these folks in here. Make it. Let's let's move. Yeah, we gotta just move. Throw on this thing. Looks great. All right, y'all ready for this? Da, 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 da. I thought I think that's the wrong song. That's the wrong song. This one's a. Y'all ready for this? Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. Da, 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 da. I just played a song. All right. Let's go for it. Maybe Jedi Cal. I don't know. I don't want to take any weird risks here. So this is. Let's get in there. Let the death mark hopefully do its thing. Hopefully. Knowing my luck, death mark's not gonna work. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna do ability blocks. Okay. Oh, jeez. All right. We need to get some ability blocks. Days on her. Damn, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Keep those. Oh no, I didn't want that. What the hell? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? All right. You know, let's just get rid of range trooper. There we go. Nicely done. Okay, so far so Gucci. All right, give me some foresight. Just gotta get that death mark on here. Whatever that might be. Whatever. Any day now. Any day now. You know, just keep that freaking days coming. Yeah, just don't even let her get a turn. I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed looking at her. 55,000. There we go. Yo, where's my 300,000 damage? Huh? What freaking McDonald's playground are we on right now? Goodness gracious. All right, at least I got 100,000 there. But still not 300,000. All right, there we go. Okay, well, we got it down. We're getting through this wall, I think. <laughs> Keyword, <laughs> I think. As I said, I don't think that Mass Luke's gonna hold him. Let me see how many drop battles they have. If we can try to contain the rest of these 
battles you know they've so far they dropped what is it one they dropped the two uh what do they drop on i think they dropped what is it, another one or two down here right what do we got here we have three so that's three drop battles i'm yeah the backwater uh, as much as saw might be threatening so they dropped three individual battles we've dropped two we can try to contain it and i hopefully maybe ships can get me some work in here we could try to contain for the rest of the grand arena well might be okay but again i we burned kind of a lot we burned kind of a lot to get through these data crowns okay now i wish i could trust this i wish i could i wish i could but again we're seeing the damage these teams are throwing down we're seeing the damage they're throwing down the lack of damage i'm doing on these teams and this here hmm i don't know if wampa i would love if wampa can do this don't even know oh no oh my god We've been working on this wall for over an hour. I was on time at the stream and everything, and we're still stuck on this, man. Oh my gosh. If Wampa could win this, that would buy us so much real estate. If this was any other General Skywalker, dude, this would be easy cash money. But it's not. It's not. It's not. All right, let me just see. Data Crown so let's see, we got that. Let me. all right is wampa uh, yeah it's just not great it's just not great 33 percent if i took off the adacron easy um what do we have jetta knight luke would be nice to, if i could pull you know Je you know what uh, I, I need to think of teams that we're not gonna need i want to take advantage of this is a suboptimal gas comp it's just the data crons the fear factor that we got cooking you know, Jedi Luke is kind of, uh, it's, it's resonating with me here a little bit. I, every time I see a freaking trace of us, I'm getting really ticked. I get really ticked. Yeah, we can, so yeah, here's what I'm feeling. So Wampa, again, if we're going to try to win this, we really can't be throwing Wampa on this here. So we have a few options. We could do Star Killer. That should be, you know, fairly, hopefully straightforward. We can bring in Jedi Luke, you know, um... Only downside is I might want to use Luke and Revan to take on maybe a Zori. I'm sure there's a Zori somewhere. So, you know what? I, I, I think this might be the time to pull out. Star it's just like, I don't feel confident. It's just like the confidence level isn't quite where I'd like it to be. All right, where's Palpatine? Oh, Palpatine, I'm out of jade. And let me get a little bit of a star color up of her. Yeah. Okay. Wampa, am I at the without Rex? But again, you're not, you're, again, you are not wrong. In a normal world, Wampa dunks on that gas all day long. But when you have all these, whatever, 100% offense, armor penetration, and you have the reduced damage, as we just saw, it's a 30% chance. It's not a great, it's not a good feeling. If this was like just, the, if there was no data crons, dude, I'm with you all day, we're throwing Wampa, but again, that's not the world they're playing in right here. It's not the world they're playing. We could take a gamble, but then all of a sudden, we're losing these banners that I really don't want to throw down. Yeah. I try Royal Guard in a zone. <laughs> yeah. Zori, you know, that if I could get my Zori, you know, that would, how nice would that be? If my Zori, how many times have I seen? The problem is we have no idea if this works or not because no one in their right mind brings Zori on offense. I keep forgetting to put her down on defense. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't, you know, I keep maybe it's destiny i keep forgetting to put this team back on defense like how amazing would it be we're gonna get going first you know it's just you know that the, there's the issue of the reduced damage and all that stuff but and if they do hit us we might be <laughs> we might drop dead at that point you know what you put zori in offense because she, she can still kick butt at low gear it just i keep forgetting like i should have taken off freaking saw and just throw this in there uh but what we're gonna need we're gonna need some great damage all right like that's great basic speed up okay you know what i i want to believe it's like the one battle where i feel like r and jesus what can they do me wrong i'm taking a risk i'm taking a gamble i'm gonna get rolling it's just the counter attacks and the hits from gas are the mild concern that i have you know freaking hey we're doing it man get bob on the line let's do it baby finn you're ready lock it in finn number two lock it in sorry 
Get that Daft Punk helmet on. We're about to freaking rock and baby roll. We're going to put some data on the board. I'm one of the few that's doing this on offense. Here we go. All right. For the record, I know if I threw gas against this, I would lose. So let's be fair here, huh? All right, pass it on over. Oh, God damn that damage. Oh, all right. Let's just got to get rolling. Got to get rolling. We're, I feel like we're not doing quite the amount of damage I would like to see here. Just keep coming. Just keep doing your thing. Pass it on over. Uh, who's, um, hmm. You know what? I'm actually just going to do this, I think. Let's do this. Keep me. Ooh. That sucks. All right. Cleanse up. That's fine. All right. Okay. Get him down. Get him down and dirty. All right. I'm worried about Echo. I think I'm worried about Echo the most. He's going to do an AoE here. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Just watch out for everything. Uh, I think I'm going to save the stun. I really want to hold this. You know, just do it. Screw it. Just do it. Let's get him down. That was actually probably overkill. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. Just give me uh, do one of these things. There we go. Oh, absolutely amazing. Absolutely freaking amazing. This is what I like to see. Oh, this is. I'm telling you, it was destiny that I keep forgetting to put this team down. Give me a stun. Take it to the bank, honey. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I needed right there. That's what I needed. It was destiny, but I kept forgetting to put that on defense. It kicks butt. All right, I saw that banner count. Struggles on the ships. That's what I like to see. What's this back hole looking like? So as expected, I saw this from a mile away. This is a heavy offense plan that they had with great Datacrons backing them up. Whew. They are probably banking on me not even getting back here. I don't blame them. They, remember, they made it this far because they had amazing data crowns that wall. Great damage, great defense. A lot of the folks probably were not clearing that wall. We did. What did it cost? Pretty much everything. This is coming down the ships, it looks like, but we're not quite out of the woods yet. I'm sure they have other bonker stuff up here that we got to worry about. Holy cow, we have RNG Jesus in the chat. Praise be RNG Jesus giving that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Get the memberships to the Comic Club VIP Bus program. Oh, baby. Thank you for sharing that love with everyone. My gosh, you got the chat all hyped up. Thank you, my friend. Woo! All right. What is the damage up here? What are we going to do? Damn, I mean, there's a couple of concerns I'm seeing here. I'm seeing Tuscans. Wow, this is an interesting, uh, it's not bad. It's interesting. This is interesting. Um, I don't know if I should love it or hate it, uh, but that's pretty cool though. All right. All right. It's time to freaking take off the gloves now. Let's get down to work. We're going to Jedi this up. We're not going to goof around. Man, that Zori battle was exactly what I needed. Now I'm going to return a favor and smash their Zori team. All right. Let's just get Mace Windu up in here. Let's get down to work. Get me, um, doesn't matter. What do we have here? Uh, speed up sounds amazing. Let's do it. Woo! Let's go. You use, yeah, let, let's use General Skywalker now in case I didn't learn anything on that last battle. All right, let's go for it. Save it. Let's send it. Three, two, one. Go, go, go. No screwing around. No more screwing around. Let's get down to it. We're locked and loaded. All right, big play coming. That's fine. Nice ability block. Not like it matters. All right, let's go ahead. What's this looking like? Finn's about to roll here. Let's just mark him down. All right, got nice ability blocks. Can't do much there. Let's go ahead. Oh, perfect. That's great. Let's do that over here. Down you go. 
There we go. Boom! Lock him in. Lock him in. All right, let's go. Who's got a lot of turn meter here? You know what? Just keep passing the turns over to Luke. Pass it on over. Give it over to Windu. To the Windu, to the wall. These banners drip down my balls. I couldn't think of a place word. I'm sorry. Over here. Nicely done. Got the ability block locked in. Okay. All right. And yeah, 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 yeah. Just do that basic. We got it locked in in three, two. Okay. Just send it on over there. All right. Hey, oh, and he go. Okay. Can I get any banners back? I don't quite know. I don't know. Probably not. But I got the win. That's all I needed. All right. There we go. I was literally trying. I mean, sweat dripping down my walls. This makes sense because I just said to the window, to the wall. The sweat dripped down the halls. I don't know. Listen, don't hate on me. Who 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 does that song? Is it Little John? It's Little John, right? Hate on the hate on him for making the uh, the lyrics. All right, now we can actually start picking up the pace here. Yeah, I, like I can like okay, boom. I know what to do here. I don't need to look at the data crawl. Like this is like, just don't don't suck. Okay, just don't suck. Is the key word? Just don't suck. Get in there. Give me the hit. Let's keep moving on. All right. All right. Let's give me a Qui Gon Kron. 180% critical damage. I probably should at least peek at the Kron just to make sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think this is okay. Again, lost condition is here. Anakin getting stunned by Captain Rex could really blow. The, the, the old Captain Rex. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Let's go. Woo! Man, I, the, the weight lifted off my shoulder the second we blew down that wall. All right. Okay, just gotta watch out for the stun. Here's my biggest concern. Get some offense up for the team. All right. Okay, that's great. That's great. I'm just gonna see if I can pop a hit over here for the minute. Let's go. Not quite. No, no. All right. You know, what? I'm gonna just put the taunt over there for the moment. Uh, give me a daze on fives if you can. There we go. And not like it matters too much. Okay. Again, we just gotta watch out for stun on Anika. That is the loss condition here. Ooh, hit that guy back. Hit him back. Hit him back. You know you want to. Ooh, 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 baby, ooh, baby, ooh, baby, ooh, baby, ooh. Get out of here. Okay. I don't think I'm going to need the sacrifice here. We're looking good so far. And that's okay. Now I kind of want Qui-Gon to die so I can get my banners back. Uh, you know, get the taunt back up. Do the thing. There we go. Nice hit. And you know what? Do it. He held back. 433,000 damage. That's my best. That, that's, that's, that's my one and only good. That's the, the one data I can brag about. 130... Maybe it's not even that braggable. I don't know. 130% is not. <laughs> There's more and cooler ones, but that's the best I have, and I'm proud of it. Okay. Um. Okay. Take a little breather. Uh, it was nice. Let that, that pent up energy that we needed uh, to get out. All right. I need to think carefully here. Tuskins. We don't have Trey. That's gonna be a big problem. No, it doesn't matter. My Trey got nuked the last time. Um. They have Omicron, so we can't Padme cheese it. Star Killer's dicey, as we talked about. We actually had to do this battle with Star Killer in a free to play count. It wasn't ideal. Uh, we don't have Rogue One. Uh, man, that Rogue One battle really kind of stings a little bit. Um, I, I want to believe we have an option, a, a way to get around this one way or another. I don't know what it is right now. Let me come back to it. It's really, I need to figure out how to get through this. This is what I need to figure out. I like, I like, would a, would a standard Iden team get the job done? I don't have the crazy Iden data crown, unfortunately. Like, would this be enough? Would this be enough? What's the damage on this? Uh, I mean, it's we've seen crazier. We've, we've seen much crazier. So this isn't like nearly as bad. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. All right. All right. All right. Now, see, here's the problem. I wish I had that Iden Kron. That would have been. Whew. We would be cooking, guys, but we don't. So, backup plan. Oh boy, there really, there really isn't a backup plan. I guess damage is our backup plan. All right, let's go. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Sure. I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is going to work. Gas on Tuskins. Yeah, I, I think gas on Tuskins might work. Might work. I don't. I can't remember if gas stops the revive on the Tuscan Raider spawn. I don't think it does, but maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. All right. And I think this is what I, I'm kind of feeling here. I mean, what are my other options that we have? Maybe I can get Cal to do this battle. I'm not 100% sure. Wampa's definitely no go. Star Killer's an option. I mean, if, if all goes wrong, I think Star Killer could help us get out of this situation. Actually, Star Killer's feeling really good. But I, like, if this works, that'd be great. Yeah. It's not a revive. Yeah, so yeah, it's a summon, right? So it doesn't, yeah, it's not gonna stop it. So um, yeah, so unfortunately that's out of the out the door. Alright, I, I I want this to work. I don't know if it's the best. 
it's not the best. I think Stark could be much better, but it's. I think we can work with it. <laughs> I can work with it. All right. Let's do it. Let's deploy this garrison, shall we? Or, should we get the adapter done? We, we rarely use Iden on offense. This is kind of one of those emergency situations where we need to get Iden out here. Iden, please and thank you. Let's get to work. Let's do it. All right. Adapter die, baby. This is big plays here. Now, I'm guessing Chewy's got to be our go-to here. It feels like I have to go for it to Chewy. All right. All right. That's I could work with that. I could work with that. How's the opening plays? Let's just get the stun first. All right. Nicely done. That's feeling good. That's feeling good. You know what? Can you just get me a double tap again? You were doing really good there. Just do it again. That feels great. That feels great. So that's what I was saying. I don't know if I should love or hate this. I'm not sure if Tarful lead of this is a great build. I don't know. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but there we go. Now we, we got this locked in. We got this locked in. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I've seen Wookiees hit way harder than this. This is this is the walk in a park compared to the five bajillion damage bet chewies I've been seeing lately. All right, get the death mark out. Not like it matters with grit. We're going to do it anyways. Basic. And oh, don't you dare steal my banners. I worked hard for this. I worked hard for this. And oh, dude, jerk. That's fine. Just to finish it up. Take down those walls, baby. We're not giving up yet. We can make it out alive. Say it. We have to die tonight. Don't you forget about it. All right. I got to rip off this band aid. We got to rip it off. Uh, gas feels good. It feels good. I think it's not the my. Uh, not feels doesn't feel great. Great. Yeah, use saying use gas on task. It sounds awful. Yeah. yeah, out of context for those that don't play Galaxy Heroes, right? All right. Mm. All right. I, let, me, let me see. I have. I, I, I want to utilize one of these Jedi things. All right, Krita protection up. Um, another option I have is stacking critical damage. Sounds kind of nice i think i might go for stacking critical damage if we can try to get echo and arc to do the big damage on the other folks i'm feeling like this is my way right right gas 100 all right let's go for it all right send it send it keep it moving keep it moving please don't suck is the name of the game here we go all right who's going first likely them give me that little cheat sheet over here big boop all right that's fine we're good let those buffs all the buffs i feel like this should go pretty well all those buffs should ramp us up look at that yeah we're gonna get this we're gonna get this we're getting big money on this one all right come on just all right sixty-one thousand. there we go keep yeah, there we go that's fantastic that's great that's great keep pushing crank it up no 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 Whoa, how did that happen? I have no idea. I'm going to take it. <laughs> Jump it though. Somehow there wasn't a taunt there. I don't know how we were able to get through that. Was that a bug in my favor? I don't know. We'll just take it. All right. Whew. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths, guys. We're almost at that finish line. We're almost there. Give me a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right. And nice and easy. Nice and easy. Even have to worry about gas going down a single time. They didn't get nearly as much momentum uh wrap it up put it in the bag all right yeah 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 okay 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 we're we're, we're nailing these teams at the wall all right uh what are we thinking bad batch here got to be careful you know sometimes they get some weird plays that pop off um this is kind of dumb you know i mean ahsoka can't even get debuff center anyways there oh no oh this is applying ability block oh hmm okay you know, let me go back so there's a little bit of defense better than my best defense still it's, it's, it's not as bad as others i like how life puts things in perspective it's not 300 percent; it's only 160. uh what's the south wall because i think we're gonna we're pretty much getting close to needing a full clear i mean it seems like ships got me something what's what's going on back here i'm guessing they gotta yeah they'll get through it they'll get through it 100 percent. i'd be surprised they don't they did the two shot there one shot maybe i get lucky to get one more hold there uh, i'm feeling again this is a high offense plan they got which means when we get the ships hopefully it's easy but we got to make sure we get the south wall um i'm thinking imperial troopers i'm thinking that's whatever yeah i don't think we should worry too much i think uh down here wampa uh, there's a game plan let's just make sure let's just make sure we get this taken care of here all right are we thinking maybe just jedi knight cal this i mean i don't think i need anything for jedi knight cal in the south i could use bad batch i think it's a little bit risky 
I don't know if I want to get into that risky business right now. Yeah, I don't. We don't need Cal for it. I mean, it'd be nice to get through the nest. I mean, actually, we do got to keep our eyes peeled for that. We don't want to get stuck behind a. a net. We have Star Killer. We still have freaking Star Killer in the bag. We're not using Star Killer against Sir Junda. Okay, I think it's. I think we're doing Jedi Cal. Yeah. Uh, how do you expect to beat Trench? I don't know. You know, I'm gonna laugh. I want today to be the day where we just we can't clear because of Trench. Today, just I want it to be that day. All right, yeah, we got to hurry along. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Knowing our luck, it's probably going to be uh, some of the five Galactic Legends plus uh, Leviathan, Profundity's Executor. So whatever, I mean, you want to get closer to the misery? The matchmaking in my free to play count was absolutely atrocious. I feel like at least half my opponents had Leviathan plus another big ship. It was like, wow, pretty crazy stuff. All right, let's, um, I, I have a mild concern. I, I, I just I, we we take down freaking Malguses. Are we gonna lose to a Seer Junda? I can't imagine. I'm just worried that I might not be able to. We're gonna do this. Let's do this. Let's go ahead get a uh, Calcron. I'm gonna laugh if somehow I can beat Malguses, no problem. But I'm gonna get stuck behind a Seer Junda. I just gotta wonder who do I want to insta kill? Crew, just so I don't have to worry about his him tanking the whole time. Seer Junda is also a big candidate. All right, we're gonna go with it. Get rid of the stench trend. Sidious solo, bro. Sidious. Sidious what is solo. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm going with this. I'm feeling pretty good. I just hopefully we don't have a big issue on the table. Cal, get out there. You take down freaking Malguses. This should be easy. Prob Seer. Yeah, I'm thinking Seer might be the, the, the better choice, but I, I just I hope we don't get stuck behind Kyra Mask. You know how it is. Sometimes we're going we're gonna to be fine, right? We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. All right, give it to Cal. All right. All right, let's just go ahead. Just do some buff the spells where we can. We're going to start getting the armor shreds on him like so. Let's go ahead. Start popping the hits over here. All right. Got to watch out for all that stuff. Let's just clear off that foresight. Uh, spam it on over. Give it to, uh, I don't know. Give it to Hermit Yoda, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter here. Okay. Get those buffs off of Silk. We're playing this very well right now. Give me some foresight. Okay. All right. Just, you know... Uh, I'm going to just keep Kylo out of this for the moment. Let the big boys and gals play this battle. All right. Just get rid of that foresight again. I don't want to screw around too much. And there it is. Cal, you ready, baby? The kill's there. Said. Get him out, yo. You're almost on beat. You're almost on beat there. All right. Now we just got to raw damage the rest of this here. Okay. All right. Send it on over. Keep pulling. Yeah, Kylo Ren, I, he's a non-issue, but I just hope I can kill him. All right. Send down over. Give me some armor threads. Can't get rid of that. All right. Just keep keep moving along. Keep moving along. Magic camp thing. All right. That's fine. We're going to do probably a cleanse here anyways. Give it the Basila. All right. A little Hibachi action there. Buffs over to Cal. Let's go. Nicely done. Almost there. Yeah. She has like no more buffs to pull. Keep, keep that coming. There we go. All right. And let's just keep doing this. All right. Almost down for the count. Almost. <laughs> Almost down for the count. I might have to just listen to this killer. Oh gosh, just come on, finish her up. This is why I was kind of worried about the rest of these kills here. Here, we this has to, this has to do it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna try play this a manual. Hopefully, it all goes well. All right, keep the buffies on him. I think we're looking okay. Looking okay. Okay. And just hibachi, hibachi. Let's go, go, go. Yeah, it's, it might take a minute though. A lot of defense to work through. Ooh. Kind of worried about this. It's looking kind of thick here. Just keep those armor shreds coming. Yeah, we're getting there. We're gonna get there. We're totally getting there. We're gonna. We're fine. We're fine. Just wrap it up. How? There it is. Okay. All right. As expected, my opponent got through, which is to be expected. Ships. Let's see what we're looking at here. Um. All things considered, not bad. Not bad. Uh, we're looking at probably. Geonosians, Negotiator, Chimera. Pretty simple day for ships again. I read my opponent like a freaking open book. We know what they were up to, but we just got to make sure we lock in the south and make sure we just keep one shot and make these as clean as possible. All right, let's just do this. Is there anything Datacron wise that would forbid me from doing this here? Uh, not a lot of defense. Are we feeling good? Wampa, we're we doing fine. Uh, this is the time to pull out the Wampa. Um, <laughs> Paz almost worked, but he doesn't have a buff to spell. Um, I, just, I have a lot of ways to handle it. It's just, we just want to get the maximum amount of bear. I think it's got to be Wampa time. This feels like a Wampa time. Give me some armor penetration. 
Uh, we just got to be there's one thing you got to be careful of bb8 tenacity down grievous could transition into a stun potentially let's hope we can avoid that we are probably not going to utilize what do i want uh yeah just, just just throw this on yeah i don't just all right, just do that i don't care all right wampa you ready for it because i'm ready for it we, don't you dare fail me we waited for this moment we worked hard we're playing damn hard it's time for the audience to get him hyped up let's do it all right baby lock it in give me wins don't you dare suck there is a loss condition hopefully we do not see this loss condition all right starting to party off all right nice hit give me some days that could kill us that could be a problem that could be a problem keep putting him back all right gotta get the tenacity down off us uh there is there's a problem the grievous could stun me it could happen All right, let's see how it goes. Oh, we got past it. Nicely done. All right. All right, now this is the part. We got to hit the auto, and we pray. A lot of time is going to be needed for this last part. You guys know how it goes. This ain't our first rodeo. All right, we might need to step in to make sure Wampa gets the protection up when we need it. Coming to left hook, right hook action. Maybe Wampa will find her Kyber Crystal inside this beautiful cave. Because let me tell you, this Wampa's got the force power of at least the past thousand generations of Jedi. Keep it coming. There we go. Keep ramping up. She looks hungry, baby. Damage is coming at 97,000. I need more. I need to see that 400,000 damage plus. We don't have 500% armor penetration, but we do what we can. All right. 160,000. We're going to need a little bit more. Need a little bit more, honey. All right, protection up is up. We're looking good. We're good. We're good. All right, we have three minutes, 39 seconds on the clock. Time is our enemy. Trust me, don't I know it. Time is our enemy. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. There we go. Grip's dead. But that's not my problem. This is the battle right here. Shorty versus Wampa. 320 on the clock. We're getting in the red. We're almost there. It's looking pretty good for us. 150,000. Keep on ramping. Just don't let her heal up too much. 163. And she's freaking down for the power. They want to wonder. They want to wonder. 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 They want to wonder. Wonder. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. All right. Four more teams down here to go. All right, uh, Nest. Uh, should we just throw Star Killer at this? Call it a day. Hopefully, we don't run into any issues. Star Killer, let's just try to get a loose blueprint how this could work. Star Killer. I don't want to sleep on the Inquisitors, you know. Uh, I believe Imperial Trooper should be able to beat them. Um. I could be wrong. Maybe Wampa was good for that version. I can't quite recall. All right. You know, let me double check because it always changes. If you do one lineup, Imperial Troopers are the way to go. If you go the other way, Wampa's the way to go. And I, 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 I'm never going to remember. Every time I go into the situation, I'm like, I can't remember what I keep teaching myself. I'm hoping this is the Imperial Trooper one. If not, we probably got to use Star Killer on this battle because uh, then I don't want to take a risk of Imperial Troopers. All right, let's go with, with, with Trench. All right, Trench, Dooku. I think this is the one where troopers are ideal, right? No, I think this is, oh crap. This might be the one where Wampa's ideal. Wampa gets 100% win rate here. Well, it's fine. We have to use Wampa somewhere, right? Uh, Imperial troopers, what is their win rate up against this particular battle? Where are you at, guys? Oh, oops, my bad. Oops, 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 there we go. All right, Wampa, yeah. Uh, Imperial troopers can still pull this off. 79% win rate, not as good as Wampa. I think, it, so let me just, I, oh, if this is the Django variant, which one? Okay, it's still about to say, but Wampa does less. Okay, let me, just, let me remind myself because I'm going to need this. I, I'm going to forget about it anyways. Yeah, there we go. Wampa sucks against the Newt variant. Imperial Troopers excel against the Newt variant. It's like, the good news is you have a lot of ways of beating Trench. You just got to know what conditions what. Okay, let's, uh, yeah. Hopefully it goes well. You know, I, I there, you know, something could happen. <laughs> won't be the first. I won't be the last. That something weird happens in a grand arena. Again, make it nice and clean. Make it fast. Armor penetration. What do I got? Probably not as lot. Uh, it's not the best. Not the best. Okay. All right. Any other options I want to consider? You know, I could just throw Star Killer. Play it safe. 
call it a day. It's just I don't want to screw out the nest. The nest is the thing I'm worried about. We don't have Trey yet. We don't have Mando. We don't really have an insta kill. Last thing I want, holy hell, it ended 3v3 by getting stuck behind a freaking nest. Yeah, Wampa, we just used one. <laughs> we just used Wampa. <laughs> Buffs on basic. I don't think I have any more. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, trust me, you're not wrong. I just have the light side one. So, yeah, again, I, I, Conquest started up. We're going to have another two weeks. I, I'm going to have a, at least a few more Datacrons. So, we'll hopefully have another few. All right, you just joined. Okay, you literally just, we, we just slam dunked with Wampa. Previous battle. So, you just missed it. All right. Uh, all right, let's do it. All right, so we're going to have a pre taunt throw. We have to kill it off quickly. What did we say? 70 something percent? I can see where things can go wrong here. Luckily, it's not a god tier Datacron. But who knows? The second they get shock and stuns, we might be in trouble. Let's do it. Trench, you know what, man? I'm rooting for you, bud. You know what? I'm going to call it. Trench is winning this battle. He's going to take this battle to the finish line. I promise you. Get ready to see this. All right. All right. Let's get to work. All right. All right. Veer's about to come in. Here's my concern, though. Uh, Trench, if I hit this brute, he'll get turn meter and might interrupt me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pump turn meter. Let's just, you know, some stuff can go wrong here. I don't know. We got to just go for it, though. You can't just blitz down Dooku. Dooku can be really annoying. All right, here we go. If we get stunned, we could be in trouble. Eh, it could be a problem. That's fine. Okay, we can work with that. We can work with that. Okay, okay, hold on. I don't know this means, yeah, we, I don't, this is gonna mean nothing. They're gonna go under. I'm wondering if this is the chance to get trench. Basic trench, what are we feeling? Days, Duke is gonna cleanse it literally next turn. It's not gonna mean anything, I think. I'm feeling trench, man. Basic the brood? Uh, maybe. I, I think I can kill. This is only a Relic 3 Trench right there. I just, I remember, we're only getting one assist here. You think it's Geonosian? I think it's Geonosians. Okay. You know, I, I'm going, I, I think I'm going to go for Trench. I'm going for Trench here. There we go. Yeah, maybe it was a bad call. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's all I needed. All right, now we just got to deal with this shenanigans. All right, come on. Get the brood up before we have to deal with the revive. Fantastic. Awesome sauce. I'll try to daze now. There it is. Nicely done. Send this conquest character back to the graveyard. And the trash can's probably more appropriate. Then you put it in the graveyard. All right, next up, Star Killer. onto this. Man, it feels good once there's finally a beat happening. It's like, wow. It's like, all right, we can breathe. All right, let's make sure we don't screw this up somehow. Put your bets in the chat, huh? How much am I going to screw this battle up here? What are we feeling? <laughs> you know, I have a tendency of uh, making nests quite complicated. <laughs> All right, armor penetration. I guess that's the best I have, right? That's looking like the best we got. All right, let's keep moving. 50-50 chance. I like your optimism there. All right, uh, is there maybe a better star killer comp I should utilize here? Um, I'm not really seeing it. I mean, I could use like Vader or something. I think this should be fine. All right, let's go for it. Trench, yeah, maybe we could use Trench here. Oh, wait, we already used Trench, didn't we? Yeah, he got absolutely mauled. Yeah, I'm not afraid about that. All right, Stark here, let's go, baby. Send it on in. Three, two, one, get in there. Don't. You can freaking knock down Galactic Legends, pull out Star Destroyers, but you're going to get stuck behind the nest. All right, let's go. All right, let's go ahead. You know what? I just want to get a stun if I can. There we go. All right. We'll leave her where she is. We'll kill all her friends. And then we'll come back to her in a little bit. There we go. Nicely done. And now we just... Yeah, get the days on while we're here. There we go. Now we just got to wait. Man, can I just stop the song? It feels good actually seeing my Star Killer hit for a reasonable amount of damage. You know, what, playing against Raid the past few Grand Runes really was crushing my soul. Anyways, there we go. All right. Next problem out. Keep it moving along. Let's handle this next. This is the next problematic child. Not problematic child, but the, the, the next thing I'm kind of got to make sure I don't want to screw up here. Um, you know, I got to be careful. We are running thin on teams here a little bit. I feel like there's a team I'm like not paying attention. We have Bad Batch. Okay, Bad Batch here or Bad Batch. Yeah, Bad Batch is probably the better team to use here, right? Yeah, Bad Batch up here. All right. I, I, oh my gosh, I still have First Order? Yeah, all right, all right. 
Yeah, we got teams. Awesome. So we'll probably... Oh, man. Yeah, you know what? Hux seems better here. We'll do Hux up here. Bad Batch down there. Game, set, match. There we go. Let's do it. Pass from all. Again, I don't have the right tools uh, to get the cheese to happen. Uh, you, need, you need at least armor to get the cheese popping. We don't have armor. She was... Well, she died for no reason, but, you know, whatever. That's story of life. What were we saying? We were going to use Hux. Yeah, just let's gun them down. Gun them down. They don't even have a tank, a ta a tank, a tank in their way. <laughs> Taunting character in their way, whatever. Arm penetration. Let's do this. Okay. Offense. Yeah, we have no more arm penetration. We're running thin on the budget. That's fine. Let's just go with it. Doesn't, man, critical chance on a team that has heavy advantage. What a great day to crop. All right. Let's see. I keep the song moving. Uh, let's go in there. Fifth Brother's probably the more annoying character we got to worry about here. Let's just knock him into dead baby all right send it oh uh, he's putting up a little bit fight what's on here is there a little bit uh, not even just just finish it up come on guys don't embarrass me there we go all right might lose a few banners here oh didn't okay all right we'll see if we can maybe try to get the banners back okay you no 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 let's see what i want to do here you know what uh, just save it for later probably gonna need it don't you dare don't you dare steal my banners don't steal them okay and can we get max banners Nine, come on, Max Banners, Max Banners, Max Banners, Max Banners, Max Banners. I think we got Max Banners. There we go. All right. And let's wrap it up with a little bit of Bad Batch action down here. This should be... <laughs> Sidious is going to literally solo this, bro. How much you want to bet? All right, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. What do we have left over? We have... That looks... Damn. I... <laughs> I don't think it matters. Uh, there we go. That looks good. Okay. Let's do it, honey. Send it, send it, send it, send it. Let's wrap it up and get the ships. I'm feeling pretty good now. I'm feeling pretty good. Hopefully ships. There's no data crowns on ships, luckily. All right. They're going to get a few opening plays. Let's land that days in. All right. Good stuff. Okay. Let me see if I can get some stuns, please. And thank you. All right. Nicely done. Let's go pass it on over here. I don't know who's my biggest concern, honestly. I guess Scion. I don't know, but I don't want to be stuck behind him. You know what? Just uh, get rid of Sidious while we're here. Just, I don't know. I think I'm overthinking this. Let's finish it up. All right. And get back under stealth, please. Okay. Almost there. Do a basic. Oh, come on. Don't you dare play silly games. And there's the... And there's the jerk. There's the jerk right there. I was trying to get him out before that happened. Oh, well. Can you just, like... Uh, just do basic. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Now we just got to play with this dude. Stole my freaking banners. Uh, here, go over here. Let's go. Come on. Did I get my banners back? All right. Max banners. Beautiful. Awesome. Oh, man. It's crazy how we spent more time on the one wall than the rest of these. Wow. All right. So we're going into this ship. We know my opponent. I think they only dropped one battle, right? They dropped one on Leviathan. Yeah, they dropped one on Leviathan. We, it makes sense. They, they went pretty heavy on the offensive side. Let's just see. Uh, so... We lost one battle, or we lost two on Java, or we lost two battles that that were expensive. These were expensive. Luckily, after that, we were doing very well. It, do we? Are we gonna still win this? Let's see. Let's see. We have 40 minutes on the clock. Plenty of breathing room. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what the math is laying out to be. 15, 65 plus. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, 219. Okay minus 1961 all right 177 divided by three okay so as long as i one shot we're good just got a one shot so let's make sure we take our time here boomer math i mean you know how it goes yeah 59 banner average which is again basically one shotting uh you know things could go wrong of course hopefully not i mean we're gonna obviously rip the band-aid we got to do this chimera thing let's get the chimera out there it's gonna be our go-to oh i mean we could also negotiate this but i feel my, my outline is looking like Chimera, Negotiator, and Malevolence. So the, 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 their Chimera battle is the one I'm most concerned about. This is the one I'm most concerned about, but I'm hoping I'm going to nab so many banners from at least the Malevolence battle that maybe if I drop something, we can, you know, do a nice little cleanup. All right. Easy with Scythe. Uh, what, what are we talking about? Scythe, what Scythe? Scythe for what? Yeah, Trey lost. That was a that was a sad battle. Yeah, that, that Revo was pretty pretty uh scary. All right. Let's do it. I'll meet you guys on over there. <sighs> Gary, you ready to rock and roll, baby? We're in the final freaking countdown. Let's get the work. All right, setting coordinates, Gary. And
I think it's the first time we're playing, or second time I played ships this season. <sighs> no screwing around. We worked hard. It's time to play hard. Let's go. All right. Game plan number one. This has to work. It has to work. Chance of failure, you know, something could happen. Something could happen, I don't know. But more or less, whoop, 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 whoop. Don't, don't, don't get cocky at me. More or less, this should work. It just depends, what do I want for the starting lineup? I can do Reaper starter, I can do Gauntlet starter, it really doesn't matter. I think we're just gonna stick to it. This usually works. Let's not doubt it now, huh? Huh? Free Baba, we don't got time for that. Baba doesn't work like this. I, you understand how much it takes to summon his soul the day before Halloween? You, you're asking for world terror to happen, is what you're asking. Let's do it. This is the final 3v3, you know it, baby. Final 3v3 today. <sighs> Sight starter, I mean, you could. I mean, I kind of want to keep it just in case we need Tarkin, you know? We might need Tarkin for something. We don't need it. Let's go. At last we meet in this theater of war. However briefly. All right. I will start my operations here. Where are we starting? And pull the right over there. Let's do it. Beats by All right. Big hit. All right. Here comes the swarm who's dying. That's fine. He did his job. Here we go. No escape. Oh, man. I almost screwed that up. Boy, no that would have been sad. All right. Let's make sure we land the hit. Nicely done. That's one down. All right. Okay. Open fire. Give me those juicy dodges. All right, that's fine. Over here, let's go. That's all I need. This is all I need. Get him out. That's all I need. I don't need anything more. Okay. All right, good dodges. Great dodges. Open uh, fire. You know what? Eh, just say that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's go. All right, let's mark him down. Okay, so far so good. Ounce tooth. Ounce tooth. All right. Okay. Go ahead, just do basics right now. Nicely done. Okay, instant kill. Where you at, buddy? Here we go. Do this. Yeah, we got a full set of foresight. We're looking really good. Nice. Hit it. Oh, that, oh I got goosebumps off of that. Oh. Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. I don't think I need this. Just wrap it up. Just finish it. Just send it. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. So far, so good. I like that. I like it. I like it, baby. <sighs> All right, next up. No escape. Escape. Negotiator. There is no escape. Basic, escape. easy, money, escape. counter. No Let's not screw this up. Escape. Easy, money. You know, I'll even bring in Marauder. How does that sound? I don't think we... You know what? I wonder if I should keep Marauder. What if we want to do, like, a clone lineup? Eh, it's fine. Let's just not screw around today, huh? So far, you can't hear the music? You know what? Just keep it going! Open fire. Just keep it going! Let's go! Alright. Why should demonstrate? Okay, let's get to work. Basic! Hide a bomber, let him get the turn. Here it comes. Alright. Alright, what do we got here? Full send it, let's go. Alright, so far so good. You know what, uh... I found this whole experience to be very enlightening. Likewise. All right, Kenobi, you're coming in. You're on deck, man. All right, what do I... I always like to mix this up. I don't know. Just do the... Just do a buff community here. Or not, nah, doesn't... Whatever. That's just how it works for me. All right, let's go ahead and do a buff the spells. Okay. We gotta get down to Sunny D. Let's get him down. Come on. All right. Big hits. Big hits. Big hits. Let's see what he got. All right, almost there. You know what, Sun Z, you gotta get him out. There he is, all right. All right, what do we got? Cleanse, I'm that emulsory, bad play. All right, flow coming on in. Let's go for him. I don't think I need Marauder. He's my emotional support. Shit. All right, let's, uh, no, what am I doing? Turn meter. Off the spell. Just wrap it up. Almost there, come on. Unending loyalty, come on, need good banners. GFC banners. Come on. And finish it up. Nicely done. One more ship to go. 
Sorry, Marauder, I didn't need you for this one. 75 banners, we take those. I can multi-shot this fleet. I can multi-shot it, if need be. We got Scythe clean up, we have first order. We're getting through this, hopefully. All right. This is it's not a joke of a lineup, though. Don't, don't, be, don't get this twisted. This is not a joke of a lineup. All right, that's basically the play. That's basically our play. We're just running a few algorithmic checks before we get through. We just gotta blitz down that bomber. That is the game plan. That is the game plan. Gary, where's the music? What do you mean, incoming transmission? Oh. Why do I hear boss music playing? I thought I was the boss. Uh-oh. All right. Hello. Hello. Okay, I, I guess we're doing this. At last, we need this theater. All right, I'm a bit worried now. There's no escape from this guy. We're one battle away from wrapping up the 3v3 hell. Let's put this in the frickin' grave. All right. The architects Let's go for it. All right, we gotta gun this guy down. Almost there. Almost there. Beautiful. 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 All right. Two basics right now. All right. They're calling in a quick reinforcement. Interceptor coming in. All right, we gotta get our bomber out here fast. Ooh, back to back turn. That's kind of brutal. That's a little brutal. Uh, I always forget about this. If the target is buffed, I always forget. I can't stun him, right? Can't stun him for his foresight. Right! Right! I'm pretty sure I can't stun. Yeah. It can be done. You're not, it's not gonna stun. There we go. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Alright, that's fine. I don't need him. Alright, next up. Kinda bomber. Ooh, I don't like getting this. You gotta do it though. Here we go. Rebels have won this battle. I, I mean, Thrawn's about to take a turn anyways, right? He's gonna do it anyways. Just do it. Get the force set off. I was, I was thinking about doing basic, but let's just... He's gonna take a turn anyways. All right. There we go. Now, this is... This could be hell. This part could be hell. All right. Give me a stun. Nice. We got it. We got it. It's... Uh-oh. Never mind. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Stun him. Okay, alright. I think they might get an instant kill. Gun down Palpatine. There we go. No instant kill for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, go and get the droids. Let me remind you gently, kindly, loudly and proudly. We put the freaking G-R-A-N-D, the Grand, inside of the Grand Arena. Listen, listen, I don't care what data crimes you have. When you get inside my grand arena, inside this coliseum, the game doesn't belong to you. You, out, us. Nice win. <laughs> you know what? We need a quick, quick party break. Just really quick. Oh, no, 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 Gary. Give, just give me a quick song. Where's the, where's the guy at the Wana Wonga 3? I'm asking for it. Park the freaking car. Let's go party. This is what I need. Oh, yeah. If you guys don't mind. Oh, crap. We got a free to play Grand Arena. <laughs> All right, never mind. Save the party for later. I completely forgot we have another Grand Arena to play. <laughs> I was so ingrained in this. Um, I, I, listen, I, I knew my opponent's strategy from the get-go. They had a couple good gated crowns. They were hoping it was going to hold me down, but you got to remember, I'm God's Get the Mobile Game in 8th Day of Creation, a superior to the multiverse video game realm. I'm perfect the Kyber Empire. Yeah, and the many other fancy titles, so it didn't work against me. Heavy defense always pulls up on top. Let's go. Oh, literally, huh? get it? Heavy defense pulls up on top. <laughs> God dang, that took a long time. All right, what are we thinking here? How many GLs? Put your, put your guesses. Oh, they have, wow, seven-star Leviathan. Wow. Okay, one, two, three, four Galact Legends. Uh, Grand Inquisitor, we have a Malgus. What the hell? Every Grand Arena has been like just absolute pain. 
Hopefully they just don't show up, I guess. Uh, they have Chimera, Leviathan, ex All right, just for a game. Let's just get into it. I don't know why you guys are so enthusiastic about the free, enthusiastic about the free to play Grand Arena. All the matchmaking has been absolutely atrocious lately. What are we looking at here? Did they show up? Oh, they didn't show up. So that explains a lot. Who knows? They might show up in the last final blitz here. All right. Jeez. All right. Well, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta set a situation here. Don't get too cocky at me. All right. Um, okay. All right. Let's see what else we got here. We'll probably do Sith Eternal solo there. Actually, I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see. I might do something else. All right. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Maybe we can Imperial Trooper that team potentially. Uh, let's see what we got up here. We have Lord Failure. Uh, yeah, it's SLKR Dunk right there. So we'll probably do SLKR up here. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think the game plan's set. We have a Malgus though. Ooh, it's not a great Malgus. I think Trey can beat that. I think Trey can beat. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right. It's the Malgus I'm worried about. So we have, I think we're gonna do Sith Eternal solo down here. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Sith Assassin Sleeper. Yeah, you never know. All right. So we're gonna probably do, you know, this doesn't really work on defense, but if I'm doing a Sith Eternal mirror match, it very much well could win. All right. You know, I, I'm feeling like Star Killer can get this done. Don't you think then I could save Sith Eternal for the Malgus? That sounds a lot better. It does. You know what? I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, what are you feeling? Yeah, we got plenty of time. I think, uh, yeah, 1.5 hours. No, we have 28 minutes. Uh, but the good news is our opponent looks like they might not be, uh, they might not be a no-show. Ooh, Wampa? You know what? I mean, there's there's a concern that Watt Timbor might pop the combo, though. Like, you know, Watt Timbor might give the tank tech. Um, I mean, we could, we could... <sighs> I have a, I'm confident my opponent's not gonna show, but they have such a, they have a lot. They should be in Kyber. For some reason, they're down here. My guess is they quit, took a break. They don't like 3v3, what a variety of reasons. Wampa only works on solo. Not necessarily. It, there's no, Wampa works if there's no Savage. There's no Malik, and they have neither of those. But I don't know if these guys might pop the combo though. You tried recently? Get out Watt and Wampa. Well, it's not gonna matter, Watt's gonna, He's gonna give tank tech to someone. It's a 50 50 chance who he gives it to. But double Zeta should be easy. Yeah, they, I, well, I think we're gonna go for it. I have a Data Crown. Will, will give me uh, some advantage here. Let's try to save that for Imperial Troopers. There we go. Armor penetration. All right. Your Wampa working against C Watt and Dugo. There you go. Yeah, again. Wampa should work. So long, no Malik, no Savage. And they have neither. So I think, I think we're gonna get a. You know, we already played two Wanga songs. We need the third Wanga. We need to complete the trilogy. When you complete the trilogy in a single Grand Arena day, you know it's, a, it's, it's life's pretty good. Life's pretty good. All right, let's do it. Wanga number two, Return of the Wanga. Let's do it. You ready for it? Let's kill Armor. Yeah, we're gonna definitely focus on her. Let's not get her carried away. Again, she's kind of 50-52. She might give it the, the Watt, might give the Sith Eternal. We just don't want that to happen. All right, so all right, there we go. So that. Uh, so here is the okay all right all right all right let's uh just get our protection up and gone okay all right so let's see how the rest of this goes here so good i mean health pack it's not the word yeah i mean the good news is they, they can't get rid of the healing minute if i can't land it and yeah, we're not even landing it right now all right dude just get rid of let's just get rid of what while we're here and then we focus all in sith eternal come on come on just let's get it let's get it done let's get it done baby let's get it done just get it done come on let's get it done there we go do your thing. Healing mini locked in, nicely done. Okay. We gotta, yeah, yeah, I, I'm feeling pretty good, but I just wanna get Watt out. All right, no revive for you. All right, you give me some bone protection. Watt should be almost gone. Ah, some protection I'm coming in, is what it is. All right, come on, come on, let's just, come on. Ah, all my work is gone. All right, we'll just keep ramping, just keep ramping. I just need to get this Watt out. Come on, come on. I, I'm feeling really good about the Sith Eternal part. It's, let's do one more basic. Give me a turn. Give me a turn. Just get him out. All right. Now we got to where we want it. We can't get rid of the healing immunity. That's the problem. What is? People don't realize it doesn't quite work the way you think it should work. Watts doesn't have the highest of IQs, and that's fine. I still love him. All right. Now we just got to throw it on auto, I think, at this part. Yeah, throw it on auto. We'll come back in a couple turns. Let him cook. All right. Got to hit it on auto. Yeah, we're going to get there. I feel it. Just... He did, uh, give me a healing would be nice. Mm. Not landing a healing is gonna be kind of tough though, because look at that. He's kind of. All right, there we go. But no... I feel like I. Oh, we gotta get protection up. We gotta do that. There we go. Mm. See what I'm saying though? Like the, 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 they're kind of healing up too much right now. 
I mean, we're getting damage out there. I mean, man, are we going to have to rely on like a one-shot basic or something? Oh, you needed that healing unit right there. You know what? I'm just going to step in for a moment. I think I'm going to just do auto basic here. Oh, no, we got to get protection. We got to get protection up. Okay. Hold on. I think I'm just going to just come on. Get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it, honey. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. That's great. All right. How fast the Mara J? That's going to determine what counter we can bring in here. Uh, I see speed mods. 311. We cannot run that. Imperial Troopers all day, baby. Uh, we're going to have to gun down Mara J. Let's make it happen. Three, two, one. No debating. No arguing. I'll even give them this thing over here. Let's go. All right. Send it. Three, two, one. It's party time, honey. Actually, what does this thing do? That's the good. See, I, I don't have this on my main account, but I have it here. I worry that the defense might be... Eh, it's only 50% defense loss, right? Let's go. Send it. Isn't it 380? All right. I, 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 I may have forgotten. I may or may I not have forgotten to add um, the, the other speed that she's supposed to get. <laughs> For some reason, I'm like, oh, she's only going to be 350. I forgot to add the, the other, the, like, 35 that comes with the other <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. Uh, the problem is, I mean, let's be real. The problem is, I... What would I use here? What I could do... What I could do... This is odd, but just like, hear me out. Shuts down turn meter on Palpatine. You see where I'm getting at? I could do a Star Killer mirror match as well. I think I'm gonna do Star Killer mirror match here. My Star Killer's faster. All right, yeah, we're gonna do Star Killer mirror match. I don't want to use a Galactic Legend. We can't. Let's do this. Where's uh? Let's do it. Star Killer mirror match. Mine is vastly faster. Add a town. I don't know. I think I could just save Savage for something else, right? Yeah, so much for that data. <laughs> I got a little carried away there. I'm sorry. All right, let's uh, yeah, start carrier match. Maybe this, I think this last thing could work, but I, I think I want a solo. I, I don't, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, that was that last data crown. All right, let's go. Right, let me just double check. Pretty sure I'm vastly superior. There we go. 319. I definitely need to get her up a bit more though. All right, let's uh, let's get down to it. Let's do it. Okay. Hopefully this works. Knowing my luck, someone's gonna dodge, right? Someone's gonna probably dodge. All right, let's try to, you know, I just want to do this first. I know you guys are going to yell at me. I want to do this first. I'm hoping I can land the shock and stagger and all that jazz. There we go. There we go. There we go. Some tenacity down. We're good. We're Gucci. We're all Gucci up in here. There we go. All in there. All right, that's fine. Do a little basic here. Nicely done. Almost down to Mara Jade. There we go. Their shock is gone. Papatino next on my hit list. Oh, we got dodged. My bad. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Just go ahead. Drop that on. Get me some more stacks. That juicy, juicy energy that I need. All right. And wrap it up. Nicely done. All right. Okay. Let's not try to let this guy go crazy at me, huh? All right. Okay. Can't daze him, but we're under stealth. Easy, buddy. All right. Almost there. We're going to get our Star Destroyer first, I think. Right. And. Right you are, Dr. Watson. Why is Malgus play? The Emperor is dead. dead, dead, dead. There we go. Sucks I let my Imperial Troopers die in vain, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. All right. Next up, we could do Savage Solo here, right? The Emperor is dead. dead, dead, dead. There is a mild concern. I remember this. There's a mild concern that B, we might, we're not going to be able to chip down the B1s fast enough. Let me see if there's something else I would prefer here real quick. I mean, Savage could sometimes do it, but yeah, the problem is with the B1 variant, they keep healing Magna Guard. It's going to take you forever to get through it. Unless I just don't do a solo and we do something else here. Die or defeat me. Either way, Amber is reborn. Is yeah, Grievous keeps reducing max health. I mean, I, I I I distinctly remember this variant. I sometimes lost with Savage, so I think maybe here we don't screw around. We send in something a little bit more. No, 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 no farm scrap upgrade. Not yet, not yet, Gary. How you like the enthusiasm though? 
All right, so I'm guessing one of a few ways. We could do Treya here. What was on the top wall? I can't remember. Nice sisters don't got him. I don't got him. Ooh, baby, I don't got it. Uh, luckily, we don't. I don't think we have to rush here. I, I just want to... Uh, we don't... Uh, okay, we have a Padme. So Sith Eternal, Supreme Leader Kylo. Not quite sure what we're going to use there. We'll have to figure it out as we go along. Savage armor. I'm trying to save armor. You know what? Let's just rip with this Lord Vader Band-Aid right now. Let's just, let's just get all these mini Galactic Legends out of here. Let's tackle, tackle him. Tackle whomever else might be in my way. We'll get that Malgus next. No, Wat Tembor is not a Sith Lord. I know, I know. Shocker. All right, let's go. Send it out here. Give me uh, my boy. Get him out to the field. Kylo. I actually, I'm going to give full credit to Kylo on my main account. I think he's the reason we won today because that Ray defense cron was just screwing everything. I think if I would have done Star Killer on that Ray, we could have been screwed potentially. I don't know. All right, let's go for it. Pop it, lock it, drop it. All right. Oh, right, cool. Can I get the three stacks of armor? Yeah, I'll take it. I see. This is why I don't want to gear up Wat Tambor. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Because because he's such garbage gear, I instantly got my three stacks of armor. I don't know, man. There's there's really not a lot of reasons to upgrade Watt, except for Master Kenobi and all that other fun stuff. All right, so this. Give me another poke there. Yeah, we just we got everything we needed. Yeah, they can all die. I don't need them anymore. Just die. Uh, you did your job. Get out of here. All right. Just keep cooking. Just keep cooking. We got everything we need. There's no mall. Without mall, this dude is a lot of nothing. There we go. There we go. Nice hit over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. When, man, getting the three stacks of Beskar. Oh, it's a beautiful sight to behold. Beautiful sight. There we go. Hit him. All right. Siphon away, honey. There we go. Almost there. Just take it away to get this Royal Guard down. I, I take for granted what higher Relic Esel Karas can do. Mine's only Relic 7 here, but it's fine. He's getting the job done. What's the Relic on the Lord Vader? <laughs> Barely a problem. Look, it's like we're... Dude, this guy's doing like one damage. I feel like I'm using a Data Crown right now. 500 defense. There we go. Nicely done. Okay. All right. You know, uh, sure. Do it. Why hold it? Let's go, honey. All right. Get him in there. Nice. That Royal Guard, man, he's, he's definitely holding on. Definitely holding on a little bit. Just siphon away. Let's go, go, go. All right, next one should get the job done. Sorry, Vader. No. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. Just keep uh, ramping up. All right. He's out of ultimate. I'm out of ultimate. And nice double counter, man. Holy moly, Mazen Shoy. Does that feel good? All right. And barely an inconvenience my gosh there we go see see what it's like when he has no data crowns whole lot of nothing all right okay let's just take out the sith eternal lurp out all these big teams that i've been working yeah i don't think there's no ability blocks no nothing i think we should be fine right i don't know we should be fine i don't know just just send it on in right send it on in let's just go send it let's go 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 ah oh, yeah he would have won if lord Vader had clones if only Okay, I could have maybe done Treya here 100%. I don't, I don't know if it was worth the risk. I think this should be more than fine. I'm going to do this over here so we can mitigate the critical hits. All right. Malgus doing his thing. Okay, there we go. Keep doing the magic hand thing. Got to watch out for that. That's fine. Okay, okay. Give me a little of this, a little bit of that. Yo, give me the Gucci Man. Where's my Gucci Man song? Come on, Gucci Man. Let's go, man. Come on. Jeez, what are you doing? Here we go. Give me some protection. Oh, crap. We had um, the, the the headache buff, debuff, whatever the hell it was. The doubt, whatever. No, I have uh, just whatever. Doubt, deceive, doubt, deceive, greed. I don't know. All right, let's go. All right, almost there. All right, okay. Give me the little magic can thing over there. All right, give me some. See, yeah, I keep forgetting about the headache. Yeah, I can't do the recovery protection. Yeah. All right, well, let's do basic then. Over here. Let's go. All right. Should be almost the ultimate. Almost the ultimate. And there we go. Send him on over to the Gucci room. He's coming back and is looking as good as ever. All right, here we go. We're looking fine. We're looking fine. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Three, two, one. Oh, ah! There we go. Take it. You got it. You got it. You got it. All right. All right. So 
game plan worked handling all that stuff that's great all right let's go finish that south wall get some more points just for bragging rights at this point um okay grievous yeah i don't know if i want to do savage here i'm kind of actually feeling like i either want to use commander luke treya uh you know i don't I mean maybe hux can get through it bounty hunters also feels okay if i had better bounty hunters i feel like my bounty hunters are not fan friggin tastic for something like this so uh see a safe option yeah you know what let's just it feels a little it feels overkill i'm not gonna lie i don't like it but we'll go for it malik solo you know there's just a concern that you know he, i have tenacity mods by malik but he could get stunned or something like that yeah i let's I, i'm just gonna go with it ross higgs and a five dollars let me blitz to this grand arena we're gonna have a little chill session at the end i'll get you don't you worry about it great seeing you something about your drop from dude are you like making the bad juju for your month keep going on oh my gosh anyways let me get the cls thing savage we already talked about savage extensively there's a there's a risk there's a bit of a risk involved here all right luke man i haven't used this too often have i all right let's go three two one baby let's go all right let's go there's no b2 in our way just go all just just keep moving just just get it get her dead all right all right we're gonna have to See the, well, yeah, he's oh, he's under stealth, but he's not under stealth. Okay, I get it. All right, let's just go. This, I don't know, this feels weird, but okay. This is, you know what? I'm gonna do this. When the time comes, we'll have to focus there. That's fine. There we go. Okay, there we go. Keep chugging along. Boom, boom, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Come on, almost there. Give me some counters. Nicely done. Down the grave. All right, and all in on the Grievous. Stole some banners. Man, I missed when Grievous was a thing on defense, man. I'm not using him on offense. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When you look at the board, it just feels like Grievous is going to get some love next year. Separatists in general. Man, it would have been nice having Imperial Troopers for this battle. Boy, I screwed that up, didn't I? All right. Well, let's see. We have Zori. How fast is it? I'm not going to do all the math here. Why not Savage Soul? So I, I explained it like 10 times in the stream. I'll, I'll give it a quick rundown. Boy, it's not a quick rundown. Uh, uh, if you go back like 10 minutes, you'll hear the conversation. This variant could cause problems for Savage because you can't hit the B1. You'll get stuck behind Magna Guard. Grievous will keep reducing Savage's max health, and it's a, it's a possible loss. I've done it before. You could do it. You could try. You might win. You might not. It's definitely the trickier uh, for Savage solos. All right, hope that explains. It seems like what, like the Wat Tambor variant is very difficult for Savage to beat because you get he's stuck behind Magna Guard for way too long. He needs to get around Magna Guard. If you're stuck behind Magna Guard for the whole battle, you're going nowhere. All right, hope that explains it. Um, oh gosh, what do I need? Just uh, Hux, Hux, Hux. I wish I had my troopers here. Right, that was a dumb battle. I just <laughs> threw them to the depths of hell on that one. All right. Hux on Bound Hunter, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I feel like it's adequate amount of power. Um, I just, I don't know who I want to go for first. We have the Zam here. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to, you know, I, I want to go for Boba, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to kill off two Bobas for boss taunts. You see what I'm getting at? So, like, there's, there's some concerns to be had here. Uh, I mean, it'll just, just fire. Just, just go for it. I'll, I'll just work with it as I get there. Zam, obviously, yeah, it's just, I, I hate leaving Boba Fett linger around, you know? I just, I don't, I don't like it, but yeah, I'm cool. All right, I'll we'll just go for it. Yeah, like yeah, it's gonna take a minute, but we're gonna get there. There we go. All right, okay. Um, give me some advantage back on us. Oof, a nice dodge. Okay, we stopped the frenzy from popping. Um, you know, I'm just gonna do this again. Let's just go and give me some more advantage. Okay, give me a buff meter if you can. Nope, she got health down though. That might mildly help us out. All right, no. Oh God, I just, that's what I'm saying. I don't like, and that's without Zam, man. Maybe, I mean, I probably had to take care of Zam. I could have maybe had a dead first order TIE pilot there. All right, we got to try to, God, I, they had no advantage there. That sucks. Come on. We're almost there, almost there. There we go. All right, we, oof, uh, a little scary, a little scary, but it's fine. All right, a little scary. There we go. And there we go. Awesome sauce, okay. Nicely done. Okay, I think this is just the right amount of firepower. I, there we go. Awesome. All right. Yeah, I wanted him to be the first that he had to be the last one gone. Okay. All things considering very good, except for my slower than usual math skills down there. All right, what do we want to do? Um, here, let's just get the top wall. I'm just curious if they put Leviathan on defense. All right, what are we, what are we gonna use for Padme? We have no more Galactic Legends. We have no Star Killer. Uh, Trey is 
<laughs> That's my best bet. All right, Trey is my best bet, I think. Set. All right, you, you, and give me a you. Oh man, I don't have my Relic 5 Nihilus yet. I forgot. All right, well, hopefully this works out fine. Trey a Thrawn. Uh, yeah, it's another way we can go about it. All right, let's do it. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do it. Let's do Trey a Thrawn. Take out Talon. All right, let's go for it. All right. Malik, uh, we could, there's, a, there's a couple different ways to go about it. You're all right. There's a few ways of doing it. I didn't even look at speeds. All right. So what do we want to do here? We probably want to isolate Padme right away, right? Let's pass turnover. Isolate the Padme. Reduce cooldowns over here. Fracture. Uh, Anakin. What am, I, what am I thinking? Just fracture Anakin. Fracture Anakin. How did I not get a crit on him? Well, that's fine. All right. There we go. I, yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. All right. Just, just, uh, just do basically put the horse side. Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. Don't get cocky at me. All right. Uh, just for right now, just do the basic over here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Pass the turnover back over to Treya. Just get that foresight off here. Okay, easy, buddy. Get the fracture back on. Okay. Uh, oops, I didn't want to. Okay, I meant to go over there. Mm, oh well. Keep the isolate coming. I don't know where Nas's cooldowns are. All right, hit him back. Can I get a nice hit on Anakin? There we go. All right, uh, do that. You know what's gonna happen. I just gotta do it. Just do it. Oh, hey, we're still good. All right. No, no, I, I freaked out a little too much on that one. All right. Put him down. There we go. Easy. All right. Not bad. I, I was expecting a lot more pain out of that, but we're good. Okay. All right. Easy money. Not bad. Um, I think this is good. This is all right. All things considering. You know, but it's a relic a bad man, all that other stuff. So, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. She gone. All right. Let's see. One more quick battle. We'll see what's on the ship side of things. Uh, Malik. I don't know if Malik can sold us. There's, um, that Geo Brood could be a little bit annoying. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to just do, 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 do this. We only have one more battle. So let's do full on Sith Empire here. You, you, you. Actually, I probably should be careful because I don't think my team's as fast as theirs. 268. I could bring in Talon. 254. Yeah, I think I need Talon. I don't think my ribbon's fast. Enough. We, knew, we got to check out New. He could be a a fast little slug here 274 can i outrun 274 if i brought myself i, I gotta check myself yes i cannot run that <laughs> savage malik all right fine savage malik i mean I th you don't need to but all right no, okay fine savage malik savage they want you get out here wrap up this last battle huh all right no data crons go 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 yes I, you, okay you want it here you want someone else here yeah yeah no save they just I, just just get in there just go just go it's the last battle don't why am i overthinking it all right basically just throw it on auto and let them do their thing all right we got that going yeah you're gonna be stuck behind her anyways all right savage share your wife here we go all right, we'll see how this goes. I don't know. I actually think this could maybe time out. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Sidious would have literally soloed this. 100% agree with you. All right. Oh, I don't like that. Come on. Oh, over here. Over here. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, hold on. All right, just do that. There we go. Over here. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the manual because I don't quite trust them. Nice ability block. All right. Ooh, that's actually bad. That's actually bad. Oh, come on, come on. Almost there. Head up. Nice. All right. We're, go we're, we're Gucci. We're Gucci. All right. Let's go pop it over here. Let's go. Almost there. We got to get Savage back up and up running. Come on, Savage. What are you doing, man? Wake up. Wake up. There we go. All right. Send it. Send it. Your is Come on! Uh -huh. Hey! There we go. Yeah. 
There it is. Yeah, you don't realize how slow Savage is. Well, keep in mind, I know we don't bring in a full team. If he was soloing, I think the shock would have came out fast, but the shock was stuck for way too long. All right. All right, what did they, did they put Leviathan down? Doesn't look like it. Like, all they need to do is put Leviathan. I can, I can clear that. I actually think we could probably full clear if we needed to. Uh, what's on the south wall? Uh, Wookiees and all this other jazz. All right, let's just pick a quick... You know, I need to... Executor practice is never a bad thing. Let's see if we can do an executor in three minutes. Let's go. First order. Let's go, baby. Where you at? Where you at? Bring him out. Bring him out. All right. We got you. 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 And then here we go. All right. Go, Senate. A little bit of executor practice. Not a bad. Not bad to take advantage of. Let's keep it on. A little longer. Let's go, honey. I'm home. It is time. Send it. Hunted. Hounds too. All right. Basic over here. Keep chipping away the reinforced holes. Swarm attack coming. All right. We're going to have to do a uh, turn meter push. Let's go. Heal up. There we go. Look at it. Back up and running. I love this shit, man. All right. Here we go. Swarm coming in again. Good. That was a good assist. All right. Ability block over here. Let's go. I your pwn. I need more. I need more. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Get him out. Here you go. All right. Uh, you know what? Da, 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 da. Just go over here. There we go. Healing back up. Reinforcement coming. Special forces coming on in. Looking good. Looking good. Let's see if we can get an ability block and or give me the stun that I got the ability block at least. That's all that matters. All right. You know what? I don't know. Just to get something going here. I don't just I need some bath the time. Give me some buff to spell. Okay. Oh, what do we got? You know what? Just can we get him out? Not quite. We're almost there. Almost there. Any target lock anywhere? Nope. Just give me Bobo, though. Oh, come on. Wrap it up. There we go. There we go. All right. Nicely done. Okay. We need another ability block here in a second. Don't quite have it at the moment. Turn meter. Get the foresight off. Give me a stun. Eh, I don't think he was ready for a stun. All right. Looks like we have to deal with the taunt. Get ready. Get ready. We got a taunt coming in. Didn't almost kept him under control. We gotta brute force our way through this. Let's go. Let's go. God dang, I'm sometimes too good at this game. It's, some, it's, it's a curse. It's a curse I gotta deal with. I'm willing to accept. <laughs> I'm dying because of the curse. Hey, oh, that's a nice swarm. Send it. Let's go. I always forget. Does that call? It does. Wow. I always, I, I, that's the thing I don't do enough. Nicely done. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel good. I don't know about you. Talk about wrapping up a rough Grand Arena 7-2 main account. I don't know what the hell the record is on this one. Let's go. Clap it up. Party time. Let's do some more stuff. Huh? One more dance. Just one more. One more. One more. staring I, I i kind of understand though all right just come back on over see this is what you do there it is there we go there we go all right uh i gotta say it is a good way of wrapping up the 3v3 season uh don't get it twisted though man uh boy a lot of headaches 
on the main account with the data crons it's, it's uh the defense is um it's evasion in disguise lately so and it's only been the first season we still have what two three more seasons whatever the time limit is on these guys i always forget if it's is it, what is it again anyways so we have 5v5 coming there's gonna be its own set of problems but at least it's 5v5 3v3 is just a pain but when does when does this thing go away it goes away oh my gosh not till january oh my <laughs> so we'll have to figure it out as we go along but nonetheless i even I, I know it it was a lot of frustrating grand arenas over the past couple weeks but we pretty much won a, uh, pretty much all of them I, I only lost one of them because i just didn't couldn't play and then we lost one for it could have been like an eight and one season i'm not too mad about that not too mad about that uh but now i'm gonna torture you guys with some chilling gameplay because our next favorite game mode after 3v3 is this baby right here so we're gonna do a little bit of conquest and chill with you guys let's dial it down get some soothing vibes by playing the same battle over and over and over and over and over again honey Woo! man i, I feel that this is a lot of fun today was a lot of fun uh but when isn't it fun around here all right let me catch up where do we got here? Let's start this party off. I forgot everything there is about this. I should maybe watch my video on how to get the max crate here. All right, what's uh, what do we have in our sector one? Uh, yeah, 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 Jawas. Okay, that's easy. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. And flick stun. Okay, so I think I, I think I still have my. Did I save all my? I'm pretty sure I saved my teams. Let me check. Cost of commissions. I'll take that. All right. All right. It's not conquest. It's chore quest. Scam quest. It's got a lot of variety of names that we come to love man Ugh. to think uh, this used to be my favorite game of all right let's see if i have all my teams saved up here i'm pretty sure i, I, I usually leave them bookmarked for the season uh, no, no, no. yeah there we go and where is yeah we have a palpa jawa there we go jedi jawas beautiful we got a variety of great stuff here okay let's go for it <laughs> How much do I want to bet? I'm just going to like get zero turns here. <laughs> all right, let's catch up. You guys are patient with me. Thank you so much for your patience while we were blitzing through all that. So I just can't believe one wall took us like an hour 20. And then afterwards, it was smooth sailing at that point. All right, I think they got it. Once I get them rolling. There we go. There we go. Drop that. And I think we can pretty much. There we go. Look at all that potency up. I'm getting more potency up. Amazing. Kit Fisto coming in clutch. Oh my gosh. He even got that cooking and uh, you know what uh go for the boss actually if you can there we go all right what do we leave off we got only crypto exactly where 12 months one whole year of the cover i already got you we have r and jesus giving a tons of gifted memberships thank you so much for the love man that, that, was, that was a spark of fun you gave to the chat there uh we have alex to tell if you make it the ships oh my gosh i didn't see it alex i'm sorry alex i failed you hashtag free babu right now i mean think about it what if babu would have lost what if Baba would have dropped the ball at the end zone, man? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it was Destiny that number one. I, you know, I, before we go, I want to watch that Zori battle because, dang, that was... I'm, I literally feel like there's an RNG Jesus out there, and there was a reason why I kept forgetting to put Zori on defense. I really think that could have... That probably got me out of a pickle. We're going to end that Zori today. Who knows? That Zori, Supremator Car Run, they just came and clutched the right... Right place, right time. Uh, we have Get Sight uh, 6 with the new membership to the Kyber Club VIP Plus Program. And we also have Brandon Briggs to the Kyber Club VIP Plus Program. And then we have Swanee Place. How we doing, bud? I feel like it's been a minute since we chit-chatted a little bit here. Thank you for the $10 uh, billion. Been a fan of the channel for almost three years now. You're going to help me out a ton. Dude, if my goofballiness can help you guys out, you know what? Dang, does that sound awesome. You know, sometimes I'm like, what do we learn today? But you know what? There's something to learn in between it all. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I'm glad you're finding that sugar spice and everything nice. What else do you have to say? I'm finally unlocking Chronic Titan. Nice. I'm pretty stoked. Dude, 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 man. That's a big deal. I, you know, uh, I don't know if it's even a hot take. i rather have the profundity than Leviathan. That's kind of like, I don't know if that's even a hot take. I mean, Leviathan just sounds sexy, right? Sith Empire, capital ship. But like the Sith, boy, you need you need like a seven star for the full bang. You need to have high relics get the fuller bang. Like, I just feel like Profundity Executor, man, they, um, they're killer. I don't want to say low budget, but like they kill at four stars. Uh, 
they don't need crazy high relics to pump the most out of them. I don't know. Uh, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Huh? Let's let's do a very scientific poll here. Let's start a poll. Anyways, the point I'm getting at while I'm getting this up. Congratulations, Profundity. Great having you around for so long, my friend. Thank you for the generosity. And let me get this poll going. Leviathan beats. Oh, yeah, it does. But like, it's not like. <sighs> I think the problem is people can't get into my trench. <laughs> get it? <laughs> trench. <laughs> With how I like to play. I mean, technically, yeah. If you're wanting to just one shot Leviathan, yeah, it can be uh, challenging for sure. It could be challenging, you know? Yeah, Profonity can one shot Leviathan. It's tricky. No, yeah, you know, Chimera can one shot Leviathan. It's tricky. You yeah, know, yeah. so there's a lot of ways of handling Leviathan, more so than I think a day one Profonity, a day one Executor. I think Leviathan's just a lot easier to beat. My, but my preferential gameplay, and again, it works out for me. I make my opponents bleed banners and I come up on top at the end. So I put all my big capital ships on defense. So for me, I'm okay with having the multi shot if need be. But like seeing that a full Relic 9 Leviathan fleet can get obliterated by Negotiator and Four Star Marauders and, you know, maybe there's a Mark 6 left over. It just, it doesn't feel like it's, it doesn't feel like I'm really getting what I need out of it. I don't know. If Fleet Arena, you know, Fleet Arena is still important. So maybe that's where it counts, you know, maybe easier climbs, you know, I could full auto Leviathan all the way to the top. So, you know. Maybe if you, if you care about Fleet Arena, yeah, maybe Leviathan's better. But like when I look in Grand Arena, it's like, I, I, I'm not overly concerned about it. I don't know. That's just how I, how I work. Again, I'm not saying ever since it got buffed, it's not a trash fleet anymore. It's good. Is it the best? No, it's not the best in my opinion, but it's, it's still really good. Like, it's not like I'm berating it like Lord Vader, like Lord Vader deserves it. Leviathan, it could be tricky if you're looking at one shots. Like, yeah, there's not maybe a ton of one shots. And the one shots that do work, they're kind of dicey. But it's like, for me, uh, it's, it's okay. It's all right. Seven star versus seven star isolate is deadly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what, but like, but here's the thing, man. It's like, but pre seven stars, I think we can agree. Pre seven star Leviathan's kind of trashy and annoying. You know, you, you spend all this time getting Leviathan, multiple like relic nines, conquest units, and all of a sudden you don't get to isolate. You have to wait till seven stars. Like that's, that's a big downside to that. You know, executive profanity, they're more, they're more or less the same. You know, yes, there's speed difference and a couple of extra ability things, but like I could take my four star, five star executor, beat profanities, beat ex higher ex executors. So, but I, like Leviathan, you need the full seven stars. I don't know. Yeah, maybe if you care about Fleet Arena, the best, most consistent source. And like in term, like it's not the most enjoyable game mode. Like for me, I think Grand Arena is the more enjoyable, the more important game. But <sighs> again, I'm not making an essay how Leviathan's trash or garbage. I just don't think it's got the most value out there. It, so many Relic Nines, many Conquest units. You can still get through it if uh, there's ways of beating it. It's not like it's impossible. So, like, I don't think if you care about Fleet Arena, there's better ways of going about it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Again, don't take it the wrong way. People, like, God, anytime I talk about, like, it's okay to have a less than stellar opinion about something. Like, God damn, it's one of the most annoying things. I'm not, like, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for every unit. People start getting mad. Like, I kicked their dog and I beheaded. It's like, it's okay. It's a good fleet. I just don't think it's worth tons of Relic Nines and Conquest units. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I love your dogs and your cats. I'm not kicking them. It's just a couple pixels on the screen where I don't think it's a 10 out of 10. It's a great fleet. It's a, it's a great fleet. It was trashed before, but it's a great fleet now. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's a, it, all I'm saying is return on investment. Exactly. An ROI, Sean. That's all I'm saying. I don't think the return on investment's quite there. I think exec front have a better bank per buck, but again, not saying Leviathan's bad. It's very good. Obviously, it full autos pretty much everything now on uh, on offense. But uh, I'll make you feel good. I don't think Leviathan's quite like Lord Vader because Lord Vader's got a horrible ROI, and I just don't like the guy at all. He's boring to use on offense, sucks on defense. It's uh, yeah. So. That's, uh, does, uh, does that make you happy? I probably just pissed off the other side now. They're like, oh my God, he said something about Lord Vader. I feel like that's what happens. Anyways, what am I doing here? We need to do something here. We need more stuns, uh, more stuns. I need more stuns, more stuns, please. All right, let's go ahead. We're done with the potency up. Is there any other Jedi that can stun for me? No, 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 no. 
All right, Jedi, Jedi. Is there any more Jedi stuns? There are just any stuns in general that I would like to have. Ooh. Well, I don't need them anymore. I don't need you anymore. We could at least make this a little bit easier on us. Um, Cal's got a stun, I guess, right? There you go. You know, just do something like that. All right. Oh, yeah. Ayla. That's what I need. Yeah, Ayla's like, I feel like I'm missing someone. Anyways, where are we at? Anyways, congrats on profanity, Swing. Uh, we have uh, Bulba Mongwe. I can always butcher your name, don't I? Here we go. Let's pop that. And let me make sure we get the stun, cooking, and send it. All right. What do we got? Uh, Bulb Mangue, three months. City is only souls when Bow goes first, and you don't use Thrawn and don't use Held by Hatred, right? You, you forgot a few more. I just wanted to throw it in there. Don't use Held by Hatred, man. Remember when Cyan was actually a thing? God, man. It annoys me how lackluster he's been nowadays. All right, let's go ahead and, yeah, get Aelin here. It's going to be a lot better. A lot, lot better. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Satellite radio coming in with the boom, boom. Where you at, Ayla? Come on, girl. There we go. What a great lineup. Ah, don't use Thrawn, man. That's a classic. That's a classic right there. I don't remember what. I don't remember the context. Of it. I just remember something terribly happened, and I may have lost a particular battle. All right, there we go. Turn it on him. All right, where we got? Mm -mm -mm -mm. You think they'll add ship battles to conquest? Uh, I, 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 I mean, it's not impossible. I could totally see certain boss feats. I don't think I. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm in a minority on this. I don't want ship and conquest. That's ships or conquest is already a crime. <laughs> and ships is already annoying. Like, do you really want ships? Like, what if it was like win 50 battles with a seven star Leviathan? Uh, so I don't know if you're wishing for it. Who is that? Josiah Muncie? I don't know if you're wishing for it. I'm gonna just say I don't think it's gonna happen. Just because I'm I just want to put it out there. I don't think it's gonna happen, so it doesn't happen. But you never know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, I, uh, Think about, think about galactic challenges. We already, at least, again, I could very well be in a minority. Uh, you know, I don't want to speak for everyone. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy ships. I feel like ships is where I have, and it, it's, it's weird. I don't like ships, but I feel like I'm way above average compared to most players when it comes to ships. And that's where we win a lot of our grand arenas. It comes down to ships. I have the off meta down. I get my high banners. Really do we have a hard time with ships. And hope to goodness they don't add data crons. I think that's why I like it. Or I don't like it, but I'm good at it because there's no data crons. But um, so all I'm trying to get it is I personally don't want to say, oh, man, two great data discs to start off. Boy, I guess it's because I'm streaming with you guys. I wouldn't want it. I already don't really like galactic challenges of ships. You know, it's not like they're impossible. Like we just had the what the resistance one. It wasn't hard, but it's just like it was annoying. <laughs> I don't know. Do a separate ship conquest. Oh, man. Oh yeah. Oh, you might want to, might want to run away before the mobs get their pitchforks out. <laughs> You're also way above average. There you go. Yeah, I, like people don't realize this, and I'm telling you this, and you probably already heard me say this. Coming from someone that doesn't like enjoy ships, like to like a hundred percent. Like I, I enjoy characters more. It's the ships are just a nice little add-on. But as, but being good at ships. If you want to get that edge over your opponent, mastering fleets, not even just for the fleet arena crystals, which let me just say, I think it's very lucky. We haven't seen them take those away from us. Like I, I was actually putting money down that they were going to take those away after seeing the grand arena or squad arena crystals move. I'm still not putting it out of the question that they might take the fleet arena crystals. Maybe they'll put them in territories and all of a sudden territories is the top level priority for me. Anyways, I don't want to put that juju out there. But if you can master ships, you're going to have an upper hand over a lot of your opponents. Because a lot of the Grand Arena sometimes comes down to ships. And if whoever's got that edge, really, that's what, that's what it comes down to. So, uh, yeah, ships don't ignore. I get there maybe not the most exciting. I feel you there. But I think that's where, you know, you kind of separate the boys from men sometimes in that type of category. All right. Anyways, talking a lot about ships today, apparently. We have uh, Moro Kai Vokun with the 17 months. Let's go, Kyber Club! Yeah! Love the enthusiasm, bud. Man, a lot of fun. A lot of fun in the Kyber Club. I'm absolutely loving it. And then uh, what do we got? War Ridden. I'm slowly catching up here. 1999. Here we go. Just get us moving along. Look at that Jawa, man. That Jawa is doing so much lifting right now. Uh, War Ridden. 1999 trillion dollars. Holy moly. Maza Trolley. I got Ray Alt and she's surprisingly fun to use on offense. Sudden Whirlwind has such a satisfying animation and her ultimate is pretty cool. 
She's your second favorite Galactic Legend, right? Jedi Master Luke, unpopular opinion, I know. All hail Lord Revan, long with the Kyber Empire. Um, I, I've never hated, you know, it's weird. I never hated Rage. It's, for me, she always just kind of felt like a middle of the road Galactic Legend. She's very annoying on defense. You know, usually we have it locked down, barring Datacrons and stuff like that. Uh, she, she could beat a variety of, people don't realize, you know, she could beat a variety of Galactic Legends. She's one of the most flexible characters, or Galactic Legends. You know, there's really, I mean, Supremitor Kyron's really the only other one. And I, and I think Ray has more plug and play viability. Not plug and play viability, but you have more of a sandbox to play with with Ray than Supremitor Kyron. And Supremitor Kyron also has a lot of stuff to play in his sandbox. Uh, he's like the most versatile dark side character in the game. But I think Ray has that edge because there's just so many light side builds you can make. But she can beat a variety of stuff out there, you know? She can beat Kenobi if you needed her to. She can beat, you know, Master Luke if you need to. She could solo some Sith Eternal lineups, you know? Um, she can even beat some Lord Vaders, but again, it depends. You know, you got to bring in, like, Commander Tano and stuff like that to really do that stuff. Yeah, you know, I've never... She's been kind of a consistent Galactic Legend. I never, like, thought she was trash. She was God tier when she first came. She was the better Galactic Legend at first until they buffed Supremator Kylo. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. I don't think anything you said is off point. Second favorite Galactic Legend. Now, you know, again, there's... Favorite's all subjective, right? If it's your second favorite, I'm not going to tell you no. I think there might be a factual way of looking at it. You know, you can draw some distinctions in data and they kind of like get something factual. But at the end of the day, if you like the character, you think she's second best. I'm not going to not gonna hate on that, man. She, she does work. She does work. She really does. Yeah. Lord Vader 5 for the Otter Man. <laughs> I feel like you're on this Lord Vader 501st craze lately. <laughs> Sith Eternal's all versatile dark. So yeah, I mean, he's for sure, maybe not to the extent of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, but he's definitely like next in line. I mean, because then afterwards, what do you have? You have Lord Vader kind of stuck with a few things and you have Jabba kind of stuck with a few things. But I, but uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is just the better galactic legend. He could just do a lot more hence why he's usually the only galactic legend i bring on offense because he's gonna be the grand majority of stuff i needed to do yeah <laughs> i know you've been on that for a while yotter <laughs> not just lately uh overall would you say dark side or lights that has our power i mean obviously neutral is the best of the three but i digress oh man light side or dark um man I, I think Leia really tipped things back into a different direction. Before Leia, I would have said easily dark side. I, I think there would, I don't think anyone would really disagree with that. You know, be, you know what? Jedi Cal and Leia kind of brought the balance back in another direction because before Jedi Cal and Leia, the Malgus was running crazy. And uh, before Leia, there was, there was a sense of normalcy and so things are a little bit different now. Oh, boy. I don't think this is looking good. Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to need to mix up the lineup. Oop, 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 oop. All right. Well, we lost the Java. Let's see if we can at least. Yeah. There we go. All right. Let's see what we can do. All right. Let me just pay attention here for a moment. Oh, boy. They're running. They're running. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Come on. Oh, boy. Yeah. Stamina's low. Stamina's low. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. Oh, hit him back. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. All right. There we go. He there we go. Wow. I got lucky there. Doesn't matter. All right. There we go. All right. What was I saying? Yeah. I think Jenna Cal and Leah really brought things into a different direction. I want to say they actually feel they feel kind of on par with one another. If I only had the pick, mm, if I only had the pick, like if I only could have lights that are dark side of my roster, and like they had to take the rest out. Oh man. I think I, you know, I, I, I oh man. I think I would, I'd pick light side only. It's weird to say. I want my Jedi Cal. I want the Leia. I want the Master Kenobi. I'll take the Master Luke and Rey. Yeah, I'm missing out on some Perimeter Kyle Red and Jabba. But like, I, I wouldn't be like crying if I was losing out on Sith Eternal and Lord Vader. You know, yeah, I'd be missing out on Malikos. But I, I, I really think, here, you know what? Oh, like Starkiller F, right, you know? <sighs> you know, let's put this to it. This is a great question. This is a great, this is a tough one. It's simply because of Cal and Leia this year. It's like they're at the forefront of the game at the moment. It's like, uh, <clears throat> it's kind of where my mind's gravitating to it, towards. Um, 
you could only have one in SWG OH in your roster. Which one would it be? Let's see. This is going to be interesting. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of great arguments on both sides. Yeah, Dark said you have Afro, Treya, Starkiller. Um, let's put it to a vote. I don't know. There we go. Send it. Oh, man. Maul. But then you don't have Commander Tano. But to be fair, Commander Tano, she's not her own team. I mean, she could plug into a variety of teams, but she's not like... She's not like Maul. Where Maul literally is a plug-in character and he makes a full banger team. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a tough one. Let's see. We'll put it to a vote. I, 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 I kind of have an idea of how you guys are going to vote here. All right. What do we need here? We need... Without the, the, the Sierra Juna surviving. Uki. All right. Well, the, 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 this has got to... This, they, yeah, they fixed this, right? Um, we can just do... Right? There's Hut Cartel in the global feet. Let's see. Toyota says light side hands down for you. Yeah, but I just want to say if it wasn't for this year... I'd be 100% dark side camp. 100%. 100%. All right, what do we need? Yeah, HUD cartel. We'll just throw a HUD cartel in here. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, Harry Dog. Yeah, that's Kyle Bark. And let's see how long he barks for. What is it? 420? Huh. We'll see how long it takes him from the shut up. That's one, that's one thing I love about the guy. He's like, you know what? You know one thing I learned? One thing I learned, you know, doing horror movie marathons the past couple of weeks and you know, building up the Halloween. Uh, first off, a lot of people are idiots when they're in a horror movie situation. It's number one. Like, why would you go back into the house? Just no, just get the hell out. Or, you know, what? oh my gosh, don't get me started. I was rewatching, um, Michael Myers or Halloween. Oh gosh. Was it the, it was the one where they left the baby in the bathroom. Which movie was it? Was that episode? Was that curse of Michael Myers? I think it was the curse of Michael Myers. Yes. That was the, that was a weird one. It really annoyed me. I don't know why the dude i can't remember his name the creeper he had a little ak-47 hanging on the wall which is it's a, it's a nice i'm not saying it's gonna like stop michael myers like permanently but it would definitely like slow him down and then he's he's hating on dr loomis because they're going in he's like that, that handgun's not gonna do anything it's like dude go back and get the ak-47 what are you doing uh, anyways um that really annoyed me but um no one gives dogs enough credit. Every time the dog barks, don't tell them to shut up. You go check. You go check. I'm telling you, I feel like dogs, they don't get enough credit for the work they do. Anyways, what are we saying? Um, I lost my train of thought. What are we doing here? Oh, HUD cartel. HUD cartel. Where we got? Uh, there it is. All right. HUD cartel. Yeah, send it all in and send it to the bank. All right, let's go for it. All right, what do we got? Sector one boss was, yeah, was super easy. Well, before it was, and they had to, uh, <laughs> they had to, uh, tweak it a few times, yeah? Get the dynamite, yeah. Halloween H20 is my favorite. That's, that's what you're saying, H20. Oh my gosh, that was when they were at the, the university, right? That was, or the high school or something like that. Yeah, that was okay. I still think that, they were, I think one and two were classic. Well, I think the one, I mean, I think no one's gonna disagree that. Number one is obviously the classic. Number two was a great follow-up. Uh, the one where they did the stupid uh, reality show was a dangertainment. I think that was kind of the dumbest one out of all. I mean, oh gosh, what a yeah! I'm trying to remember that one. I mean, it was. I don't think it had really any purpose, really. But one thing I learned about Halloween. Who, who was the guy that I always forget his name? Mustafa, right? Mustafa Akkad, I think, is the director. So he did one and two Halloween. Successful, right? And then he does Halloween 3, which what the hell was? It was, it was completely off. I get who he was trying to. He was trying to do like a Goosebumps type of thing where you talk about different horror stories. And it completely bombed. But then he, moving forward, he's like, all right, we're going back to Michael Myers. We're putting Michael Myers in the title. It's like, dude, I feel you, man. Like, you got to put that Galaxy Heroes in the title for your the core people to show up. So I think moving forward, like every Halloween, just to remind people, this isn't a stupid movie. Michael Myers in the title. I, I thought that was kind of funny. Like after that, he's like, oh, the return of Michael Myers, curse of Michael Myers, resurrection of Michael Myers, and all that moving forward. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyways, I don't know why we're talking about all this. I just, I, I'm just thinking about the, the, idi the idiocies of some things. But yeah, Dynamite. Like, there's just a few. Ugh, gosh. Oh, yes. H20 is when they cut off the head. 
<laughs> and they're like, huh, it's not him. <laughs> I, that's the one thing I love about the, the Halloween movies. They, like, every time it ends, like, all right, how is he surviving this time? You know, there's always that catch. Like, oh, no, he's, he's still alive. You know, but I think, uh, what was it, the last one? The one they did was a 2023 20, or two? 22, right? Last year? I'm assuming he's dead for good, but who knows? Uh, anyways, I lost my uh, spot. Nothing could stop Michael. I'm pretty, unless, you know, who knows? Maybe Michael Myers being the, 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 the incarnate, the, the, the physical embodiment of evil, even though he was turned into Sloppy Joe in the last m movie last year, when he was put through the whole chipper, maybe he'll just like, re like come back together like freaking Terminator 2 to T-1000 where it's like liquid metal and just comes back together. I don't know. What is dead can never die. You better believe it. All right. What do we got here? Uh, Sith Empire. And uh, what do we have over here? Is this uh, ba uh, clones? All right. What do we need to do? We still need some more stuns, right? Oh, well, we're done with the stuns. Okay, sweet. I wasn't paying attention. Um, You know what I kind of want to do? You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of just want to like throw on a full Jawa team right now. Or actually, let me double check. I got spoilers yet. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. We have to have a 20 year spoiler policy for Halloween. Or is it 30 years? How long? Oh my gosh, it's been. No. The first Halloween movie came out, what, 1978 or something? God dang, that was. Jeez. Ah, that's been a minute. Uh, okay, so we now, now we run into the. Wow. I wonder which honed skills I want. <laughs> All right, well, it doesn't matter. So we'll pick the easy team. Let's go over here. Oh, man. Anyways, where were we? Uh, okay, I lost my train of thought. Um, we got more written. Rossi, here we go, Rossi. I know you've been waiting patiently. Let's see if I can get my Jawas in here. I don't know. I doubt it works. Doesn't hurt to try. You know what? I'm going to get really crazy. Check this play out. Check this out. Oh, yeah. That's what I need right there. 45 years. Jeez, that's nuts. Rossi! Let me stop forgetting about you. Five dollars. Dropped my phone and shattered the glass back in a Halloween party. Oh my god. Apparently Anakin <laughs> didn't believe in pockets. 99 to fix it with the insurance. Well, yeah, the new yeah, I think um yeah, with the Apple Care plan and all that shenanigans that that's what you're talking about. Yeah, they uh they still require a little bit in return. Just a little bit, not a lot, baby girl. Just a little bit. Let's go ahead and drop this on over to here. There we go. I don't know. I doubt this works, but one could hope. <laughs> it's not gonna work. It's nasty. I don't know why I thought this would have a chance of working. <laughs> hey, in, in a world, if we can get them to drop the tenacity up, you know, this could work. Uh, drop the tenacity up. Yeah, they're not dropping it. Okay. All right, okay. It was worth a try. Hey, oh, there we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Start going boom. Go boom. There we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh, damn. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Who said it? It couldn't work. You're an Android guy, says Rossi. Listen, I know a lot of Android people in my family, they just caved and got an iPhone because they didn't want to be the green message person. Isn't it crazy? I mean, say what you will. I mean, I, I've, I've had both over the years. Say what you will. Apple really got people into the whole ecosystem. It's like they, they don't want to be the person, the family with the green bubbles. They don't want to look like a peasant or anything like that. They don't want to be the reason uh, the text messages look all weird and you, all that other stuff. But uh, or it's just like, oh man, I can't get an Android phone because I have iMessage on my Mac. It's, they really get you there. So I, I, don't, I don't blame you, man. Damn, that sucks though. And then we have Rossi. Here's some good news. It sounds like, right? You crushed your interview at the hospital. The supervisor that I would work directly for after the interview was like, I want you to work here. You, 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 you slipped the Kyber Club VIP plus pass card. Listen, there's no shame in it. That's the whole point of it. You deserve to live life on easy mode. So it's okay. This is just, I, I'm sure it was on your resume, right? Yeah, on your resume, you're like, yeah, this is, <laughs> don't mean to brag. I've been a Kyber Club VIP plus member for who knows how long at this point. Angela Claw, 38 months. How you doing, boss man? Doing fantastic. Doing fantastic. A lot of, uh, <sighs> A lot of mental grinding going on today, but man, we are getting the plays out. That's all that matters. Great. Thanks for being here, Angelic Cloth. Thank you for the 38 freaking months, but holy moly. Felix, damn K. Five, Cubs hand fan, buckaroos. I've watched you since. Hold the phone for a minute. Let me get this amazing God tier play going. I don't know why I'm playing like this, but this just seems like fun. I'm probably going to lose like a ton of 
stars, but you know what? It's totally worth it. Um, sorry, uh, Felix. I watched this 2018. Thank you for the amazing time. I'm 7.2 million. They could have taken ISC and Gar up and running. Can you do a little testing versus all GLs? I've actually basically done that already. Um, you want to use an updated, a new testing? I was thinking about maybe making a new video on the matter. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of my mind. I just say there's like other videos I want to do. Like, I feel like the point is out there. The Mandalorians are kicking butt. I mean, hell, with Maul, this, this stupid freaking Gar Saxon cheese, which, oh, damn. Oh, hold on. Are they not going to get through this? Oh, man. It's always Droidica. God dang it, Droidica. Always the Droidica that's got to ruin things. Yeah. Why are you bringing in Jawas? Because I want to. I want to. All right. Well, we'll probably just redo this battle. Because I, I, I'm doing the Jawa feat. You don't need a full team of Jawas, but I got to do it because I can't do older public in Jawas. You need a full team of older public. So, you know, whatever. Just here. Just fine, fine, fine. I was just trying to have a little bit of fun. Actually, I could probably do it on the... Here we go. Actually, this might work, right? Right? I don't know. I don't know why I keep trying this out. We're doing it, though. <laughs> Skipped over your Zam. Oh, there you go. I see you. I see you, Yadder. Sorry about that. He's still barking. He's still barking. You hear him? You hear him? Anyways, uh, yeah, I've been considering for doing another round of Mando testing. <laughs> Kylo, Hutch, come here, brother. Hutch, come here. Talk to me. Kylo, talk to me. What's wrong? What's wrong? Come here. Oh, what's wrong? Are you okay? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I can feel your, I can feel the heat coming out of your ears. Relax. Relax. Oh, yeah. Okay. You good? You good? Can you speak? Speak? Ooh, come on. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. You okay? You okay? I know. We'll, we'll do a pee-pee break in a second, okay? We'll get a pee-pee break in here in a second. Ah, uh, God, we gotta love him. He's a funny guy. He's always running 169 percent. I could appreciate that. Man, I'm killing my uh, <laughs> my star count. It's fine, as long as it's fun. Uh, yeah. So I'll probably I'll probably the game plan. I, I, I'm 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 actually kind of hoping they don't do anything new this week. I'm actually it's weird. I'm hoping they don't do anything new this week. They're probably gonna drop like five road ahead. Stay the galaxy. Just five new characters. <laughs> I want to get the, the team ranking video out this week. Assuming there's no new characters and testing. Awesome. Good news. I get the good news is there's no grand arena, so there's going to be an open slot for a video. But yes, it's on my to do list. I'd like to do an updated Mandalorian thing uh, down the road. But I already have a video. It's more or less, they kind of do what they got to do. They basically beat Master Kenobi, beat a couple other fun things in between. They're a good team. I, so I don't blame you. If you want to take them up a little bit, this is the time. And plus, it's going to bolster your gauntlet. What team are we going up against before I hop in here? This is. I don't know. Will this work? I don't know. Just send it on it. It's fun. That's all that matters. I lost my trade thought, but yeah, having a higher guard and throw super commando, it has a good team and it bolsters up the ship and the gauntlet's one of the better ships in the game. So yeah, I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. It's, it's kind of, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think people were expecting that Super Commando and Gar were going to be as good as they were this year. Like, no one, I don't think I was on anyone's bingo card. <laughs> um, what do we have? Yotter. Think about it. Rogue Shadow, Star Killer, the Jade Shadow, Palpatine Shuttle, starting lineup. Next meta 2024. Capital Ship, question mark. Lord Shady's Mom. Damn, you're pulling out the Lord Shady's Mom card, even though they're not pulling out the Lord Shady's Mom card. Wow. Damn. Boy, you must be having a good Jawa juice today. Boy, I like where your mind is at. I I, I want to believe, I don't know if we're going to get those guys, but I want to believe there's at least going to be a Jedi J Mara Jade at some point. Mara Jade, I don't know, Jedi. Mara Jade, or Mara Jade Skywalker. Mara Skywalker, something like that. I, I really want to think, man. You know, we see Lucas. You know, they, they pick things out of the legends. They bring it into canon. You want to believe that, especially, you know, we get a lot of Luke stuff here and there. I kind of want to believe they're going to pull out that Mara card somewhere. I don't know. And then maybe they just had a rough breakup and he's like, screw this. I'm going to get a gallon of Moof milk and he just never shows up again and stays on Oct 2 at that point. But, you know, um, I don't know. I don't think it's far-fetched to think there would be a new Jade around the corner. 
Uh, what else we got here? Lugovol, two euros. I don't see one based on the Terminator. What's your real name? Oh, at least you know your references. A lot of people don't know the reference. In hindsight, you know, again, uh, just never mind. I don't regret this because I, again, I had no intention of YouTube ever being a thing. It was just me goofing around and I, something happened accidentally. But in hindsight, I would have probably, if I knew like YouTube was going to be a thing, I probably wouldn't have named myself on old T11, but that was like my, that was my PlayStation ID. When I got my PlayStation 3 and the first time I played online in 2010, I put it on because I'm a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger, the movies and all his other stuff he's done. But it just, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a rough name, Arnold. T11, not, not the sexiest, you know, YouTube name out there, but it holds a special place in my heart. But if you do really need to know, my real name is the Emperor of an Alderaan, the King of Triple B, God's gift to mobile gaming, the rightful ruler and heir of the Kyber Empire, the prime center hub right here in an Alderaan. Which, by the way, donation. that Kyber Club that we have open 25 8 for one extra hour, one extra day of parting heart. Yeah, I got the biggest and deadliest destroyer called the Kraken. <laughs> and don't you worry, we still have the finest, well oiled video gaming division that we got over here. But in my spare time, I'm still the director of. Uh, man, the name can go on. Let's just say when you look at my uh, birth certificate. It basically was a giant scroll going down. I don't blame him. It's uh, it's a lot to write down, but you could just call me on old T101 or ah, 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 ah. something like that. Just make a bunch of grunting noise. I know you're trying to talk to me. Anyways, moving on. We have Darth Farming Simulator 499 Dark Side all day. Yeah, I gotta check the poll here. Recently unlocked JMK my alt 120 out of 330 on cat. Third of the way there. And sadly, it feels like you can't do much. And you know, it blows my mind. I mean, it's, again, it's a different world. But some people forget. Oh, crap. Imperial Troopers, that was a bad idea. Let me find it. I don't know what Jedi you have. This, or what Galactic Republic you have. I don't mean to like tip my guild's hand that much. You don't need Commander Tano to do big ticket items. You can beat Ray. I mean, again, we're, we're take, just take out the data crowns for a second because yeah, data crowns are a whole other thing. You can beat Esokir. You can, I've soloed Sith Eternals, a Jedi Master, Kenobi. A lot of times my guild, they'll put Commander Tano on a Galactic Legend Ray team or something like that. They make their defense really complicated. Kenobi's still beating, you know, things more or less. It helps that we have things like Kiadi Mundi, so you can get that damage in there that Commander Tano would otherwise bring. Yeah, I think it's a common misconception that you need Commander Tano. I, I know that gets thrown around because people are like, oh, but, 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 but Kenobi needs Commander Tano like Lord Vader needs Maul. I, I, I disagree. I think Lord Vader needs Maul. I don't think, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll caveat with this. I think if you want to get the great defensive performance out of Jedi Master Kenobi, that's when Commander Tano's needed so you could stop the General Anakin Skywalker counter. Beyond that, uh, Kenobi beats most things. I mean, if you go back to the uh, to our Master Kenobi video we did for Probably day one impressions, right. he I mean, stellar reviews across the board. I mean, you can just go through, see what we were doing. This is remember, this is I believe before Commander Tano was unlocked, right? Pretty sort of, yeah, we were so like, like Sith Eternal teams out there. Uh, oh my gosh, yeah, so this is a, basically the armor, you know, basically, you know, just doing something like that. You know, you can take out Superior Carbon, but you can beat Superior Carbon in a normal line. I don't need to do anything too cheesy. You beat your master, looks like, I mean, look at these lines. I mean, I'm not doing anything like mind blowing here. What is this? This, is, this must have been a Bass LeSean. Yeah, this looks like, what the hell was this? Is this a Bass LeSean team? Oh, Jedi Knight Revan, okay. Um, getting yeah, tons and tons. but you can just go through and see all the variety of stuff that you can do you know even like i know there's a misconception about lord vader uh, or like yeah here there, there's the bad batch lineup you uh, it's like i i, I kind of like to know what you have because if you don't have bad batch you don't have katamundi or other collector republic yeah i think you might be struggling a little bit i think it's the one downside of blitzing master kenobi you don't really build up the other great galactic republic units to get the job done uh but yeah like a lot of times um yeah, I, my guild's not always using Master Kenobi and Commander Tano together. They sometimes just do a split because you can get a powerful raid team and 
you know, you can still beat what you got to beat with uh, Jedi Master Kenobi uh, at that point. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously it's 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 a lot better with Commander Tano. It, gets, it just feels a lot. It feels like you're playing life on easy mode, but you can still do a like even without Commander Tano, he's still, in my opinion, a top performing Galactic Legend in general. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, one person lights, one person darks. I've done that for a Grand Arena Sandbox Challenge. We actually have. Yeah, we actually have done that. I'm going to throw some Galactic Republic shenanigans in here, I think. No, actually, no. Kenobi. We have the Imperial Troopers. Speaking of Kenobi, let's just throw in a Kenobi real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Galactic Republic. Just make sure we get through this. No screwing around. All right, there we go. Yeah, I can remember. At the end of it, he's the end all be all of turn meter. Can you look at the... Take a look at the Galactic Challenge. Is there a Galactic Challenge? It's Monday. We just... Is it is oh yeah they have the bonus stuff this week that's right yeah we can try it out i was gonna get my first cat stars last conquest and i see we're gonna say well the good news is they fixed it <laughs> bad news is they uh haven't done anything to say sorry we screwed up <laughs> uh, hc white listen you don't need to say cards i'm literally just here chilling with y'all I just got to say, I appreciate all not only streaming as Grand Arena, but also just making the, the time to chill and talk. And listen, that's, I love the Grand Arena. That's why I, it's, it's where my energy comes from. But I, it's, this is a nice time just to catch up with you guys, just chat with you. Because when you're in Grand Arena, like, yeah, we're involved. We're talking. Everyone's got their input. There's a, there's a different energy. But, like, when we're here, we can kind of, like, take it and style it from 169 to 160. And I could still, you know, get, that's why I like about live streams, you get that interaction. You know, of course the videos, you get interaction with the comments, but that's different when you're here and I'm here at the same exact present moment in time. It's great. Appreciate the kind words though. Uh, oh, I guess we're still using this. Okay, well, all right. Well, I guess we'll just roll with it. There we go. Just, yeah, all right. All right, throw out an auto. You guys got it. All right, and then we have our, um, yeah. Uh, Man, yeah, I, so going back to Dark Farming Simulator. Let me, I, I just, like, it's it's tough because of Data Crowns to show this. But just know that you don't feel helpless. Like, if you have Kenobi, hopefully you have Padme, Ahsoka Tano, General Kenobi. If you have Caddy Mundi, dude, you, you pretty much got everything you need. Commander Town just makes, like, cheater mode. That's all it really is. You just kill someone off right away. Yeah, but you really don't. I mean, 3v3, it's a, a, yeah, I'll say this too, just to kind of make you feel good. 3v3, I would prefer to use Kenobi and Commander Tano, but in 5v5, for most game modes out there, you really don't need her. She just makes your life so much easier. Uh, let's go this. Okay, that, 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 and uh, let's see. Yeah, is this all you got for me? Ooh, review battles, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the problem is here, let's just do this. Let's go defensive galactic legend. There we go. No cleanups. I don't know why I'm only getting such a limited data pull out. Did I do something wrong? I have no data crons on, I have I don't know what I did wrong. Huh. I think I think what I did wrong is probably this doesn't make sense. I I, I turned off the latest season, so it should be all seasons, right? Ah, but the problem is you got to turn off the. Huh, let's see. No, we don't want any data cron. Yeah, I think this is just too narrow. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So I don't think I did anything wrong. I just wanted to see defensive galactic legends like your typical Kenobi thing. With no data cron. I'm only getting <laughs> I'm only getting three battles. Wow. Yes, yeah, so I can't quite like show you data. I mean, let me see. I maybe I have like recorded gameplay. I don't know if my guilds you know, because I, I record all my game for background footage for like when we talk about teams and stuff like that. But I know just recently we used like uh we used Kenobi no cat and we dunked on a ray, like a massive ray lineups out there. Yeah. You know. I something to keep in mind though. Kenobi, he has been getting his butt kicked lately. Like keep that in mind. Like Job of the Hut, he was kind of the first like real counter to the Master Kenobi, like the first real one. And then Leia is a uh, another one. She's another kick in the crotch. So like they've been making like you're coming in. You got to keep on. You're coming in at a point nowadays, where with Data Crons and all sorts of stuff. A lot of them are meant to like chip away at Kenobi. So you know Kenobi came out what almost. Jeez, almost three years in a couple months, right? So you keep that in mind that you're also coming in at the 
the later part of the cycle. Uh, let's go Vitality, I guess. Sure, let's do it. Anyways, what do we got here? I, I, I just I, I have to find my gameplay in that. But yeah, again, you could do a lot of your stuff. Like, there, I just don't know how to find it. Like, I, I, there's plenty of grand arenas where I was taking down Lord Vader without my Commander Tano and a variety of other stuff like that. So anyways, I'm going to move on. Yeah, almost three years. It feels like Kenobi came out recently. It hasn't. Being still as good as he is now after almost three years is saying a ton. They've been really almost every new thing that came out aside from Malgus, I'd say, was like really meant the chip way Kenobi. You know, Reva meant the chip way to Kenobi. They tried at the Grand Inquisitor Omicrons. You know, he was able to kind of beat him, you know. Um, then Jabba, Leia, you know, then Jedi Knight Cal helping out massively. Like they've been making a meaningful effort to try to wreck Kenobi as much as they can. Like that says a lot. And, and he's still this good after three years almost. That says a lot. But I don't expect him to be. There's gonna be a time where I'm gonna eventually see him has as kind of a base middle level galactic legend. But I still think he's top tier to this day. Yeah. JMK asked you up. <laughs> All right, what else I got here? Rossi coming at another five. At another five. Uh, we have a five dollar super chat. Meant to ask a while ago. You speak Polish to your pups, yeah. Well, that's the only way I feel like they understand me. <laughs> does your lady speak Polish? Uh, she teaches. She does all the Polish commands I taught her that I taught them. Uh, my dogs are just bilingual, but she's no. She uh, all the commands, you know, that we teach them. Yeah, I mean, I guess they. I guess they. You know how like people say Spanglish, you know, some families speak Spanglish where it's like a mixture of Spanish and English. I, I Polglish, I guess, <laughs> is what they speak. Uh, a little bit of both, you know. Um, no, but even though she's got Polish blood, she didn't go through the the rigorous. Oh, gosh, again, I don't know how to explain this to folks who didn't have to suffer this. There's this thing called Polish school. I, 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 I heard that, like I. I, I I don't really know if there's really anything like that. Like, you know, if you take Spanish, you usually take it in high school or something for like a couple semesters. Literally from like preschool to my senior year in high school, every Friday night, I'd have a second layer of school with its own set of studies, exams, essays, and God, was it miserable. I feel bad for my siblings because they absolutely hate it and dread it. I just remind them, don't worry, you guys only have like another 10 years to go. <laughs> oh man, no, yes. Not having any Friday nights, I mean, except for holidays and stuff like that. For my, basically my whole childhood kind of sucked. Greek school in Chicago. Okay, the Greek school. I heard there's like a Jewish school too. I, I don't know if I've heard of Spanish schools because Spanish is, especially in like Chicago, it's like, it's a curriculum you could just learn in high school. Which does blow my mind. I feel like schools offer German in Chicago and French, but not Polish, even though Polish, the second biggest Polish population outside of Poland is uh, Chicago. Chicago's got the second biggest Polish population in the world, but it's so weird seeing not like, like French. I mean, I'm sure there's a big French and German thing in Chicago, but like, do you think they have Polish? But anyways, nonetheless, but like, it's hard to explain. Like, yeah, I had a second level of school that I do every Friday for my, from preschool to uh, senior year of high school. And uh, yeah, I really had Friday nights myself. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. That's, uh, oh, the nightmares. I'm just glad I'm done with those days. Uh, then we also have uh, Rossi coming in again with a five dollars. Holy cow, Rossi. Sunbird app. Sunbird. Oh yeah, is that, a, is that another word for Twitter? <laughs> so behind that time. Let's use iMessage on Android. Really? Okay. I'm an alpha tenor. Okay, so it's not Twitter. Because I know you call it Bluebird sometimes. I didn't know Sunbird was another way of calling it. I'm an alpha test for the app. When it goes beta, it will go public. I'll let you know when. Yeah, if, if that's... Yeah, that could be a game changer. Because, uh... But as far as I can tell, is this another Imperial Trooper team? Hold on. Is that another one? My gosh, we've been hitting a lot of troopers. My gosh, yeah, boy. Thank goodness. And this is why Kenobi's nice. I just send him on in and just <laughs> keeps kicking butt. Uh, but yeah, let me know. I, that's, I know, um... I mean... I feel like uh, the most folks in my family have converted to uh, Android. I think only my aunt, she's the only one and her husband that have Android phones. I think they're the only holdouts. Uh, otherwise, yeah, most, uh, yeah, most, uh, most have converted over to Apple. Even some, my, my, my best friend who used to be a, the biggest Android fan. He still likes Android, but he converted to Apple just because his whole family used it. He, 
he, he felt like the village idiot. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, we have Dark Scythe coming in 29 months or 20 months. Dark Scythe for a win. Yeah, going back to the poll. So I asked you guys, if you can only have one in SWH in your roster, which would it be? Light Scythe or Dark Scythe? I actually had a feeling that the poll was going to be just like this, where it's almost split, but there's going to be an edge for the Dark Scythe. I don't blame you. I think I'd be 100% with you if not for... Uh, yeah, if not for Cal, just Leia especially, man. Leia just full autoing basically everything is just absolutely nuts at the moment. And but again, I'm, I'm kind of hoping the data current goes away so we can kind of let the dust really settle. Because right now in Territory Wars, especially in Grand Arena, Jabba Leia are defining who wins and loses. Like, uh, boy, I think, yeah, I think my guild blood a ton of banners on Jabba. The opposing guild dropped a lot of banners on Jabba. Jabba and his menacing, man. All right, let's, you know, I've already made it this far, Commander Town. You know, give me some HUD cartel. We got to mix in some other stuff. Mix in some other stuff here. Let's, you know what? Uh, let's get older public in here. Let's at least try to at least make some, I'm not making any progress towards, I think, any feats right now. So let's go older public. You, 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 and you, you. All right. Looks good. You know what? Give me shorty. Now, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Just, just give me just get someone in there. Ah, uh, all right, we wrap with that poll. You know, I'll let it sit there. Who knows? People, more people might want to come in and throw their two cents in that. Greg Knees, five dollars. Would love to hear. I want to marry this person. Realization moment and story, and maybe hear your thought process leading up. Oh, you're talking about boy. I thought we we're talking about like uh, the marry kill scenario for Galaxy of Heroes or something like that. Oh man, long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away. Abba was under an attack. Oh man, you want to get all lovey-dovey on me in here? Man, someone wants a little romance story. Right. So the first, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be cliche. I don't want to be uh, cheesy. I'm telling you straight up. I'm telling you straight up. So this is like the cheesiest thing I've said. I think you know. Supposed to be a tough guy, right? Tough guy, macho man, you know? The second I saw her, like I'm talking, the moment I saw her, I just knew she was the one. You know, it's, uh, it's a long story short. We met um, freshman year of college. My One of my first jobs, I worked a lot of jobs over my life, but it was one of my earlier jobs. My first, I, my first like actual wage-based job, you know, per hour for some sort of corporation. Um, you know, because otherwise I would do like a lot of handiwork stuff, you know, and you kind of get just, you kind of just get, you know, you know, paid on, uh, get paid cash or whatever. Cash jobs, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say. Um, so I transferred to the Walgreens down by my school. And literally, I think it's, it's something like, so I, I was, I started a little bit earlier than she did that year, but like within the first week of school. She was a new employee coming in. They're doing PPLs, you know, the, I don't know what the hell, I don't know. Training modules, right? But when you get hired, you do like the, all the training modules. So I can't remember what the PPL stands for nowadays. People, pleasant learning, I don't know. Um, and I just saw her like, oh damn, that's the one. We're done, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we didn't really start dating until January. Yeah, 2013, so a couple months into it. And uh, yeah, you know, we've been together ever since, you know, so it's uh, it's been a it's been a long ride. I mean, so I mean, we've been together since what, 2013. So we've been together for 10 years, married for the almost three years at this point. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's, I guess that's the, the kind of the short, uh, the short story of it all. It's funny how life works, though. It's funny how life works. She ended up working here. She didn't want she actually she didn't even want to work at Walgreens, but she got a job that she needed to get a job somewhere. And her uncle at the time was a manager at a Walgreens somewhere else and made a call to that Walgreens saying, hey, can you know, do you have any openings? And then they hired her. So uh, that's kind of how it worked out. That's kind of how it worked out. And there's a lot of other details in between. I, uh, I suppose between now and uh, what was that? Uh, 20, 2012 was when I first met her. So yeah, there you go. It's a great place to love in the Empire today. Holy cow, look at this. Knocked down. Wow, this is so much easier now. PPL stands for production. What? I, I can't see it. Oh my gosh. There's, there's some stupid UI emoji thing. I can't see it, Thomas. Well, I believe you. I'll believe you. <laughs> I don't even know what it says. Oh, man. But, I, you know, then uh, 
See, you want to know when I, I I knew she was like 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 the second round. She was my Call of Duty Zombies partner. Like uh, I got her into Call of Duty Zombies, and man, so many late night zombie grinding sessions, baby. Who? Uh, yeah, it's just you know um I, I, again I'm not I'm no love expert anything like that. But I think most importantly, beyond many other things in life, making sure at the core of it all that you can call them your best friend. You know, trust me, looks are great and everything. And she's a looker, in my opinion, obviously. But, uh, you know, I, you know, I don't want to say I was, you know, kind of a kind of a big deal, hot stuff. You know, not a lot of guys rolling in on a motorcycle. Wasn't really a sexy look when I was riding my motorcycle in the winter, rain and snow. But I had no other way of getting around at that point. You know, so you, you, you kind of you kind of get a lot of experience out there. But uh, it's uh, having a, having a best friend is, I think, the most important thing because they're thick and thin. That I think that's what it comes down to. You want to find someone you mesh well with. You know, at the end of the day, you can just say, you know, they're like your your best friend right there. Yeah. Anyways, Ugh, you can't teleport. Not back then. Not back then. I didn't quite have the same technology that I do now. But dang, was it fun. Nowadays, it's like I, I don't if, if it's even wet. I'm not even not even riding. I'm not riding to the speeder bike for today. Man, I got really good on the first few data crowns. Uh, I guess unstable decelerator. Eh, let's go. Lock it in. Sim for the W. <laughs> oh man, you kill me, Toyota. All right, am I actually caught up here? Holy moly, look at that. We're all caught up, baby. 100% agree, Toyota. Thank you. Oh, that wasn't Toyota called me, Sim. That was uh, Master F. <laughs> that's all right. You know, that's the. I'll, I'll, I'll allow it for the lady of an Alderaan. It's all good. Ah, uh, she doesn't get mad when you drop 650 bucks on Google Play. She thinks I'm crazy. I mean, she understands how the whole, you know, thing, you know, tax the ducks, but like, it's, it's, it, I, I gotta say something, just ignoring that part for a moment, she like, was like, holy crap, because she doesn't see me, like, she knows, like, I tell her the characters are expensive, but I've never once actually gone to a store, I feel like I was doing a walk of shame, I really do, I feel like I was doing a walk of shame, going to whale on that new account that we, you know, we booted up. It just it felt weird because you take for granted it's like oh boom another hundred there boom another hundred there but the second you got to do it in person you got to look someone in the eye and they're like why are you taking out this much on google play cards of all things we're not talking like v bucks or i don't know what the hell people would buy get 600 dollars in gift cards for it. I, I i wonder if people have a problem with spending in this game i bet if they you know just make it a thing if you wanted to wheel you got to go to the store you got to physically get the cards physically hand some of the money look in them in the eye then go home put the code in it's a different feeling you bet you're you're getting cm yeah i mean that's probably why they ask i mean there's a couple reasons you know but one you know people like to launder money so that's you know i'm not sure how prevalent that is nowadays but i remember that was a big thing when i first started you know working at retail way back when that was like a big thing you know money laundering and also getting scammed i mean you'd be surprised i you know especially when i uh during my customer service days over at apple uh, you'd be surprised. Oh, this is a new UI banner. Okay. You would be surprised how many, you know, I don't mean to like stereotype it, but how many, you know, especially older folks, they would fall victim to scams or even stupid pop-ups. You know, when you skip the stupid pop-ups, call this number now. Your computer's been infected. It's just a pop-up. And some people call, they'll send them over some gift card money. And then the, the, the crappy thing is once they do that, there's not a lot that you can really do it's on a gift card you know you send the code on over they redeem the code it's like and there's nothing i could have done but it's just um yeah so i don't blame them it's always good to ask just like make sure you know, the, the answer is not oh some guy over the phone says i owe um uh three hundred thousand dollars in google play gift cards for the irs you know it's good to ask those questions you know but uh i don't think that she was expecting we we're gonna spend it on a mobile game yeah yeah hot relic materials near your area i told you guys my one of my favorite stories this guy calls, he's freaking out, man. He's, I could tell he's sweating bullets. And I'm like, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, Obama hacked my computer. <laughs> and he was dead serious. He thought Obama hacked his computer. And I'm like, all right, let's share a screen. So we do the whole screen sharing thing. <laughs> and he's watching a YouTube video in full screen. And someone in the video, their, their, their commentary is on a just a blank mac desktop wallpaper the same wallpaper he had so when it's in full screen it looks like it's his computer but the guy that's talking in this video he's moving his mouse and recording his mouse so 
the guy didn't realize it's just the YouTube video playing. So it's just, I don't know. It's, it's funny stories like that. And I'm like, oh no, you're not hacked. You're just, you're just watching a YouTube video, but it's a, oh, man, I, I, you know, sometimes I miss that stuff. Sometimes I miss that stuff. <laughs> yeah, see, Ezreal, thanks for stopping Income by, my friend. Donation. Haven't been able to catch Jim, but hope you're doing well. I am doing fantastically well. I really am. I really am. I'm going to do some uh, Galactic Challenge stuff here real quick. I know someone was asking to check out. Is it complicated or something? Yeah, thanks, Obama. But I just, uh, I just thought that was funny. Cause, you, know, you, you know, you just think you're hacked. But, like, the first thing you think, you think specifically Obama was hacking. You know, like, he was, like, dead serious. Like, you know, I couldn't. It wasn't some guy in Zimbabwe or something. It was like, no, it had to be Obama. I thought that was hilarious. I missed, uh, I missed those days. Uh, what are they doing? Oh yeah, Galactic Challenges. That's what we're gonna do, right? Let's go see what it's like. New TB record incoming? I don't think we're gonna, I think we've been kind of settling at 41 stars, unless there's something I'm missing that we might get a new record. I think 41 stars is the highest you can achieve right now uh, in the game. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, right now 41's been our wreck. We've, we've hit 41, I think, uh, ever since we got Leia and, you know, the Cal thing up and running, we got that extra star. So I don't know if we're going to, I don't know if it's possible to get 42 at the moment. Ah, uh, all right. Can I just buy a JKCK cost? Hey, you know, you always could. All right, so, ah, uh, I, I, I see. Isn't this supposed to be the, the, the freebie giveaway for them hitting their charity milestones? Let me double check. Cause didn't I make the joke? I, I feel like I made the joke. Wouldn't it be funny if they give out extra? All right, no, this is this is irrelevant. This is okay. All right, yeah. Just just so you guys know, this isn't the freebie one. That would have been funny if they gave us a freebie extra galactic challenge and it was like super tough. <laughs> the freebie galactic challenge should start in tomorrow. Oh shoot, I forgot about the the web store. All right, I gotta make sure we get that. Actually, it's good that we checked that out. I'll go. I'll check that before we leave here. Uh, sees a cheat code. Okay. What do we have here? Critical hits, eight turns in a row, full team of Sith. People are saying Sith Eternal is a cheat code. Super easy. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, no job lead. It should be easy. I don't know. Should is the key word. I can, let me see. Let's do a full Sith team. I don't know. There you go. Let's see how it rolls. Marauder. Oh, I'm too late now. C slams is all right. You guys are worrying me. Because someone's like, can you check out the Galactic Challenge? When someone asks me, the check out a galactic challenge. That usually means something's really tough. Uh, all right. All right, let's go ahead and link up you. Yeah, this, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, I have to link up job, I guess. All right, so basically I think what I'm guessing we gotta do, we gotta make sure we get rid of all of his protection off here. Okay, let's just do a force crush. I don't know, just go around. All right, I'm guessing this is for the this helps out the critical hit parts of things, right? Here we go. Cooldown increases. I don't know. Just basically, I'm just kind of waiting for the alt to the kick in. Let's go. Just drop and uh, I don't know. Drop the isolate over here. Let's go for it. Cooldown reduction over there. All right. Let that settle in here. I don't know. Just send it on over. I gotta get some fear moving around, actually. Not fear. Oh, contract. There we go. They're doing like no damage right now. Lovely. Lovely. Can I just get the kill? No. All right, let's do a buff the spell somewhere. There we go. Get rid of that. All right, let's just get rid of Grief Karga. All right, nicely done. Let's go over here next. There we go. Now let's get that moving around. There we go. Ooh, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy, 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 okay. All right, insta kill. Let's just get rid of Django. Nicely done. Keep working, keep twerking. Here we go. How is Jabba's protection looking like? Still a tud. All right, let's just get her out of here. Hopefully I'm doing this right. All right, we'll just keep him alive as long as we can. Well, that increases. Let's not kill our boss. Let's keep him linked up. And just, you know, just do basic for right now. Hmm. I feel like I may have done this wrong. We'll see how, how I did it. Is Malgus in this useless? Oh, I don't know about this collective challenge. If you're talking about the, the game in general, uh, I feel like, you know, I, I, I sometimes I got to be cognizant of the fact that sometimes the opinions I give, they're definitely down the curve a little bit. 
and people just didn't want to believe me. They're like, no, it's impossible. Malgus is not falling down the wayside. But now that the cows are settling in, he's kind of already situated himself in Kyber 1. If, as long as you keep Darth Revan of Malgus, he's going to be fine on offense. Like, if I had Malgus, Darth Revan, uh, Basla for Grand Arena today, I probably could have had let Reva perfectly fine. It's just on defense, he's kind of, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of, um, he's kind of met his match. He's, he's, it's just, I think what the problem is, he's not that great without Revan. And, yeah, I think that's the big problem that he's got. All right, do basic. We killing it? What, what's going on here? All right, light him up. All right, feels like we're doing okay. Yeah, no, none of that. All right, put on auto. There we go. Yeah. Malgus is exclusively almost at that far. Yeah, actually, let me check. Today, as a today or tomorrow, one to two is the tomorrow. I think this is the last day, right? There we go. Nicely done. That was yeah, that was pretty straightforward. I could probably do that on my free to play account too. Let's see here. Full Sith, nice. Three critical hits, eight turns in a row. Did I just one shot this man? That's brilliant. If I did, there we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I could probably do that in the free to play account as well. Let's go for it. Incoming I think last time we checked a couple days ago, we were at eleven thousand cows. I'm wondering because I think I predicted we were gonna get. 12,000 cows or something like that. So I'm wondering if we're going to hit that 12,000 mark. Uh, yeah, man, I'll just, I think I can do the same exact team over her, over her. Let's go Sith Eternal, you. Okay, give me my lovely Sith. Boom, boom. And the, 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 the Nihilus, there we go. Let's roll it again. All right, let me see how many Carol Castuses do we got in the game? And again, I think next time it comes, we'll be over 20,000. You know, eventually, you know, Cal is going to outpace Malgus uh, in the foreseeable future. It's just so much easier to Cal than Malgus. And even once that happens, it's just, yeah, then I'm, I'm not expecting too much Malgus defensive. Unless they bolster Sith Empire. You know, the one thing they probably could do is if they added a Kron that prevented anti or prevented uh, insta kills or something or revives. There was a, yeah, Malgus had the revive Kron at one time, right? Yeah, there was a revive Kron at some point. Here, let's do this link real quick. Jedi Knight, Cal Kestis. And let's see, player data. All right, where are we sitting at? Oh, it actually, okay, yeah. It's actually exceeding my expectations, yeah. Well, currently, we are sitting at 16, here, 16,000 Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. So just like a few days ago, it was 11,000. And I was, I was, I was, I wasn't sure if more people were gonna get across that finish line because I felt like if you had him ready, you had him ready, right? You would, uh, this the second his event came back, you would just go in the gate, you got him. But I, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I was actually wrong about that. It looks like some people still were able to trickle in several days into the event. I don't know. I mean, there's one more day. This could definitely, yeah, we have almost seventeen thousand. So I think we're probably gonna settle in uh, right in that seventeen thousand number. It seems like, yeah. So it actually exceeded my expectations. I mean, again. I don't know why I should be surprised. It's not that hard to get. I mean, it's just a, it's just a Kyra attack, really. And there's been so many double drops going on this year. It's been uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. You're too busy for Java to drop. Yeah, for the Drip King. Yeah, I know. I trust me. I, I my plan is my plan is my plan is once I get Java, I'm looking at getting probably Master Luke and. Um, Shortly after, probably Cal. I feel like by the time I get Master Luke, because again, we're, we already got Jedi Knight Luke. You got a variety of other stuff. I already built up 3 PO and Chewie, basically. So we aren't really too far off from Jedi Master Luke. I mean, uh, so I feel like if I get Jedi Master Luke, I might get Cal Kestis shortly after, because Cal with Master Luke is awesome. And plus, we, we see a lot of Malgus. So having a Cal would definitely be hugely beneficial. All right, what did we do last time? We did something like this. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, just do basic. Let them do their cooking. Okay. All right. Okay. Increase them cooldowns. All right, we got a couple right there. Ooh, my Malik. Well, that's not a Relic 9 Malik, so it makes sense why he's struggling. Only Relic 5. Let's go send it on in. All right. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely... In. We're, we're, we're having a, a little bit more of a challenging time here. Fine, we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely... The <laughs> main difference is mods and relics. Here, you know, get rid of that frenzy over there. All right, do the basics. Don't just... Ooh, damn, we are getting 
tanked right now. Probably should have. Yeah, my gosh. I'm getting wrecked at the moment. Here, just give me. We need, the, we need that deception move around a little bit faster. All right. Just no. keep it moving. Just keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Do they not get fear or something like that? I'm not seeing any fear land on Django. How's Java's protection looking here? Can't tell. Hmm. Well, we gotta do it. Oh, I don't want to kill him off. I'm gonna break the link. How do I get the thing on? The uh, battle effects icon. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. Go, go away. Go away. Uh, he still has a lot of protection on him. Uh, well, oh well. We're gonna have to link up Django. <laughs> There's the fear. Okay. All right, let's hope the Gucci man can carry this to the finish line. You're in the fear until they lose that unique buff. All right, well, I was like, something ain't working here. Uh, just keep that Decepticon on him. There we go. Hopefully the Gucci man can handle this. Holy shizoli. Man, I didn't put it into 1X. All right, give me that turn, give me that turn, give me the turn. There we go. All right, I think we got it. A little bit more. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There we go. Shock is on. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Keep it coming, honey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully we got everything knocked out. A little bit messier, but I have less relics, less mods on this one. So there you go. You get both sides of the spectrum. Okay. I haven't pressed the buttons ever since he he's uninstalled the game from Dodge. Oh man! Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't think I've ever deleted it on this account though. There he goes. There you go. Both accounts. God tier set eternal. You know, it might not say my set eternal is trashier, but definitely lesser relics. I mean, shoot, that's like a relic five and set eternal is my seven, and the rest are <laughs> the other side. I think that was almost like a full relic eight nine set eternal team there. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Rossi, two dollars. Josh just posted Ahsoka season two is greenlit. Is it greenlit? Let's see. Ahsoka. I mean, uh, should we be surprised? I don't think we should be surprised. It'd be yeah. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Just uh, an hour ago. Or um, yeah. I don't think we should be too surprised. Yeah. Ahsoka season two is on the wish list of Sohan. We're. Uh... There we go. A reliable source claims that Ahsoka Season 2 is a go, despite no official announcement for Lucasfilm or Disney. Uh, Ahsoka Season 2 is, yeah, it's likely going to happen considering the success of the series. What was the, I even look, how was the, what was the reaction? Like, I don't know, like a, a critic sense or I, I don't know, a fan sense. I don't know. Is there like an IMDB for this stuff? Let me see. Then we'll do some dailies here. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was, I would be surprised if they didn't make a Season 2. The way it ended, they definitely left a lot out there. Uh, I think my biggest concern was how are they going to move forward with Balin? That was, as I told you, that's, that's it's kind of a fortunate situation to be in. I, but I think that was my biggest concern is how are they going to move forward? I hope they don't just do like what they did Cara Dune and just write him out. Like, oh, yeah, he's, uh, no, never mind. He, uh, he's gone. You know, he's, uh, he changed his mind. He decided to go retire on a beach somewhere, you know? They're going to have to recast. I mean, hopefully it's not going to be too hard to recast him. Uh, okay, yeah. That was like my only concern. But the way they left it, it made it very evident, I think, that there's going to be either another show or a movie at the minimum or something that's going to spawn from that. But let me see. Ahsoka. Ahsoka season one rating. Let's see. Rotten Tomatoes. Is that even? I don't know. Some people say it's not even a good thing to use. Uh, what is, let's see, how do you, is there like an overall score for this? I'm not seeing it. Um, I'm not seeing any scores on here. Let me go back over here. Ahsoka, here we go. Star Wars Ahsoka. Uh, I mean, yeah, it seems like reception look. And again, I don't know, some people... Don't use Rotten Tomatoes, but yeah, 86% for the tomato meter, 70% audience score. How are the critics? It's rarely do I ever see critics and audience on the same page. 
Critics consensus. All right, I guess that's the critic score right there. Elevated by Rosario Dawson's strong performance in the title role and a solid story that balances new and old elements. Oh, Star Wars Saga. So a must watch for fans of the franchise. Yeah, I mean, I told you overall, I enjoyed it. I think there was definitely some things I would have done, you know, differently. Like, who would? And everyone's got their own, you know, two cents on how things would go about. But in terms of the latest Star Wars season stuff, like I enjoyed Ahsoka more than Mandalorian season three, more than Kenobi, more than Book of Boba Fett. You know, there's just, a, you know, like a, my biggest gripes where I feel like Thrawn wasn't, I mean, obviously the voice was there. I feel like the look, they could have done something to make him look a little bit more menacing. Um, what was something else? Something else. Gosh, what the hell? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the Mark thing wasn't really bothersome, but I knew that was just such a misdirection. I saw that. I, I saw that from mile away. The, the Mark thing was just going to be a complete. <laughs> it was just going to be kind of absolutely nothing at that point. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it overall. Uh, it was all right. Yeah, seven, yeah, seven point five out of ten for yeah. That's I, I. That's what I said. I think I said seven out of ten. I feel pretty comfortable. That maybe if I like sit there and think about it a little bit harder, I think I can go to eight. But I think seven's a pretty solid spot. And again, I think that's for a Star Wars show where a lot of people, you know, there's always something to critique. And I feel like, I feel like, they, and I know people. There's some people that love Kenobi Book of Boba Fett. I'm not taking that away. But I feel like the general. I think Book of Boba Fett. The general consensus was it was the lowest rated rated star wars show of all time i mean i don't want to conflate makeup facts but uh let's see <laughs> there's kyle again um, i don't know i could have sworn there was an article about it could be wrong could be wrong on it Andor zero out of ten, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what it was the Thrawn tactics. Oh gosh, I mean, we're kind of, I think we're a couple weeks past, so we can kind of talk about you know spoilers and stuff like that. Yeah, man. Um, I just I I I, I am. He was freaking out and struggling with an apprentice of Anakin. Like he barely got out. Like like literally like this close from everything just being completely thrown into gutter. And, but if he was struggling with Ahsoka, an apprentice of Anakin, I don't know how he's going to do with the literal bloodline lineage of Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> so, and all the other things we got going on inside of the, the core universe again. So yeah, that was, I just, I don't think they did Thrawn enough justice. Is, you know, from a visual perspective, the voice acting was great. I love his like blank stares. Like when someone would suggest something, he'd be like, what, what'd you say? What'd you say? It would be like an awkward, like five seconds of silence. Like that was my favorite part <laughs> about Thrawn, I think. Um, yeah, I think that was really, I think, uh, I think they didn't really, like, again, I think I told you. Kylo Hutchinson, come here, brother. Hutchinson, come here. Come here. It's okay, come here. Yeah, it's okay. Relax. Relax. Can you sit? Can you sit? Come on, sit. Can you sit? Sit. 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 I'm not giving you spanking. I want you to sit. He likes the spanking. What was I, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't want to keep, you know, beating up a dead horse here. I think I've said this several times. I wanted them to make Thrawn look intimidating. So if someone never watched Star Wars, they'd be like, hot damn, this guy's scary. Just like I, I think I gave this story. I can't remember where I said it. Like, I, I like my Marvel, of course, but I was never like a mega Marvel fan until like the MCU kind of came up and about. I had no idea who Thanos was. And of course, I watched like the Spider-Man cartoons and some X-Men stuff. I had no idea what Thanos was. I don't, did Thanos even make, I mean, no, he made some cartoon appearances, I think, but I never saw them. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's like, I knew when watching the MCU, like I could tell that this Thanos guy is a really big threat. Like this is going to be a big deal. And obviously that translated well because the Infinity Saga was one of the, it's kind of like some of the biggest movies of all time. So they got that point across. I can't imagine Thrawn's gonna, you know, based off the performance the, the, in the script, I don't think he's kind of garners the same type of fear. Like, oh man, Thrawn coming back is a big deal. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I think that was kind of my biggest deal. Yeah, Thanos was in comics, but didn't he make a... I know he's in like some, like, I know he's, for example, in like, you know, some classic Marvel... Not even classic, I think he's like in all the Marvel versus Capcoms and stuff like that, right? Um, But I don't know if he was like in any... I don't... I just, I didn't see like all the cartoons, but I saw like, you know, as much as I could back then. 
But um, I mean, Thanos wasn't as big of a deal in the comics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Just like Iron Man. I don't think Iron Man wasn't really that big of a deal before the MCU. So they kind of, but the point being is when they brought him into the MCU, they kind of set the foundation that this is a big deal. This is a, this is an intergalactic threat. Not even just a threat for planet Earth. This, this guy is gonna mess things up, man. I didn't really get that from Thrawn. He just, you know, he barely made it out with, uh, you know, uh, Ezra, you know, he hasn't really, you know, done really probably much in a, quite a while. You know, Sabine, you know, struggling Padawan. I mean, Ahsoka Tano obviously is a threat, but like I, I want to believe that, um, you know, Thrawn, if he finally had his moment to get kind of a payback, it just didn't feel like sweet paybacks. Like, yeah, screw you guys. I won big time. It's just like, you know, you, you barely won't, you, you know, you won this race, but the guy behind you was just, a, he was a split second slower. That's all it was. So I don't know. His plans were uh, convoluted uh, as Luke at Jabba's palace. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, you know, I, I want to maybe, I, I try to convince myself, you know, they're going to back to Dathomir, right? And there's a lot of, you know, a lot of interesting things they can do. I, I, I don't know if it was just me. I, I don't know. Zombie stormtroopers doesn't seem threatening enough. It's like, oh okay <laughs> i'll just walk a little bit faster than them or oh man i have this lightsaber man i wonder if i should use it <laughs> i don't know the zombie stormtrooper thing didn't really like it was, like at first like oh that's cool but then i'm thinking like wait i don't really know if that's that big of a threat but who knows if he can raise a zombie army i don't know maybe if he has a whole army that he resurrects on dathomir you know i'm guessing all those crates have uh dead knight sisters in them or dead troopers that they're gonna revive you know, who knows? Maybe that's going to be a galactic threat. You know, we got to wait and see. You hope they do it just in the next season. Yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm like, I'm convincing myself that, all right, maybe I didn't see it now. This is the time you'd want to make it seen. You know, maybe they should have done a teaser, you know. Um, but who knows, you know? Maybe a zombie army is bigger, a bigger threat than I, I could imagine. Although I, I'm fully fledged and trained in zombie combat. So for me, it wouldn't be a big deal. But, you know, uh, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, Disney lightsabers. You can be yeah, the, yeah, they're the target lightsabers. <laughs> uh, I mean, Thrawn sends his troopers with an Empire gunship, but somehow deployed instead of keeping it airborne. Yeah, I, I don't know. And I, I get it's I, you know you gotta sometimes you gotta separate if, <laughs> reality. I say that lightly. Reality over script writing and plot armor and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? Like, that's why I feel like my favorite Thrawn is, is from the books. Whatever you, whether you like the canon books or the EU books, it's, uh, I think that's peak Thrawn right there. Like, and I just, for some reason, I don't feel them, I don't feel them continuing what they wrote, even in their canon books, into the, the you know, into their, you know, their TV show. Uh, but, you know, again, you know, they got to nerf him somewhere, and I guess occasionally he's, you know, just... A little bit ahead of what a, a standard imperial officer would be i don't know i think the best thing from the season is soka gets killed off by thrawn i don't know I, I don't expect that i don't i don't expect that at all i'd be really surprised like extremely surprised if they end up killing ahsoka especially by thrawn's hands i'm hoping something comes out of the morgan situation though i i, I really think the whole morgan plot arc was really anticlimactic. It's like, oh, cool. Cool, she's got the sword. Oh, she's dead. So I'm hoping it's one of those, maybe she's not really dead. She'll come back to life, maybe. Who knows? But man, I feel like they did her dirty. I thought she was going to have a much bigger arc. And then that, that whole thing happened. So uh, yeah, Ahsoka dies from crossing her, <laughs> her arms all the time. Morgan is such a sick character. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, I, I, I was prize they did her dirty i feel like i don't know, maybe maybe people are satisfied how her story went i thought she was done dirty i was hoping she would have a much bigger future and she very well could be she very well could be you know she's a night sister you know no one's ever really gone freaking we all know cad bane's alive freaking Cobb vanth isn't dead no one really dies it feels like so maybe she's around and they'll make it happen i was hoping that she was gonna become like the next great mother or something like that who knows you know what the way to see morgan zombie you know um I gotta go back and remember what the Night Sisters said, the mothers, when they were on the ship, they're like, oh, Morgan, I think they said she died or she was killed in combat or something. But, you know, who knows? Uh, I, I've seen stranger things happen. Stranger things happen.
We wouldn't be surprised if Org is a survivor. Yeah, you know, we'll have to wait and see. I can't. I gotta go back and rewatch. I don't even know where her sword went. Did Ahsoka take it? Did it disappear? Is it still with Morgan? I want to believe there's some voodoo magic that brings her back to life potentially. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm being optimistic on the matter. So hopefully, they do something cool with her. I was too angry to die. Yeah, classic. That's a classic one, Yatter. When in doubt, just ride it. They were too angry to die. Wouldn't it be great if life worked like that? It's like, you know, I'm just saying. I'm sick of this whole death thing. I'm just too angry to die. Uh, you missed Greg Neva's second question. Did, oh, did Greg ask a second question? Oh, well, yeah. wow. We're bringing that up. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah, your thought process leading up to the proposal. Man. Uh, all right. So, yeah. How do I phrase things? So with the proposal, with me and the lead of an alder up, my game plan is I had to not make it obvious uh, because she, she, she doesn't like surprises and she could easily sniff out a surprise. Like she's the type of person when you get Christmas gifts, she wants to open it up a month in advance because she doesn't want to wait for the surprise or she doesn't want to wait for me to get a surprise. It's so like, open it now. It's like, we still have like two months. Like just open it now. So I, my, <laughs> My game plan was I was just going to naturally bring it up in a moment where she would least expect it. So we went to Hawaii. What was it back in? Uh, yeah, New Year 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh, it was a 20. I'm losing track of my ears. 2019, right? Yeah, 2019. Yeah, 2019. And um, yeah, 2019, final answer. And she was like, oh, we should go stargaze. And like, oh, and, and, and I was playing. I was, she didn't realize. It's like, ah, I don't know. I don't think, I think it's kind of a, it's a waste of time. I'd rather do something else, but she really wanted to do it. So she did it. She like, you know, so like we, we want to do it, but I, I wanted to make myself seem not interested in it. All I know is I had to propose somewhere in Hawaii, but I had to do it in a way where she wouldn't have suspected it was going to happen. So we're, it, was, it was beautiful. I really wanted to go, but I just pretend that I didn't want to go. So we're doing this stargazing night tour, night, night whatever, it was like tour, tour guide. We're on top of Mauna Loa. Oh my gosh, some of the, gosh, it's like the, I, I can't imagine places being more beautiful than that. Being on top of this mountain, like literally no clouds in the sky. Feels like you're like touching the heavens almost. And the, it was cool too, because the environment on Mauna Loa, if I recall correctly, it's the environment that most accurately represents the environment on Mars. So they had like this NASA testing site where people would basically dress up in the suit and kind of like practice and train as if they were on Mars. So it was like, it was like literally like next level, like extraterrestrial type of experience with the stars. And I think you're able to see, I think it was Mars. You can kind of see Mars that night or some planet. So while the guy, you, know, every, you, you get a picture included, right? Everyone gets a picture taken with the photographer. And it was our turn that came up. And I just, you know, I just did. I got, got I was like, this is the time. I'm gonna get on one knee. We got, uh, so did the moment right there, pop the question. And we got awesome pictures at the same time with uh, the photographer while we were there and the under the stars, all that other fun stuff. Yeah, so it was a, it was a fun, it was fun. But I had to, I had to like, I could, if she notices me making it an effort, like, oh, we should really go do this. She's like, what are you up to? So I, I did the opposite. Like, I'm just going to seem disinterested. And she wouldn't expect it. She didn't expect it. Caught her off guard. I mean, I think she expected I was going to propose somewhere in Hawaii, but I don't think she was expecting it there. And I think that was the best time to do it. Was the, was the photographer tired and wanted to go home? <laughs> no, he seemed to be really into it. But anyway, we had to get pictures taken anyway, so uh, we got our pictures taken. I think that was the, the best moment to do it. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, because I was actually kind of a little upset because she found that I bought her a ring. Uh, gosh dang, because we were going, what was it? We were, it was, it's around the holiday time and I was doing some running around and we met up at a Portillo's. And uh, she's like, oh, make sure you get shorts. For the trip because she like she always like micromanages and freaks I was like you need shorts it's like i don't need shorts but it's like you need shorts whatever <laughs> and i so i meet her at portillo's i told her i got shorts and then we went out to the parking lot she's like all right where's your shorts i want to see them she wanted to make sure i got the right shorts i'm like uh i don't have shorts and then yeah so she was able to kind of figure out I, I bought a ring so that was uh so she, she knew that but she didn't know when i was gonna pop the question yeah <laughs> yeah i know right Taylor? it's <laughs> Yeah, I should have bought the damn shorts. I would have had it. I would have had it perfectly secret. But uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, I got shorts, and I, I forgot that she she can be crazy at times. She like when we go on trips, she needs to like hyper manage and like make sure we have everything. It's like it's just shorts, girl. You don't need to worry about. It. I need to see your shorts. Uh, I could have easily just bought shorts too. There was a freaking I don't know uh, 
It's like a Walmart, Target, or Dick's Sporting Goods right nearby. It's like, I could have easily done it, but I didn't think she was going to be a freaking ass for my shorts. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Best restaurant in Chicago. Yeah, uh, best restaurant in Chicago. Oh, man. Like, what are we talking, though? Best restaurant in Chicago. Yeah. So there's like a lot of joints. Like some of my favorite hole in the wall places have some of the best hot dogs you could possibly get. Favorite pizza in Chicago, Art of Pizza, hands down. Favorite hot dog or hamburger, George's. Absolutely love it. Portillo's, obviously, you can't go wrong with Portillo's. But like, if, I feel like if you want like a genuine Chicago style hot dog experience, George's, man, they have amazing burgers and hot dogs out there. I haven't been there in a minute. I haven't been out there in a minute. Um. I don't know. I'm kind of a simple guy. Like I, I, I remember I went to a steakhouse one time, and I'm like, oh man, this is, this is expensive, and I don't know if I really enjoy it. But I'm a simple guy. Give me a good pizza. Give me a good hot dog, dude. I, I'm, uh, I'm living life. I'm living life at that point. I think that's kind of high. I'm Rosati's amazing. Yeah, Rosati's is good. I mean, but like Art of Pizza is kind of a one-on-one. -one. It's kind of a small joint. Rosati's, you know, it's kind of a chain. Nothing wrong with chains, of course. But like Art of Pizza, man, they oh. Their crust is amazing. Oh man, well, there goes that one right there. Oh well, I don't know if I could have done something differently there. Um, but yeah, Art of Pizza, that's my, if I had to go to Chicago, Art of Pizza, I mean, Luminati's is great. You know, obviously you have Giordano's, you got Rosati's. But like for me, it's like, uh, I think um, you can't go wrong with Art of Pizza. Yeah. Ah, yeah, there's a lot of good joints out there though. I like more of the smaller joints. I'm not too big about like expensive food. I don't know, that's just how I am. Oh, can we get a Darth Vader song, please? Greetings from Germany. <sighs> Says Leopold. Hermann Stadorfer. You know, um, I have a Lord Vader song. I mean, a Darth Vader song. I mean, I kind of... Uh, I mean, of course, I could do something. I mean, we already kind of have... I mean, we have an Empire song, right? right we did, you know, did an, I mean, I can always do just another one, just a different take on the Imperial March, but... You know, we already got this, but it's not quite Darth Vader. Um, and then we also have, like, Isaac's got some fun stuff. Doesn't mean I can't do anything, but, you know, he's got, like, you got the freaking this song, and you got the, the, the Death Sticks. You know, I don't know. It's on the agenda. I, I, I'll admit right now I'm kind of, uh, I'm in the middle of a few projects, but, you know, kind of, how do I put it? I don't want to say I'm burnt out. I'm just kind of, like, taking a break for a minute. You know, it's one of those things where I need that, I need that, need that drive and energy to go at it again. I think as I told you guys, it's always a little, I don't want to say it's depressing. It's always a little upsetting where like the music stuff, it's like, it takes the most amount of, not the most, but it takes a lot more creative input, direction, time, effort than a normal video for most of my stuff. And I know there's obviously some videos I do more effort in. And you know, they're, they're, they always initially do like so poorly. It's like for so long, you know, it's like, you know, I'm looking at, like I'm looking at right now, the Malakos thing, you know, what is it? Yeah, 22 billion views, the Adapter died, 21 billion views, the Saj, or not the Saj, Savage, 33 billion views. And of course, you know, like, you know, like the Thrawn one, the Night Sisters, the Calcasters, you know, they're doing fine as well as many others. So it's one of those things where it's like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna take a break. Like I'm sitting on this Leia song. I'm kind of in a rut with the Leia one. It's like, I don't know where I want to take this. I have a draft done. I'm not crazy about it. I got a couple other songs, but I, I wouldn't be opposed to doing a Darth Vader song. I can't make any promises when it'll happen, but I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to doing it. Hit AI edit your videos. I, I've seen stuff out there. The problem is, I I don't think it's quite even there yet. And plus, the, like there's aspects where AI comes in handy. Like, you know, uh, it's, it's kind of like a drill, you know. There's no reason hitting on a drill because, oh, screwdriver is where it's at. You know, you want to obviously use tools that enhance and speed up the process. Like, for example, I have this one tool when I record a video because I can't count on Gary. I'll put it through this little AI tool and it'll automatically, sometimes it does it too aggressively, it'll automatically cut out the dead parts, which generally when I'm making a video, that's sometimes the longest part, sitting through like an hour long of footage and like, all right, cut, cut, cut. I save myself dozens of hours now just by that tool, putting it in, boom. I save myself like 40, 60 minutes per edit, which is great. So it, I think it's great in that capacity, but I don't know if it's quite there yet for editing. I know there's like short editors that I've seen and I, I don't know. I I don't think there's anything like that could just put a video in and boom, you're done. And they'll edit that way. I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm behind in the times of the app, but the stuff I've seen like, 
there's a there's a specific x factor i think it depends what you're doing like i don't think ai could quite do what i do yet i'm sure it's gonna get there eventually and people will be able to create their own like imagine this imagine a world it's gonna happen where you could tell ai make me a video in the style of Arnold t 101 where he is saying lord vader is the best galactic legend and it somehow puts together a video where you hear me you see gameplay and you you curate content to the specific thing you're feeling is it like it's kind of weird thinking about that it could get there one day i i wouldn't be surprised if that's something in the next 10 20 years uh something like that but um that misinformation is finest but you know like or imagine you know uh shoot uh or like what if you like say make a song in the style of post blown and whatever emotion you're feeling right now i just let, let's say your emotion today was uh i had a bad day at work this person was a jerk to me and then so you post malone all right we're gonna and it makes a song about post singing like post malone making lyrics and uh instrumental to your liking like i think that could happen one day and that's where things it, it's kind of weird scary when you get to like we're kind of like knocking at the door of that you can already you know make some songs and make someone sing that particular way so it's not, i don't think we're really that far away from it yeah so uh ai act is, isn't actually that good to be honest a human always better and i think that's the case now 10 20 years from now like i feel like this is the new frontier we're on like i feel like the previous frontier was basically getting computers up to speed like now when you look at computers and phones it's very incremental whereas for the longest time going from one phone to another one processor to another there were massive leaps in performance and eventually we're kind of like diminishing returns and i feel like ai is kind of the forefront of this new era where i think we're kind of at the, the cutting edge of pioneering this new era of ai technology i mean we're seeing a lot of you know ways out there i mean you see like freaking teslas and other cars they have some degree of self-driving capabilities and all these other things out there so uh you know i, I don't know i don't know all th all i'll say is ai could never replace gary that's a and that's a fact right there uh probably a good thing too she's <laughs> ace boss 10 13 months that's really awkward when you look them in the eye oh you talk about the proposal part of it yeah i mean it, it's a uh, i mean there was never a doubt in mind that she was gonna say no or something like that it's a, you know it's a big ask right it's a big ask you know will you spend the rest of your life with me together as the lady of an alderaan and the kyber empire and all those other fancy things um I don't know. I know what you mean. It's not. I don't know if it's awkward, but it's 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 kind of like you're taking a big leap off the edge of a cliff, you know. So uh, I, you know, everyone everyone reacts to situations like that a little differently. Some people sweat, panic, you know, the loss of words. Some people are completely fine. Um, yeah, it's it's a life changing. It's a life changing question for sure. Can you make a trench off the bench? <laughs> oh man oh gosh oh what else we have here uh kevin swank one i deny i am watching while building my lego ucs venator my gosh i am jealous how big is that thing i think uh hold on lego ucs venator is that one of the massive ones um maybe one day hey we'll figure out why bow went first right <laughs> oh man us better oh yeah that's man that I, you know, I, 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 this is, listen, I just want to say, if you're buying Legos like this, you're a real baller. This means you're a real baller. Wheeling on Galaxers means nothing, nothing. If you can buy a $650 Lego in life, whatever you're doing, you're doing well. Just know that. Yeah, that's sexy. And it's even got sexy Rex in there too. Ooh, what if this is a foreshadowing? Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Is that Anakin? No, it's not Anakin. Is that Anakin? No. What if? What if? General Anakin Skywalker, capital ship confirmed, question mark, exclamation mark. I mean, listen, we were already kind of predicting there's going to be something separate to Galactic Republic next year. Nothing, there's nothing official, but it's just, it feels right. I mean, when we take a look, when you take a look, I mean, let's just, let's be real for a second. Just let's be real for a moment. When you look at the generals and the admirals, every admiral except Admiral Trench has a capital ship, right? When we look at general, General Hux has one. General Kenobi has one. General Skywalker. Hmm. 
Is there any other general I'm forgetting about that also does not have a capital ship? General Grievous has one. General. General. Yeah, I don't know. How about I just go to SMH.GG? That'll be a lot easier. Units. Ah, General Veers. General Veers. He doesn't count. He's, he's, he's already fly as it is, you know. All right, so okay, ignore Okay, ignore that. But I think my argument more or less stands. Capital ship, capital ship, capital ship. He's just a capital character. When you look at Admiral, capital ship, capital ship, capital ship, capital ship, no cap ship. Huh? Coincidence? I think not. I think not. I don't know. I don't think it's out of the uh, out of the question. Yeah, don't. General Veers doesn't count. He's he's a he's a capital ship in his own regards. If you think about it, <laughs> Veers served on the executor. Yeah, who knows? You know. I mean, yeah, he, yeah. There you go. Veers is on the executor. Boom. Checkmate. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, he yeah he's a ground general. Yeah, so that's, that's, I, I don't think yeah, I think that's a little impractical for him to be a capital ship but like you know i i i am i'm not gonna be surprised next year if that happens anyways kevin swing thank you for opening up that line of conversation i didn't you know i just thought about that that pretty much every general has a capital ship in the game just like every admiral's got a capital ship in the game thanks for that one tonight enjoy your fun playing up the lego ucs venator 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 we have darth Riven k95 i think that's gonna wrap us up here with the five canadian bacons hey g you love the streams I'll have both Jenna Cal and Terry Malcos on the upcoming week. Man, that's awesome. Uh, Lohan Zetas, thanks to the light seed pack. Who should I focus on first? Oof. I'm gonna make it nice and simple for you. Do you want a better do you want a better defensive team or a better offensive team? I, I I'm gonna probably assume this is just me. For me, I would like the better defensive team so I can bleed my opponent out of banners more. So for me, if that's the case, Terran Malikos is the way to go. So long, assuming you have Seer Junda. I mean, you have to have Seer Junda for Jedi Cal, but if, if you have, you know, Seer Junda, Kylo Ren Amass, Ahsoka, and Baby Cal, Malikos would probably be the one to go for first if you care more about defense. If you want more of the offensive tool and you have Jedi Master Luke or you encounter a lot of Malikos out there, Jedi Cal is the clear winner right there. Um, but I want to put, oh, I want to show you something. Oh, I forgot to show you this um this is actually pretty sweet oh my gosh i actually blew my guild's mind malikos on offense is not bad either i want to put that out there malikos is actually very good i mean who the heck did i send this to they were like holy crap i almost got malikos to beat leia it was the first time i was fighting leia in territory wars and i was like shoot i'll just throw leia at this or uh malikos at this i can't remember for the life of me Who I sent it to? Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to look real quick. No, nope, that's not it. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't remember who I sent it to. Oh, and there's Toyota. I got, oh my gosh, Toyota. I got to catch up with your messages. I'll check right after we're done here. Um, bu, 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 bu. Who the heck was it? Uh, I guess I'll have to look for it. But I, um, yeah, like I almost beat her. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep going. Then Leia, <laughs> Leia does her ultimate. And right before I beat her, she revived her whole team. So it was kind of a funny, uh, funny situation there. Yeah, man, I'm actually, this is really annoying me. I know I sent it to someone. Here, turn off this stupid streamer mode thing. I can't tell who's who. Just give me one. I know it's just got to stare at my ugly face for a second. All right. Oh, I feel like I'm getting close. Ah, found it. I found it. Found it. And I misplayed this pretty poorly, too. There we go. I got it. I got it. I found it. Check this out. 
check this out. Now, this was before the defense cron, I believe. I think this was, yeah, this was September 30th. So I think this was before the crazy defense crons kicked in. So I have no idea if this would even get close. All right, there we go. All right, let's go. Show a folder. All right, open with. Why are we talking? Oh, you were talking about Malakos versus Calcastus. Yeah, I just want to put out there, uh, Malakos is, even in Territories, this is Territories, no Omicrons on him. This was doing very well, all right. This should open up, there we go. All right, here we go. Turn down the volume, so here's the team that I used. Here we go. All right, so... Yeah, so basically, yeah, Treya. So basically, you're, you're kind of your, you know, Treya is usually used as Star Killer and Territory. So I was like, what if I did Treya, Star Killer, Malikos? Uh, I can't remember what went wrong. It's been uh, about a month ago, but I almost beat this Leia. And I, there's so many misplays. Like, I, this is the first time using him in Territory. I had no idea what was going on, but it was going pretty darn well. And then, like, I. <laughs> I thought the, the ending was funny. All right, so there we go. You know, we're just ramping us up here, doing our thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what really sucked, it, it would have been cool if maybe Malakos is able to assist a little bit more, but it's fine that Star Killer is getting called for the assist. There we go. All right, they go under stealth. This is the Kara doing. So not, I'm not gonna. This isn't even like the best Leia build. Like you know, this is the earliest we're still trying to figure out what's the best Leia. My gosh, it's already been a month. So I don't think this is the best team out there, and obviously not even the best Datacron that we're having right now, but it was still pretty impressive with so many misplays how this was going. All right. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, we do the little thing here, get the assist. All right, we get a little buff to spill or whatever. What did I do? Did I do buff? Oh, I just did basic. Okay. All right, we got an ultimate coming in. Yank that sucker out of the sky. Nicely done. Yeah, almost down the Drogon. Okay, go ahead and do your thing over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay, do another... Yeah, buff the spell here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, but there's a point where, like, I almost... I think I had the whole team down. Let me fast forward a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's really Juhani's Omicron doing work here, but... Yeah, oh, here we go. We get, we're starting to get some kills on the board. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Drogon's down. Throw on the isolate here. Yeah, Malikos coming in. Boom, boom, boom. Not a ton of damage there. Remember, no Omicrons on him. All right, I think this is. I think this is where things <laughs> go down south. So I think I kill off R two. Yeah. So like, oh, I almost did. <laughs> so I think we kill R two eventually here, right? This is it. I think that's the kill. Yeah. Like I, I should. I don't know what I was doing. I, was, I meant to kill R2, so I misclicked there. But like, so Leia comes in, does her ultimate. I think someone... Oh, no. Oh, I know. I even survived this. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Yeah, I survived this. It was the second ultimate, I think, that got me. But I, R2 should have been dead. So I mis, I misplayed that, misclicked it, whatever. So R2 could have been gone here. But it's, it's actually crazy how long we ended up surviving. All right, eventually... All right, cool. We're almost down on R2, I think, this time, right? My gosh, it's crazy how this guy... You, you, you just got to kill him when you get the chance. There we go. All right, Ben is almost down. All right. I'm pretty sure I had it down to just Leia. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is the tough part. I think I'm pretty sure though this is when yeah, I probably should have killed that. Yeah, again, so this is like my first time. I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is like, I, I don't think I've even used this. This is the first time I'm using it off. See, here we go. And this just shows you the true power of Leia. It really does. It's like, damn, this is like one of those bad feeling ultimates when it happens. Like, she doesn't need her ultimate, but it's a defense that actually comes in handy a lot. Because if, if she pulls it on you, yeah, you're screwed. So, yeah, in a moment here, <laughs> all this hard work that I did trying to figure out this team for the first time, <laughs> Leia just, uh, undoes everything every single little thing 
man she takes a while to kill off too and i'm like look it's like how much time do i got I like oh crap oh crap yeah there's nothing i can do and then here comes leia and i think here but <laughs> <laughs> if there is anything that shows how horrible Leia can be, the whole entire team revived all of the work I did. I was so proud. It's like, wow, look what I figured out. Everything. Uh, it looked like I did absolutely nothing. So I probably could have definitely played that better. There's a lot of instances where I was misclicking, uh, packing the wrong person, using the wrong abilities, but. Hold on, let's just play that one more time. I just want to watch that one more time. That was hilarious. Hold on. Yeah, she just nukes the entire team. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely nuts. I do believe, though, this was with the max health protection data crown, so it makes sense that she was, like, nuking the whole team. Here, let's, uh, all right, just one more time. One more time, just to rub in my pain and suffering a little bit more. Now, here we go. Leia comes in, and then... Oh, wow. That's 381,000. Oh, I think it was 381,000. We use this Windows movie player. Yeah. Three, look at 400,000. 381,000. Four hundred. She did literally, what was that? Goodness, was that like 2 million damage? Like right there? Jeez. That was great. That was great, man. Jeez, two million damage. Jeez. <laughs> I have no idea how the ATSC is able to revive the team. So how it works, uh, it's very simple. Nothing, there's nothing too complicated about it. You just, it. It's a lot of text to read. You want to make sure when you use the all, oh, you don't have to make sure. It just, it's going to happen. It's not that hard to make it happen. Yep, right here. If this ability... Defeats an enemy. Revive all defeated rebel allies. And it goes even further. They recover full health and protection. It's like, it's one thing to revive. Okay, let's say they revive at 1% health. All right, you know, you can work with that. But reviving the whole team. The 100% health and protection. It re it's really one of those uh, ultimates. Like, you know, Kenobi ultimate, you know, it's like, yeah, whatever. You just let him use it. Lord Vader ultimate, whatever. Let him use it. You know, Jabba's kind of like this too. You got to like think, ooh, should I just maybe stop while I'm ahead and then like not let her do ultimate? Because imagine you're in five, five grand and we're going to have, I, I promise you, we're probably going to see this at least once happen to me or to my opponents where they're like, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Boom. Ultimate team revives and you're screwed then. So you got to really sit there and think, I probably should just stop. Even though I have a full team, it's just a solo layer. But if she's an ultimate, it's probably not worth the risk letting her use it. She might just nuke out your team and then... That brings everything back there. She must get some sort of semi-consistent counter sometime soon. Um, well, again, the problem is number one, data crumbs. This is a rough data crumb. Tons of max health, extra defense, almost no damage. That's kind of the problem. Barring data crumbs, you know, you can kind of win a Kenobi, you know, kind of win a Master Luke, kind of win a job. It's a lot of kindas. Um, I've even seen sometimes, you know, Jedi and Skywalker sometimes get through with, you know, less than optimal Leia builds and stuff like that. He is so, um, yeah, I, again, I, she's, I kind of see her kind of like how Master Kenobi was uh, at release. And I'm assuming, you know, we're going to see some things chip at her over time. But I think ultimately, once the Data Cron drops, I think she'll be a little bit more manageable to beat. But who knows? They could add another Data Cron uh, down the road at some point. So, yeah, Leah Lifter unit went, I oh, gosh, I was going to say, this girl does not need a Lifter. This dude is already doing all the work, man. He's already a... Hits for bajillions amounts of damage. Yeah, he's good. He's good. There's, I swear, if they add a Leia lifter before they add a lifter for Supreme Leader Kylo, Sith Eternal, even hell. I mean, I would love to have Jabba get uh, Bib Fortuna or something like that. Not that he needs it. It would be nice. Yeah, Leia by no means needs a lifter. Who knows? You know, the fifth spot's kind of the awkward one. Like, so far, I think everyone's kind of settled on Leia, R2, Drogon, Baze. And that fifth spot's kind of like, you know, there's a lot of good options to throw in there. So who knows? Maybe they'll add a, a lifter and then boom, there you go. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, it could be nuts. Yeah, Lord Vader needs his fifth lifter. You know, listen. The, he's going to have the most expensive team. He's got himself, Maul, Malakos, Reva, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. Dude, man, that's a, <laughs> that's a lot going on there. <laughs>
<laughs> Who do you think is most deserving to lift of a lifter? Uh, either Supreme or Kyle Renner, Sith Eternal. I mean, Supreme Kyle Renner's fine in offense. You know, Sith Eternal, he's doing fine on me on defense. You know, so I'm not like mad at him or anything like that. It's just, I feel like, uh, they just, they, I think those are the most obvious ones. You know, Master Luke, he's got Cal, he's got Jedi Knight Luke, so he's got tools at his disposal. You know, Jabba's totally fine where he is. I, I think it would be great seeing Spring Recovery Runner Sith Eternal get, uh, get something. You know, they're both good. Obviously, I love Spring Recovery Runner. He's still, I think, a overall best budget Galactic Legend. I'll take him over Lord Vader any day of the week. Uh, but Sith Eternal, I, I, you know, I think he's just a little underperforming, you know. You know, Jabba, not an ideal battle. Lord Vader, not an ideal battle. Kenobi, it's possible. Not always ideal. It's always, it's like every time he wins, like I want him to, you know what? I'm going to say Sith Eternal. I think it's obvious. Anytime I'm using the guy, <laughs> you know, the whole team's dead. Like I would like for it to be a, to a point where if I'm going to go up against Kenobi, I can have most of my team alive. Like no matter who he's fighting, his whole team is dead, but <laughs> you know, it's always how it goes down. So I, I think it's obvious that Sith Eternal has got to be the, the guy that needs the lifter. Yeah, Bodhi lifter for Leia. Hell yeah, baby. I like to remind his ass, girl. Oh, man. A lot of fun conversations going on today. I'm going to wrap up this poll that we have here. So it looks like it's settling on 39% light side, 61% dark side. If you guys only could have one, 2.3 trillion votes submitted. Let's go ahead and lock that in. Beautiful. Thank you for your input on that. Yeah, I had a feeling mostly vote dark side. It can go either way for me, but I think just this year alone, the, the light side has just been overwhelming powerful. You guys don't want to use Captain Rex? Jeez. I'm going to tell him. He's, you're going to break his heart. Sith Eternal Empress Ray Lifter. Now, that would be interesting when we did see an appearance, but it was just the vision. It wasn't like something that came to fruition. That would be pretty funny if they added an Empress Ray. I don't know. They can add. Shoot. Yeah. What? I mean, I, only thing I can think of is Admiral Price. I don't even know if that makes sense. I just like, I don't know. Like, I, I the, it's weird. Again, he does. He's actually one of the most underrated defensive teams in Grand Arena. Like he could sometimes cause problems, but it's just like, I, he's just such a weird, weird character. If it wasn't for Wat Tambor, you know, kind of keeping them around, it's like, you know, a full Sith team isn't really a thing too often. It's good. It's all right, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, Snoke for sure. I always thought Snoke could go for Supreme Leader Kyle Ren. I think that made more sense if they were going to add a lifter for him. Plagueis lifter. There we go. Yeah, now we're talking money. Plagueis lifter. Hey, why not? Why not? Sith Eternal Guard, Sovereign Protector. I don't know if those are lifters. Maybe just new characters down the road. C made Snoke, but Snoke, you know, kind of trained Kylo, right? I don't know. It can kind of go either way. Either way. I, I, I would be surprised if we never get Snoke in the game. Just when, you know, remember, Ben just came out of nowhere. It's like, oh, we're adding Ben. It's like, oh, I'm sure it's going to be like that. They're going to be like, oh, by the way, this next Conquest, it's Snoke. That's kind of how Conquests are. They're always kind of random, like kind of out of nowhere sometimes. Yeah. All right. Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. Give yourself a round of applause, man. This Today's how we wrap up a Grand Arena season. Shoot, man. Domination, full scale, frontal assault on the hollow table today. Kyber Club, Jawa Juice out of their freaking minds. Let's see where the week takes us. Good chance you might see IG12, Grogu, Keller, and Beck this week. Might be a slow week. We'll have to wait and see. Big thanks to the Kyber Club for coming out today, whether it's a minute, second, a like, a dislike. Or the whole stream. I appreciate you being here. Truthfully, time is our most valuable asset, and you being here means a whole lot to me. Big shot to the Kyber Cup. High rollers going above and beyond the Imperial Call of Duty. Big sure those lights stay on. 25 eight, for one extra hour. One extra day, baby, baby, baby. A party hard. Woo oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Happy Halloween, y'all. Make sure you get some good candy. I'm telling you, find the neighborhoods, giving the full size Snicker bars. None of those bite size things, the full size. I hope nothing but a full, full bag of the full size family bars. I'm talking full packs of Oreos. If you guys get a full pack of Oreos, you're living life good. You're living life well. Just like here, you know what? 
A part Good is part. never over. It's not Windu said. We're always Good fueling part. the fun. Ah! Part. Part. Get into the Kyber Good Club. Part. I'll meet yeah. you guys there. Part. Part. Shit, part. but until Good we part. meet again, not baby. Part. Always remember, part. it's great not to be the Empire today. Here you go, Yonner. Just for you.